everybody, this is Emily. And GPC. Tom Servo. Annette. Join us for the 2020 Turkey Day Marathon on Thursday, November 26th at 9 a.m. Eastern and 6 a.m. Pacific. Six cinematic turkeys picked by you on mst3k.org. Hosted by us in our own living rooms. And someone will win a car. Well, no one is going to win a car. Oh, but will the oysters cook enough if they're inside the turkey? I don't want to kill anyone. Well, not like that, anyway. That's a question for the Butterball Hotline. Oh, no, I have a lifetime ban from the Butterball Hotline for certain <clears throat> prank-related reasons. Hold on there, you turkey. We've got a new Zoomer zooming in. Hey, fellas, happy Turkey Day. Hey, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, um... Jonah. Jonah. Oh, yeah, Jonah. I was almost there. I was actually going to say Jamie Oliver. Well, closer than usual. Um, I've just been preparing a Thanksgiving meal for myself, and I got a little break, so I thought I'd check in on my favorite bots. How are you spending your shore leave? Oh, well, I've just been down here at my winter home in Celebration, Florida. It's just me for Turkey Day this year, as my gator traps have thus far remained empty. And I've been quarantining with Dan. Cool. Who's Dan? Oh, Dan's this cool guy I met on the Tupperware Collector message boards. He's got a nice little place outside Godfrey on Route 67. Lots of space, lots of Tupperware. Hmm. Pretty great situation all around. How about you, Jonah? Oh, well, I'm in Los Angeles, and uh, good news, it's not currently on fire, so. Oh, that is good news. And here's more good news, guys. We've got another guest joining. Hey. Hey, friends. Emily. Show rigger for the great cheesy movie Circus Tour and our other human friend. Thank you for introducing me as I asked, Tom. Your check is in the mail. Be sure to address it to Dan. Jonah, Emily, do you two know each other? Oh, sure. We have the unbreakable bond of having to put up with you jokers. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, uh, during your tour, Emily would text me for advice. <laughs> uh, Emily, well, where are you right now? Well, I've been sheltering with my parents in Virginia, but still keeping up with my studies. I'm getting my degree in quantum mechanics at the University of Phoenix online. Wait, 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 wait a second, Emily. Uh, you're with your parents? Uh, I thought last year you said you were an orphan. Oh yeah, I did. But you guys are off the satellite of love and Crow owns real estate. Continuity is a spectrum and we're all on our own journeys. Maybe Dan is more than a friend. That's for the writers of fan fiction to decide. Dan, go back to bed. There room for one more at this table of dorks. <laughs> hey, Cynthia. <laughs> That's right, jolly little Jonah. What's Turkey Day without a little torture? Guess oh. what? I brought a friend. That's right, puny mortals. Mega Cynthia is here to bring some mega pain. <laughs> She's so magnificent. Thank you, clone sister mother. You know, I really was looking forward to having at least one Turkey Day without Mads and uh. It well, hold on. This is a Zoom call. I could just leave. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Let him believe he has his freedom. That's really cute. It'll hurt even more once we capture him again. <laughs> <laughs> and we wanted to talk to you three dum-dums anyway. We have a little turkey day challenge for you. Your very own short. <laughs> Yipes. Will it curse? Okay. <laughs> but not just any short. It's a little film called Behind the Scenes at the Supermarket. Wait, wasn't that one of the shorts that Joel and Bill and Jay Elvis riffed for the McGizzy fundraiser? That's right. And with a flick of these switches, you'll be right back on the satellite of love watching a short that's already been riffed. <laughs> Have fun coming up with riffs that haven't already been done. <laughs> oh, sounds like we've got some training to do, boys. Oh, but I've already got my lounge pants on. Oh, quit your belly aching. We've got a whole buffet of cheesy movies to break your spirits first. 
Oh, yes. Six fan-chosen episodes. They voted on these on MST3K.org. They did this to you. It's their fault! <laughs> and speaking of blaming others for your lot in life, let's kick off this turkey day by winning an essay contest. It's Experiment 507. I accuse my parents. You got turkey sign, you waddlers! I love it! In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Send the cheesy movies The worst we can find You'll have to sit and watch them all Then we'll monitor his mind Now keep in mind Joel can't control Where the movies begin or end Because he used those special parts To make his robot friends Robot, robot, robot you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts. Then repeat to yourself, it's just the show. I should really just relax. Oh, mystery science About the boy, da -dim -da -da -dee -da, mad about the boy. Ha <laughs> ha, what a cute shape on me, huh? Check me out, eh? Woo. There you go, all done. <laughs> Today I am a real live boy, Mazel Tov. <laughs> hey, hi, Crow, hi, Tom. Hi. hi, everybody, welcome to the satellite of love. I'm Joel Robinson. You might remember me as the guy who was accidentally shot into space and then. The hell? Oh. Tom Servo, you're naked! Naked and beautiful, Joel. The human body in all its many shapes and sizes is a wonder to behold. Today I begin a new, no longer Tom Servo mere robot. I emerge from my metal chrysalis. Tom Servo, real live boy! Ha <laughs> ha! Snips and snails and puppy dogs tails. That's what Tommy's made of. <laughs> yeah, really? Uh, no, paint, actually. Yeah, Tom, you know, I knew this was gonna happen sometime. You're experiencing the Pinocchio syndrome. Oh, nonsense, brother. It has always been my dream to be a real live boy and now I am that thing. But Tom, why do you want to be a real live boy? There are billions of real live boys on Earth. There's only one Tom Servo. I want to run and jump and skin my knees. Uh, you don't have any legs. I want to catch frogs down at the old swimming Your hole. Your arms don't work. I want to experience the world of emotions and feelings. You'll get beat up because you're a freak. Oh. Five <laughs> seconds to commercial time. Now I know I'm a real boy. I can hear my heart breaking. It's okay. Commercial it's okay. sign now. <laughs> Sitting here, smiling, watching Tommy grow. Uh, I'm still wet, you know. Oh, I think you're stuck. Oh.
I'm Tom Servo, and I'm here on behalf of Alterniversal Productions. We're the company that writes and produces and performs MST3K in all its many iterations, from the TV series, to our live shows, to our own comic book series from Dark Horse Comics. Last October 30th on Halloween Eve, we produced a new event called Hodgson's Puppet Camp, and it was hosted by the cast of MST3K Live and featured some of the most interesting puppetry and variety acts working today, including Puddle's Pity Party, Bear from Bear in the Big Blue House, Toily T. Paper, and Wayne White, the puppet visionary behind Pee Wee's Playhouse, who was on hand for an in-depth conversation about his life and work in puppetry. This has been Tom Servo with your Turkey Day 40 Seconds. Alterniversal. Yeah! Alterniversal. Ah. Gee, uh, Servo, you're gonna have to touch up your skin. I can see that. Don't you think I can see that? Sure, spit. Yeah. That's really pink, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, Buffy and Hildegard are calling. Get this. Oh, Joel, the stories I could tell of. Frenzied bachelor parties and exotic dancers jumping out of cakes. Sounds exciting? Sure. But around midnight, there you are, frustrated and disappointed with a fake cake you can't eat and a dancer named Candy who has to leave to drive her babysitter home. What have you got? Nothing. That's why we've combined dessert and objectifying the human body in one easy cake mix. Cake and shake. A real exotic dancer included. <laughs> That's right, Clay. Now gluttony and exploitation serves eight. And just think. Now even mom, dad, and the kids can enjoy a Chippendale dancer at little Jimmy's seventh birthday party. Oh, Clay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can I tempt you with some dessert? Oh, Frank, <laughs> this looks wonderful. You've outdone yourself. Uh, just a sliver. Oh, it was nothing. I merely followed the easy-to-read instructions right on the box. And hey, here's a tip. Just fold the exotic dancer right into the cake. That way you save a step. You don't have to wait for the cake to finish baking. I'll remember that for my cake for the next bake sale. You what? You baked a person in it? An hour at 3.50? Start digging, Frank. I get the rose. Just dig, Duncan Hinder. <gasps> oh, it's beefcake. Hey. Don't see, because he's hush. Anyway, sirs, our invention this week is based on the old American tradition, the junk drawer. Yeah. Hey, did you know that Benjamin Franklin invented the junk drawer? And were he alive today, he might have invented the new American tradition, the junk drawer organizer. <sighs> Finally, there's a place in this world for those strange keys, ketchup packets, that linoleum knife with the point broken off, all those things that, until now, had defied the laws of sequential occurrence in space and time. Yeah, and how many times have you gone rooting through your junk drawer muttering to yourself, where did I put that gun? Well, now there's a place for it. <laughs> and, and there's a place for round band-aids, and for that handful of gravel that might be agate, and your shoehorn, and those two-inch pieces of string that might come in handy someday. Mm-hmm. Hey, there's even a separate compartment for miscellaneous grit and lint, already built in. So you don't have to. Well, what do you think, sirs? We could get into a lot of trouble for this, Frank. Oh, Joel, um, uh, everything's fine, nothing to see here. Uh, your feature presentation is a film called I Accuse My Parents. Uh, you figure it out. Uh, enjoy it with the short about truck farming. <laughs> We're gonna have to answer to the Chippendale Corporation for this, Frank. Oh, hey. The Jaws of Life, man! Get the Jaws of Life! Cake? <gasps> I'm better. No! <laughs> Easter Bunny Films presents... Truck Farmer, the special edition. Includes scenes the studio originally thought too graphic for audiences. Wonder if they sold this film door to door. Hmm? The Donner Party. Century ago, hmm. Our forefathers moved west across the vast and fertile plains of our growing nation, hunting for good land searching for a place to farm. Most Help of us! Time as Please. romantic and exciting. Most of us think that these people were really free. But they were just stupid. They were restricted in many ways. Today, we take a number of foods. Sorry, cross the Guernsey. Most of the year, they <laughs> ate little but meat and staple. Here's a five-inch nail for dessert. Winter Go for nuts. Them meant the end of most fresh vegetables. Their opportunities for a balanced diet 
disappeared. Instead, they ate the yellow the snow. Of snow covers the northern part of our country. People Three die. Great truck farming areas supply the constant demand for fresh vegetables. Florida is one of the areas. Even during bitter northern winter, harvesting goes on in Florida. These select few are making three cents a day. Let's take you back to the days when DDT was safe. And in California, in the Salinas Valley and other areas, lettuce for the salads and sandwiches of a nation is harvested fresh in winter oh, time. Oh, you know, everything looks so good on this salad bar. Oh, heavens, yes. Everything looks so fresh and delightful. I'm just going to have a small salad, maybe some soup, and then treat myself to some froyo. Delish. Mm. Oh, where else are people exploited? In the down on the, the southern Rio border. River, skilled hands shape bundles of fresh carrots in January. In recent decades, truck farming has become big business. But not for these people. A lot of factors help, but no one can deny the important role of power machinery. Ah, it's Killdozer! Ah. Clint Walker, no! Here, thousands of acres of rainforest are cleared away. Who cares? Stupid trees. God, I hate them. Early tractor pulls. Not that much fun. This is the freestyle competition. Don't see many of these trees anymore. Well, down it goes. Well, the sad thing is this guy doesn't even work for anybody. He's just doing this for kicks. Mm. Well, here as anointed by God, man holds dominion over his earth. Here we go. By hand, the land would have taken weeks of hard labor to clear. Stick farmers. But now trees and brush can be cleared and burned in days. Well, that's cheerful. And the land readied for the plow. Speed the plow. I'm thinking of telling my wife I love her. Nah, forget it. Not worth it. Go, speed farmer. Go, go speed, speed farmer. farmer. Go, go, speed farmer. Go. After plowing, a seed bed is prepared by a modern disc harrow, breaking up the clods of earth. There's something you don't see every day. Farmer with all his limbs. <laughs> Sorry. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Now, duck news. Here's Hugh McQuacken. Quack, quack. Harrowing, isn't it? <laughs> Harrowing could... Farmer joke. And then yeah. planting and fertilizing. Hmm? Fertilizer, awesome. which not only increases the yield, but adds to the food value of the vegetable, hmm? is added to the soil through one set of hoppers, while the other set of hoppers plants the seed. And remember, be sure to use lots and lots of chemicals Finally, for a good crop. Begins. Even cultivating is done with the help of modern machinery. In some places, a rotary hoe is used to destroy weeds. You know, I saw that on Children of the Corn. Most farmers like to listen to Igor Stravinsky when they farm. But where mechanical means are dangerous, chemical cultivation is often used. Specially selected chemicals that destroy weeds without injuring vegetables are sprayed in the field. Hooray for chemicals! Here in southern Texas, there is an additional problem. Texan. Adequate supplies of water. The Rio Grande, with the help of the truck farmer, makes up for the scanty amount of rain. Yeah, let's me harness this thing here. Well, I'll be damned. I'm in Mexico. Upriver, a huge dam ensures a constant supply of water the year the around. Incredible, man. A complicated system of irrigation is oh, used. Oh, real complicated. Great care is taken to see that none of the precious water is wasted. I wanted to be a choreographer. Oh, this is an artistic view of farming. <laughs> I love you, Earl. Uh, not here, Tom. I love you. No. <laughs> oh. Charlie Varick is employed. On large farms, the speed and versatility of the airplane is often used to control insect pests by quickly dusting wide areas. Some farms use mechanical sprayers in the field. There's nothing we can't spray. Finally, plants ripen. Well, this tomato is highly deformed, but cut off the eyes and it's good eating. The last few days of growth bring the vegetables to their peak. I'm peaking, man. The fields fill with people, and a complex system of harvesting goes into high gear. Lyndon Johnson. Yeah. 
Ripening tomatoes are carefully picked by experienced hands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Farm income from the sale of five. peas and other vegetables averages more than a billion and a half dollars a year. But he'll see Much none of, of it. Income goes to truck farmers who raise winter I'm vegetables. I'm so happy. Annual farm income produced by vegetables alone is nearly as great as yearly farm income produced by the sale of bread grains. Come on, work, damn it, work. You got a bean in your pocket, I know it. <laughs> oh, take your time, Al. Many truck crops, like carrots, are harvested by hand labor. Cheap, abused hand labor. Here in the Rio Grande Delta, Mexican citizens who cross the border on temporary work permits help. They make it sound so nice. I'm from Canada. What am I doing here? A preteen is put to work. Her beauty will soon fade. While some carrots are topped in the field and sent to market in pliofilm bags, many are harvested and processed intact. Oh, the great Hank gets to work on the truck. A layoff. I'm sick today. <coughs> Uh, let's see, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? Car no, not carrots. The cats. job has now become a race against time. Well, hey, I'm stacking them as fast as I can. Carrots are taken to a packing plant where a highly mechanized uh. process of preparation for market begins. Here they are oh, interrogated. The is organized along factory lines. The carrots are washed first. They're made flavorless, so people will buy steak. When they are topped in the field, the process is rapid. Rabbit? Some, of course, are cat. And turned into carrot paints. Some carrots are frozen. Some carrots are humiliated publicly. Untopped <laughs> carrots are packed with chipped ice to ensure freshness. High energy prop comic carrot tops also packed in ice. Soylent green is made from people. Hey, can I borrow your finger a second, Len? Good. Despite the speed and efficiency of the process, great care is taken with the vegetables. Varied skills are applied at all stages of the process. I love my rubber apron. <laughs> An automatic machine puts a top on the crate, and the finished box is passed along on a series of rollers directly to a refrigerated railroad car where it is loaded immediately. Then sent back to the farm and put back into the ground. It actually makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> More ice is poured into the refrigerator car to make sure that the carrots are right. kept fresh. Refrigeration, like the development of powered farm machinery, <laughs> is vital for large-scale truck farming. Later, this device is used to beat Just back the workers. Just as important is rapid transportation. <laughs> The race to market enters the final stages. Ah, uh, we haven't worked out all the kinks yet. All over the Slow. northern part of the nation, in the cities and towns, the delivery of these products is now taken for granted. Yes, the South starves while the North eats Today, healthily. Today, farming is a big business, vital to the health of our nation. Wait a minute, has anybody seen a truck yet? Without yeah. it, the balanced diet so necessary for our well-being would be difficult indeed to achieve during the winter months. Ah, oh, J. Edgar Hoover goes shopping. Hmm, let's see. Well, it isn't meat, but I suppose I better buy some of these just for appearances. <gasps> Cucumbers. Because of our truck farmers, the vitamins and minerals to be found in fresh vegetables are poison. Are now readily available all year long in all parts of our vigorous nation. Praise the truck farmer. Bow down before him. Worship the truck farmer at the church of your choice. Offer burnt sacrifices to the almighty truck farmer. Hail, Hail truck, truck farmer. farmer. Hail, Hail truck, truck farmer. farmer.
Penile Replacement Corporation Pictures presents... Tea House of the August Moon. The John Bradshaw Story. Yeah, as long as it's not John Hughes. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, Fat, we didn't get to read. Oh. Mm -hmm. Music by the Little Rascal. <laughs> oh, songs. I hope this isn't a musical. They laughed when I accused my parents and I killed them. Let's see if they'll be laughing now. Did you know that the role of Al Frazier was the most coveted role at that time? Really? Wow. Sam Newfield, he directed Jungle Goddess. Oh, well, that... Ah! Part four, Citizens on Patrol. Hey, where's the cantankerous but funny bailiff? Who's there? James Wilson, during the progress of this trial, you have refused to testify in your own defense. And by your silence, have prevented your counsel from adequately defending you. You can't handle you the truth! manslaughter. And in the evidence presented, in the absence of explanation, would warrant this court in finding you guilty. Before we go any farther, I urge you once again to speak, if there is anything you can say in your own defense. Uh, sorry, I was looking at your mole, sir. Kiss the day goodbye. Blondie, no! I like jello. Give him hell, Harry. Well, maybe I shouldn't say this, Your Honor. But I'm Esther Roll. But I, I accuse my parents. We have a title! Yes. Yes. We have a title, yes! Oh, oh, that's making me sick. Well, that was a short movie. <laughs> have order in this court. Oh, if only I was face. Hunts Hall right oh, now. Oh, boy. Tell us exactly what is in your mind. You know, stuff. Well, Your Honor? I don't believe my mother and father should have ever had a child. I was abused as a zygote. I don't believe they ever wanted the responsibility. Well, everybody's settled in. It wasn't that they were ever unkind to me. They gave me everything I ever wanted except... Pancakes. ...time and attention. And money. I learned to put myself to bed when I was four or five years old and to get my own breakfast if they weren't up yet when it was time to go to school. Yeah, boo-hoo, we all have problems. Did you get along well in school? <laughs> oh, yes, sir, I liked it. I had some pretty good friends among my classmates. Hey, a simple yes or no will do. And now I'm going to announce the winner of the essay contest. Sergeant, take the gun and shoot the corporal. We are very proud that this honor has fallen to a pupil of our school, James Wilson, for his mm. splendid essay. I won, I won. <laughs> and my home. Come forward, James. Well, maybe he just suspects his parents at this point. I would like to quote a closing line from James' essay which made a particular appeal to the judges. All life is in travesty. In American home, the father Conform. is happy to care Conform. for his Conform. wife, Conform. who is happy to Conform. care for her children, and they are thankful for their happiness and security. When I accepted the woman, And now we want to meet I... your mother, James. We want to know the woman who has inspired this splendid essay. Joan Crawford? The Committee of Mothers is meeting here tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Oh, it's BYOM. To discuss plans for the graduation exercises. And we'd love to have your mother serve on the committee, James. Oh, I don't have a mom. My dog sure ate her. Be pleased. Um, Very well, James. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I won. I won. After 11 years in high school, I finally won something. Hey, everybody lives in that house. Yeah. Mom, mom. Oh, oh, no. Mom's in the bottle again. Well, it looks like Mom invited Joey Lewis over again. Well, she tidied up the place. Oh, left me some. Hmm. Went to store, scotch in fridge, love mom. Buy yourself another mother. Hmm. And there it says, P.S. Say yes to Martini and Rossi on the Rocks. Say yes. Press P. It's terrible. She drank all that gin. 
<laughs> Ironically, the humorful part is he buys liquor with the 10 bucks. <laughs> <It does. laughs> Where do I start? It all looks so good. Now the vodka clashes with the coffee table. Mom is hot. Oh. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, hello, Shirley. Is your mother home? No, she isn't. Oh, never mind. I didn't want to see her especially. Besides, I can see her later. OK, who are you? You can offer me a drink if you want to. And I think you want to. Sure, help yourself. Just pick a Thanks. table. It's a booze progressive dinner here. Well, how about you? Come on, join me. Can't do any more than kill you. Oh, no, thanks. Not for me. I've been hitting it too hard lately. Yeah, I know. It's kind of tough when it gets the best of you. Well, here goes for both of us. Hey, that's my booze. Huh, looks like you're having yourselves a time, you two. Suddenly, the thin man enters. What goes on here? This is my first. I wouldn't know about Jim. Bean. Mother home yet? No. Means another cold supper, I suppose. Vodka oh, sandwiches. Who what can you expect? Nine times out of ten, if she did stay home all day cooking, you'd fall in the last minute you had a business day and couldn't make it. See the Greek chorus? You women certainly stick together, don't you? Not necessarily. I'd rather stick to an attractive man. Dad, do you mind? Oh, warden. <laughs> home so early, Dan. I was a half hour late. But I was only detained on business. You probably had more important things to do. Well, you needn't be so cross about it. I'm sorry if I'm late. But the buses are so crowded and I couldn't get a taxi. I suppose you couldn't have tried an hour earlier. No, I couldn't. Fix my little drink, James. I, I, I'm exhausted. I'm from drinking so much. Are we going to have any dinner tonight? In a minute. It's all in the icebox. Hey, could somebody service. please do an intervention? Well, you with us, Shirley? Oh, no, thanks. I have a date. Another time, then. Thanks. Ready for our date? Well... May the best man win. Who is that? I've had just about enough of this. I won't put up with it any longer. What are you talking about? The whole setup. No decent meals on time. The house is always in a mess while yeah, you're like, gadding about making a fool of yourself. Gonna, uh, but you do what you please. Why shouldn't I do what I please? That's I got, okay with me. The teacher but said you're it, not going to do it while you're my wife. It was your... That suits me. You don't suppose I like going on like this, do you? I'd have divorced you years ago if it hadn't been for Jimmy. Mother, Dad, please. A lot of help you've been to him. A fine home you've made for him. But I got How about the example you've set him? Out was... gambling every night. Sometimes not even coming home at all. Really well, good I paper. have to do something to pass the time. Teacher thought I was going to bring a man home to a place like this. Then why do you to... come home? Maybe I won't in the future. But I can... Dad. Freshen your drink? Oh. Yes, sir. Something about school. I won the essay contest and the principal said that... I'll say that's fine. Here's $5. Go out and celebrate. Spend it on loose leaf paper. There goes a great man. <laughs> what about my five dollars? <laughs> oh, jeez. This guy's made more money today than I did oh, all the way through high mom. school. He'll be back. Another woman. I don't care whether he comes back or not. It won't be any different if he does. Well, maybe it will. You see, I didn't tell that all that happened at school today. Hmm. The principal wants you to meet with the parents' graduation committee tomorrow at 11. Mrs. Carlisle and Mrs. Whitney are going to be there. <laughs> All the most important women in the neighborhood. Is there a bar? Oh, and they really want me to be there. Oh, sure they do. And I want you to go, Mom. Yeah, and they need You'll a laughing stock. I could wear my new afternoon dress. And that hat I just bought. Oh, wait till we get the sale for that hat. <laughs> Okay, so is everybody done with their art therapy project? Yep. Joel, what's the point of this art therapy stuff anyway, huh? Well, by having you draw pictures of your idealized family, maybe you can escape some of the deep psychological problems that Jimmy, the star of today's movie, suffered because of his family. So let's see what you draw on, okay? Huh. okay. This is Crows. That's, that's my dad. He's all powerful. His hands are made of stainless steel, and he has lasers that shoot out of his chest. Pew, pew. I don't have to tell you, he's the coolest dad in the whole neighborhood. And we go when we go to father-son picnics, we win every event. And, and he dispenses homespun wisdom and teaches solid Midwestern values while crushing all who block his path. Uh -huh. What about the handlebar mustache? I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Uh, oral obsession with mustache indicates nasal labial shame. Good, okay. Now let's see yours here. Tom, what's this? Okie doke. Uh, that's my mom, my dad, and my mom. My mom is Haley Mills, my dad is Gigantor, and my mom is Peggy Cass. Uh-huh, and why are your moms uh, holding hands, Tom? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Latent parent trap syndrome. Oh, man, should be. Straight jacket. Okay, Gypsy. Well, oh. this one's really nice. What's oh. this one? Uh, Jewel? 
Uh -huh. My ideal family is right here, and I know Richard Basehart watches over us all. Oh, that's really sweet, Gypsy. But tell me, why does Richard Basehart get to play God? Well, I don't know. Uh, Joel, why are you spending your time psychoanalyzing robots? Um, I don't know. I'm kidding, of course, we'll be right back. I do know. <laughs> I really do know. Joe Bolster, he just cracks me up. The mirror ought to tell you. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to gym school. Well, you certainly look the part. <laughs> Why don't you act your age? Stop criticizing me. You don't like my clothes. You don't like my hat. You don't like it if I sit around here. You don't like it if I go out. Well, let's stop this ridiculous farce. Why don't we quit? I, I like your Great hat. idea. Thanks for the suggestion. So they're divorced now? Well, that was easy. Hmm. Mm, he's a good husband. He just has a hard time expressing his feelings. <laughs> She's got a sea anemone on her head. <laughs> mirror, mirror, on the wall. Can I make it to last call? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to work on the decorating committee. Oh, isn't that swell? Some of us girls thought we could bring some flowers. I'm going to build a Jimmy blimp and fight the Nazis. To win the contest. I think he should read it at the graduation exercises. Why, yes, what an excellent idea. Wow, the whole school oh, seems to be nice. buzzing about that essay. I mm -hmm. my home, that's all. It's the way any other fellas is. <laughs> the way a home ought to be. A very happy home, obviously. I'm most anxious to meet your mother. Oh, Mom's swell. Liar! 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 Even if I had a lot of brothers and sisters. She must take a great interest in her home. She does. That's all she thinks about. Well, that and twist off caps. What's more important when you come right down to it? A woman's job is her home and family, isn't it? At least that's the way my mom figures. Hello, everybody. Oh, and did I tell you she drinks? Sorry if I'm late. Miss Reardon drinks a lot. I'm Jimmy Wilson's mother. <laughs> <laughs> She's drunk. It's funny. How oh, shocking. Eleanor Roosevelt's Jimmy. pissed. Ooh. How terrible. <laughs> mom. Did you bring another glass? Am I late? I, I, when's the meeting start? Come on, Mom, let's go home. Oh, what's your hurry? Aren't you going to introduce me? Some other time, Mom. Please, come on, let's go home. Well, so long, Mrs. Home. Um, Lush, was it? Oh, yes. Jimmy. I want to go to the Later in prison. <laughs> She's drunk. It's funny. How shocking. I wish my peers would get out of my head. I'm trying to sleep. I'm you walking. Yes, indeed, I'm talking. I accuse my parents of He wants to turn his essay into a screenplay. Oh, there's some people from Lorimar who are interested. Wanted. Mother. Hmm.
Did you ever sell shoes before? Uh, no, sir. A uh, young Al oh, Bundy. Yes, sir, if you give me a try. You live with your parents? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, you look like a good boy. I think hey. I'll be hey. Now, the job pays $25 a week, and you get an hour off for lunch. You've got to be here every morning at 9, work till 6. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, and I'll show you the stop. Yeah, he sneezed all over the window. Yeah. Let her out. Let her out. She's frozen. Oh, she's a frosted mini pearl. <laughs> the hat. The big goober over here and down there. Oh, I get it. You want to see my knees. <laughs> Why did he spray Desinex all over the window? He just doesn't get it, does he? No, no, you're ruining it for me. I want you to put on some shoes. Oh, come on, just clean the whole window. Jeez. Your mother's in detox. Come quickly. Ah, get in here. Jeez. Ah, that's a good idea. Please don't touch the customers, Jim. You interested in something in shoes? No, a fish sandwich. What do you think? Yes. I'd like to see those suede slippers in the window. The black ones with the bows. I won an essay contest. <laughs> My mom doesn't drink. Oh. Some shoes. Some shoes. Some shoes. <laughs> you better let me help you. Oh, that's all right. Cruel shoes. Oh. <laughs> Ow. I like your underwear. Yes. Oh. Hey, you! Yeah. Oh, There's cheese in here. Oh. Brennick. Da 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 da. Eights? Well, you better try again. There's something wrong. I'll try again. There's something's wrong. <laughs> better with your hand out. Oh. Well, it says here your feet don't exist. Sixes. <laughs> Sixes. <is sick. laughs> oh, my area. Again, push the earth shoes. I have it now. Can I show you something in a size me? <laughs> hey, those are our old shoes. These are red goose shoes, so you get a free egg. I got my thumb caught. This is a good thing she's not trying on a girdle. Mm. What do you think? Beautiful. The shoes, I mean. Oh, oh I'll oh. go. They look like they might have been made for you. They probably were. My husband is Buster Brown. I'm a fatalist. I believe that everything happens as it should happen. Just like my coming in here and buying these shoes from you. You really believe that? Of course. How much are they? Uh, $9.95, including tax. Oh, you'll have to send them COD. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't do that. Well, I mean, we don't make deliveries, see? I mean, you're oh, a bad well, person. I, I mean... I don't live very far. Maybe you could drop them off on your way home. Yeah, maybe I could. My name's Kitty Reed. Oh, yeah, bring it in. That's right. Set the hook. There you go. What time will you be by? Well, I get off work about 6. I guess I can make it in about 10 minutes. Oh, that's fine. I'll be looking for you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Are we in love yet? Uh, okay. <laughs> Gee, it's 6.11 already. Where is he? Oh, quick, out the back way. She's got a closet full of dead shoe salesmen. Love me. Hello. Oh, here's your shoes. Oh, thanks. But, uh, you're two minutes late. Yeah, I know. I had to put away some of the stock. Well, come on in. Quack, 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 quack. You know, it might not be important, but if someone dropped in accidentally and I had to introduce you... That was in my underwear and you were on the trapeze. Well if I knew your name. Oh, James Wilson, but everybody calls me Jimmy. Okay, Jimmy. Everyone calls me Kitty. I don't know why. Yeah. My name is Susan. Hey, Kitty. Will you have some, or would you rather have a drink? Oh, no, thanks. Not for me. I've been hitting that stuff kind of heavy lately. Besides, my mother doesn't like the smell it on my breath. You know how mothers are. Well, then how I about a bomb? I never had one myself, but enough to remember. <laughs> I was torn from the thigh of Zeus. That's okay. I got used to being on my own a long time ago. <laughs> you live here alone? No, with Vera Moore. She's in the show with me. Oh, are you an actress? Well, not an actress, exactly. I I work in a nightclub, the Paradise. Have you ever been there? No, but I'll come and see you some night. Oh, that's swell, Jimmy. I'll be looking for you.
know, it seemed kind of strange to me just living here like this with another friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not having anyone to come home to. Like a family. That's right. Well, when I open the door, my mom is sure to call out, is that you, Jim? Liar. No matter what time of day or night it is. I get so I expect it. Double I. Of course, I always tell her to go to bed when I'm going to be late, but she never does. Big fat lie. She worries about me, I guess. She can't rest until I get home. He's a gifted storyteller. <laughs> oh, she is. She's wonderful. Lie. She's the best mother a guy ever had. Double lie. Dad's pretty swell, too. He takes an interest in everything I do. <laughs> Why, when we talk, it's just like two fellas my age instead of father and son. Mom says she really has two bows. Well, it's That's getting really late, I think. Like I almost did. My folks split up about three years ago, and I've been on my own ever since. Well, you seem to have done pretty well on your own. Not nearly as well as me with my mother, of course. I wish I could believe that. But can I just tell you one more thing about my mom? Well, I better pay you for the shoes before I talk you out of it. Oh, no, don't do that. I mean, I'd like to give them to you as a gift, if you'll let me, as a sort of a celebration. You see, you were my first customer. Well, that's awfully sweet, but Weird. you can't afford to give me a gift like that, can you? Oh, sure I can. I've got plenty of money. I'm not just an ordinary shoe salesman. Liar! 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 If I like it and decide to stay, why, my dad might... The clock is bugged! Oh, I see. 1,700 lies later. <laughs> and, of course, I was the last one out of Saigon. <laughs> That's my first baby picture. Isn't it awful? No, I think it's kind of cute. Uh, did I mention I'm an Olympic That's champion? Ten. Hey, you can tell you were going to be beautiful. What happened? Oh. And that's Aunt Harriet. Enough said. Mm. She suffered from chronic indigestion. Yeah, I guess she was suffering from something. Take it back! Take it back! Oh, say it's late. I have to be at the Paradise in a half hour. Oh, well, I better go, then. And quick. Well, will I see you soon? I hope so, Jimmy. Whoa. This is one successful shoe salesman. Open mouth, close sale. Oh, pardon me. I thought you'd be gone. You're kind of late, aren't you? Can I just tell you about oh, my mom once? I was just ready to leave. Miss Vera Moore, Mr. Jimmy Wilson. How do you do? I'm doing fine. <laughs> so are you, I see. <laughs> well, so long, Kitty. Bye, Jimmy. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, yes, it's late as night, and the feeling's right. Oh, what a night. Hey, what is this? You'd better watch your step, hadn't you? Well, no problem with my new shoes. Blake? Yeah, Blake. In case you've forgotten, he's madly in love with you. Oh, Blake! Yeah, I know. But Jimmy seems so different. He, he's so sweet. He knows my shoe size. But kind of a kid every girl dreams about. You won an essay contest, now, you know. don't tell me it's love at first sight. Well, what's so impossible about that? Who knows what likes in the hearts of men the shadow knows? He lives at Monticello. Oh, isn't everybody? I... Hey, I won the essay. Oh. Well, come on in. We invited the cast from Gigi over. <laughs> Sister. Hey, come back with that. Walt Disney interviewing another Snow White. <laughs> Gee, kind of slow night for a Monday. <laughs> you know the trouble with cocktail parties is they end too soon. They don't have to. You can make them last as long as you like. Well, I like this one. They last at least three days. <laughs> so Step why don't we go down to uh, Jack Taylor? Step. Down to the beach. He's got lots of room, lots of liquor. We spend the weekend. That's a wonderful idea. Listen, everybody. How about going down to Jack Taylor's at the beach for the weekend? That's the idea. Anybody know who Jack Taylor is? Hey, don't leave, because I'm here. Huh? Well, I won the essay contest. Oh, Jimmy, I didn't know you were home. Well, I guess you forgot. Tomorrow's my birthday. It was your birthday last year. Well, here. Here's $20. Go out and have a party with your own friends. Take out your best girl. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you and Mom about. Oh, then there is a woman in the case. And what a woman. Take a look at this. Hey, gang, Jimmy's got a girl. Oh. <laughs> Let's strip him. Yeah, yeah, come on. on. Wait a minute. By my calculations, he's made $35. Minus the $9.95 for the shoes. Mom's swell. Birthday scam worked again. Huh. So that's why that guy in the bus is looking at me all funny. Oh, wise guy, eh? Happy birthday to me. Feels like I could buy a friend with this. Jack Taylor's got a great place. Welcome back to the 12th annual Essay Awards ceremony. 
Miss Yorick. Miss Yorick. You desire a table? Uh, yes. This way, please. Uh, do you know when Miss Kitty Reed goes on? Right after this number. She is putting on her tassels now. Hi, I'm the essay guy. Hi, essay guy's here. That's me. Essay is my name. <laughs> Monsieur, I must warn you. Her act is messy. Monsieur, you will get ra- wet on this oh, ride. What on the uh, Well, uh, bring me two champagne cocktails. Two? Yes, two. Yeah, yeah and, and put them in one of those big slurpy glasses, too. Charge! Charge! Gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our singing star, Miss Kitty Reed. This is her over here. Isn't she beautiful? Take a look. What do you think? Do it. <laughs> Gina Davis. Are you happy? Define happy. In your work. No, don't sing this to me on a Monday. I love the skillet scramble and fries. Do you greet each day, and is it a deal, a real appeal? Feel you're earning your pay. I came to tell you you have to pay for the shoes. Are you grateful? You're alive. Is your day full? Hey, Walter Lance. Yeah, what do you mean? Living in the rhythm that I'm speaking of. Can I order, please? I know how toast works. <laughs> Are you happy in your work? Oh, well, I was. Though your banker or a clerk. <laughs> Where's this going? You know, the table? As delicious as hey, showbiz, can we get our food over here? Do your hours spin? <laughs> and are you a glow to check shepherd? I know you're making your tea. Bite me. Did you carry crumbs away? Uh, no. Uh. Are you merry with your tree? It's difficult. Living in the uh, river it's going out. I'm speaking of. Hey, I got a great idea. What? You go get Gypsy, I'll get the costumes. Oh, it I just might love. work. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our singing star, Miss Kitty Reed. Does your 
morning men you really send you on your way do you greet each day and is it a deal a real appeal feel you're earning your pay are you grateful you're alive is your day full nine to five living in the rhythm that i'm speaking of As delicious as your happy grin Do your hours spin And are you a glow to check chapeau No, you're making your tea As you carry crumbs away Are you merry with your tray Living in the river that I'm seeking Oh, you'll be happy in your work if you're in love Oh, geez, I think we spilled some champagne cocktail into Cambot sequencer here. Oh, sorry, everybody, sorry. Uh, Tom Server, you know what to do. Get down there and muck that out. I'm Roger. sorry, Chips, it was going so good. Well, I guess we'll have to take it from the top. Oh, no, oh, not again. Oh, no, not ah. I think we got movies on the yeah. camera. Oh, pretty well, Ooh. actually. Oh, yeah. Thanks. And now Tom McCann and the Payless Orchestra with Colham and the saxophone and the naturalizer will sing something by Johnston and Murphy. I synthesized animal protein in my lab today. You know, I'm glad you came over with that. Are you really? No. <laughs> now, if we're going to be friends, it'll give us a chance to be better acquainted. Oh, I feel as though I've known you for years already. Oh, you do? Well, suppose you start telling me something about myself. All right. Oh, you're hot. Let's see, when you were 10 years old... Oh, now, wait a minute. That's going to be a long story. Suppose we sit the rest of this one out. Okay. Right? I took the liberty of sitting here. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. Who are you? Oh, this is Jimmy Wilson, a boy from my hometown. I met him today by accident. This is Mr. Blake, Jimmy, my boss. How do you do? I'm glad to know any friend of Kitty's. You going to be in town long, Mr. Wilson? I live here. In oh, a castle and stuff. I guess you see quite a change in Kitty since the last time you saw her, huh? Oh, not so very much. Of course, her clothes are different. Yes, I'm sure they are. You see, she spends a lot more nowadays than she did back in Iowa. Ooh, that's cold. Yes, Kitty? Ouch. Okay, Charlie. Uh, you'll excuse us, of course, Mr. Oh, Wilson. Sure, go right ahead. Thank you. I'm waiting for a call from the president, so I couldn't dance anyway. So who's the stiff? Where'd you run into the little Lord Polaroid? In a shoe store. I went in to buy some shoes, and there he was. Isn't that a funny coincidence? Mm -hmm. Selling shoes, huh? Mm -hmm. Hi, I sell shoes. Seems like a nice kid. I might be able to help him do better. Look, Charlie, lay off. I'm only trying to help him. I know other people you've helped, and they all Shut end up... up. I can use the kid. Just whose welfare are you interested in? Here's a mine. Yours, of course. Okay, see that it stays that way. I want you to give me a build-up with the kid. Tell him what a great guy I am. What a good friend I've been to you. I might find him useful. And then I'll throw him away like a paper okay. towel. In our audience tonight, Tony Big Tuna Cardo. Stand up, Tony. I went and liberated France while you were dancing. Uh, I fixed your chair, too. It doesn't squeak anymore. Oh, I ordered for all of us. I hope it's all right. But you see, tomorrow's my birthday, and I'm celebrating. OK, it's enough birthday. with the birthday. It's all right. As a matter of fact, we'll make a night of it. What do you say, kitten? Meow. Fine, I'm for it. Well, hey, uh, Jimmy, happy birthday to you. Happy Thank birthday, you. Jimmy. So then my mom says to Roosevelt and Churchill, she says, what about some kind of Lend-Lease program? So, suddenly they're at a hee-haw rap party. Oh, they'd better not sing Achy Breaky Heart yeah. again. Jules and Jim. Well, we're going to the buffet. Oh, you groove in with your cuckoo work. Hey. Everything satisfactory, Mr. Blake? Oh, fine, thanks, Trent. 
Say, you haven't forgotten about that package you left with me. Oh, no, uh, no. Uh, I'll have it picked up in a couple of days. Okay. And Trent. I love you. This party's on the kid. Thanks. Say, what are you doing tomorrow? Or today, I guess. It must be Sunday morning already. It is. Why? What's on your mind? Well, I thought with my folks away that we could spend my birthday together. Well, why not? I'll tell you, Jimmy. You come to my apartment about 12, and I'll fix you an old-fashioned birthday breakfast. You know, coffee and cigarettes. Oh, swell. You know, tonight's been great. Only be nicer if Mr. Blake hadn't come along. You'd ask him, he'd say the same about you. Yeah. Don't you like Mr. Blake? Oh, I guess he's all right. Only... Oh, isn't he all right? Yeah, I guess. Well, don't you like him? He's my main squeeze, sure, Jimmy. I, I wouldn't want you to be like him. Why? What's wrong with him? Oh, he's money mad. Wants to get rich quick. Hey, is that bad? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think you have a better future in the shoe business. How about essay writing? I'm good at that. Thank you. Well, Kitty, Trent's been asking if you'd sing a song. Well, I'd be glad to, Mr. Trent. Thanks, Miss Reed. It'll be a treat for my patrons. Excuse me. How about Love to Love Your Baby? So, Jimmy, do you like your kneecaps? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a big surprise for you this evening. I'm Rudolph Hess. From the paradise, Miss Kitty Reed. Hey, we want Grandpa Jones. You too old to cut the mustard. You know anything by Donna Summer? Yeah, that's good, isn't she? Oh, she sure is. I've never met anyone like her before. Take it back, take it back! What an expensive oh. girl to take out. Oh, nothing's too good for a girl like her. Honey, don't slouch. Up straight. Whee! Love came between us, showed us the way. It's the silo of power horn. <laughs> ding, ding. Order up, come on, pick it up. We were going this way, that way, this way. Then it took us by the hand. Wait a second, she's got a pig yes, and a blanket on her head. Showed us the kiss way to the promised land. The kiss way to the promised Love land? Recommended taking a spin. Yes, Satan, speak to me through this song. We should get in the swim. Right from the start, my heart has felt no pain. Because I'm hand dipped in gin. The grass is the greenest. She's looking at me. Oh, she's looking at me. Am too. I'm not. All skate now. All skates. Kowalski table for seven. Kowalski. We were going this way, that way, this way. Then it took us by the hand. Check, please. Check. Hey, I'm a Waiter. mozzarella sticks Check. almost Check, up. Check, please, please. To the promised land. Last call. Last call for alcohol. <laughs> I like songs. <laughs> all, all cheese busters are now $1.45. There is also a green and white station wagon parked in the delivery zone. <laughs> Wear pants. <laughs> To hell. You should have seen us when love came between us to lead us down that lover's lane. Boy, she's really rocking this mother, isn't she? Ouch. For you! Oh, the mob's gone country. Thank you, Miss Reed. Thank you, Miss Reed. Gee, you as well, Kitty. Thanks, Jimmy. So as I was saying, Jimmy, if you'd like to add to your income sometime, I might be able to throw a few odd jobs your way. What kind of odd job? Oh, little things you could do for me after working hours. Sod farming. Here's my card if you're interested. Look me up sometime. Well, thanks, I will. Mobs are hey, us. We got places to go. Waiter, check. Checkmate. Oh, let me have that. You took care of it at Paradise. Okay. I'll just take a look. <laughs> Jeez, who ate all this stuff? And a cover. Do you remember a fourth person sitting here? Gee, I'm afraid I don't have quite enough cash to cover this. Well, they'll take your check. Oh, will they? Well, have you got a blank check? Sure. How you fix for socks and underwear? 
Her cigarette is Velcroed to her lip. I uh, see you use the same bank I do. Oh, well, they're your checks. Yeah. Yeah, ever get bit by a dead bee? Oh, I don't have any other tables. That's okay. Uh, is everything current, Mr. Disraeli? Or buy yourself a rototiller. Well, let's get going. <clears throat> Come on. Yes, sir? I want you to go to the bank for me and make a deposit. Yes, sir. And, uh, Jimmy. Uh, I love you. You might put these through. Maybe they'll be good now. If they bounce back again, I'm going to put that Mr. Smith in jail. Gee, that's quite a coincidence, because I just wrote a bad check, and if I had some extra cash, I... Oh. Plus one is two. Stupid. Yes, indeed, I'm stupid. Uh, quite a long line at the petty larceny window. Yeah, one. Uh, two. Uh, uh oh, I think he's gonna give Mr. Potter his newspaper. Right. My mom doesn't drink. Take the other window. Oh, thanks. What's the secret word? Say the secret word and win $100. I'd like to deposit some guilt and withdraw some denial, please. I'm sorry. You can't deposit this. Oh. Hmm. I'm sorry. You can't put that in your pocket either. Nice cuticle. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Bet you dropped in. You've been thinking over my suggestion? Yes, in a way I have. You see, and you could use a little cash, is that right? Mm. Yes. There's a friend of mine in trouble, and I'd like to help him out. Well, how much do you want? About $100. 472 80 well, That's a lot of money, Jimmy. Get out, get out! Well, I guess I can advance it to you. When you begin to work for me, why, you can pay me back. That'd be swell if you would, Mr. Blake. I could start working for you any time you say. Good, you can begin right now. Mm. First thing I want you to do is to go to the bank and rent a safe deposit box. At times, there may be some valuable papers I want you to take care of for me. All right, I'll do that. Do what? Now, don't be surprised oh. if this job gets you up at odd hours of the night. I'll make it worth your while. Well, maybe I ought to quit the shoe store. No, there's no need to do that. Hmm. You stay at the store until I get you on a full-time job. If you say so. <laughs> now, tonight, I want you to go to this address and pick up a package. And whack somebody. show him this, and he'll know it's OK. Well, should I bring the package back? No. No, uh, no, no. The box. And I'll let you know when I want it. All right. Jimmy. This will take care of the rental of the box, and you can keep the rest of it. Thanks. By the way, I'd rather you wouldn't say anything to anyone about working for me. You know, if your boss found out, he might not like it. I won't. And when you get through work tomorrow, give me a ring. Yes, sir. Oh, and I'll leave your soul with the receptionist. I knew I'd go from rags to riches. Nope, oh, sorry, honey. I'm eating all four of my lobsters. Okay, here you go, Jimmy. Make sure nobody sees this pound of bacon, see? I'm taking you downtown, honey. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, uh, where should I put my hand? It, it's kind of awkward. Senator Paul Simon. Hey, you two staying home tonight? Oh, well, your father's going to the club to play cards later. I thought you and I might do something, but I see you have other plans. Oh, I'm sorry. He's dead. a rather heavy day. Why don't you call up one of your gang? Maybe I will. Well, bye now. Bye. Nah. Nah. You think you'd ever accuse us? Have changed these last few weeks? Have you noticed it, Dan? Jimmy Ho. Oh, yeah, he seems to have grown up overnight. <laughs> well, I don't like it. What do you suppose he's doing out every night in the week? For several nights, he didn't come home at all. Maybe he stayed yeah. with a friend. It's a little late to start asking questions now. Well, after all, you're his father. You ought to keep an eye on him. Well, you're his mother. You stay home once in a while, you might know what he's up to. The talking corpse. Maybe he's got a girlfriend, that's all. I have when I was his age. And then I died inside. He's not going to start taking after you. That's it. There's a six-pack calling my name. Oh, Kitty. I, uh, I brought you a little something. Oh, Jimmy. Leftover Chinese. Why, sure, I like buying presents for you. It's fun. But I always have to pay for them. Jimmy, 
I don't want you to be offended, but I've got to ask you something. Do I have a weird profile? You're not mixed up in anything that isn't quite on the level, are you? Whatever gave you that idea? I'm just selling drugs to oh, school kids. Know, except that you have so much more money to spend lately. Oh, the mob Look, ties. Don't you worry about me. I wouldn't do anything that wasn't on the right side of the law. I hope not, Jimmy. You're so sweet, I wouldn't want you to change. Why should I change? I'll always wear Jed Clampett's hat. People do in this town. Circle Pines will do that. So you don't, Kitty. Now let me have that tongue of yours. Say, Eddie Menes gave me two tickets for the folly Sunday. Hey, what do we bid for two tickets to follies? Hey, seven and a half from that. You cancel that like you did our luncheon date today. Oh, now look, kitten, can I help it if I'm busy? Oh, hanged if I can find time to do the things we've planned. But business is sure picking up. Well, that's good. You'll bet for both of us. The higher Charlie Blake goes. The higher Kitty Reed. You said it. Well, mm -hmm. bye, darling. Oh, uh, I meant to ask you before. Have you put Jimmy Wilson to work? Why, uh, I haven't laid eyes on him. Have you seen him? Liar! Liar! asked me to give you a build-up, remember? Must have been a swell build-up you gave him to keep him away like this. Man, everybody well, lies the way he in this talked, I thought by now he'd be pounding on your door for a job. No, I haven't seen him. I guess he's pounding on the wrong door. <laughs> Who guess. said it? Hey, you talk about me giving you a stand-up. Where have you been disappearing to after the show every night? Are you sure get out of that dressing room in a hurry? And I've been missing you. Well, Charlie, you know the old saying. Early to bed and early to rise. Hmm? Well, that's me. Bye now. Goodbye. I also know about a bird in the hand. Now get out of here. You're deal with Mr. Blake. How long have you been with him? A few weeks. I'm not working full time for him yet. Uh, see. I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, note to self, find out correct time. Uh, is my birthday tomorrow, mister? What is this guy, butcher to the mob? <laughs> Here you go. Happy birthday, now, Jimmy. This is very important. See that Mr. Blake gets this note tonight. And be sure that you give it to no one but him. All right, I'll do that. And this is Skag. Be careful with it. I let you out the back door. Don't tell the Nazis where I am. Hi, I have an important thing and some stuff called Skag. What's the idea coming back here? I told you what to do with that package. I know you did, Mr. Blake, but Mr. Carlton said to give you this note. He said it was important. Is this a caper? I never should have gone to an old country buffet with him. Let's see, what does it say here? Isn't this guy carrying the letter a dink? Hmm. It's all right, Jimmy. You did the right thing. Better wait out in the other office. I may have something else for you to do. OK, Mr. Blake. And uh, do some filing while you're out there. <laughs> yeah, I got a real knack for shadowy errands. <laughs> That's me. All right, boys, come on in. 
We're gonna pants the courier. William Frawley, Montgomery Cliff. Get this. Chuck, I tried to get the painting out of Gordon's dead storage. Couldn't make it as the place is being watched. Don't send any more packages. I'm leaving town. Take my tip and do the same. Call. Well, how do you like that? I called you Chuck. I thought that stuff was safe there. Thirty thousand dollars worth of diamonds. What are you gonna do now, Charlie? We're gonna talk like this. We're going down to the warehouse and get it out tonight and take the kid with you. Take the kid. What for? It may take two of you to do the job. I'll have him rent a car and he can drive for you. I'm doing the Superman set now. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, hi. I want you to go down to Olson's before mm -hmm. it closes and rent a car. Huh. Come back here at 12 o'clock tonight and pick up the boys and take them down to Gordon's warehouse okay. to pick up a package. Then drive them back here. Okay, Mr. Blake. He's got framed rubber vomit on the wall. Mm -hmm. You know what? I should call Mr. Blake and tell him how much I like him. You'd better be. Can I see you tonight? We'll go dance? Oh, Crazy this is dance, late Jimmy. night hot. Oh, swell. I've got a little business to take care of, and I'll be about a half hour late. I've got something awfully important to ask you. Now, don't tell me you're going to propose to me. Maybe. All right, hon, I'll be looking for you. Jimmy's cheating on me. That guy's eavesdropping on his eavesdropping. Wait here, I'll be back in an hour. With squeaky shoes on. Love came between us. Oh, hello. I didn't expect to see you, Charlie. I know you didn't. You expected the kid. Nobody expects to Nobody see you, Charlie. Love came between us. Oh, oh butter mitts, huh? Don't mind if I do. Mm. First of all, you and I are going to straighten out something. What's going on between you two? Oh, cheap love. Why? I don't know what you're talking about, Charlie. Why aren't you dressed like Major Barbara? No? Well, then I'll make it clear. I heard that phone conversation you had a little while ago. He was talking from my office. It was funny. It made me laugh. Ha! So you really fell in love with the kid. Mm. Now, look. Nobody's going to take you away from me. Nobody. Not even me. See? I'll kill me before that happens. Why? Why, Charlie, you don't really think I fell for that kid, do you? Why, you asked me to string him along. Can I help it if he fell for me? Well, he did win that essay Don't contest. Worry about it, will you? He's as good as forgotten. Liar! Liar! When he gets here, I want you to get rid of him. The old way. Oh, the highway. Or would you rather have me do it? Okay, Charlie. I'll be happy in my work. It ought to be a cinch. Oh, it's the three hard boiled eggs she ordered. I'll be in there listening. Like I usually am. Watch out, girl! Hey, I thought you were gonna have this stuff dry cleaned. Well, our time is popular. Well, I've joined the Black Hand. Come on, Hi. Let's get going. We've only got a few hours. I have some work to do later on. I'm not going. Well, what the? Wait a minute. Hey, are you kidding? Why, over the phone, you just got through saying we'd go someplace. I lied. I know, but after I talked to you, I changed my mind. Guy in the closet. <clears throat> An old friend of mine called, and I'm going out with him. Guy in the closet. Hey, you say that so convincingly, I almost believe it. Hey, where'd you get these golf clubs? Shh. You can believe it. Guy in the closet. Do you closet. mean that? Of course I mean it. Hey, I smell Shut Italian. Up. Oh, you poor chump. Courage. Did you really take me seriously? Did you think for one minute that I loved you or that I wanted to marry you? She's smoking. Why, can you imagine Kitty Reed cooped up in a little two-before cottage with a string of kids climbing all over? Oh, no, not Kitty. I am the angel of death. The day of reckoning is upon us. You know, Jimmy, I thought that for a while you might go someplace. But you'll always be a shoe salesman at 25 a week. 18 after taxes. And uh, my ambition's a little higher than that. Well, wait a minute. They're going to put me in charge of the sock you table. Why don't you run along and your papers? You annoy me. Uh... Okay. Good night, Mr. Blake. Good night, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I ought to get that tennis racket restrung. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> I love that. Are you satisfied, Charlie? Well, you saved me a lot of trouble, kitten. Meow. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, thanks for coming by. <laughs> if I had parents, I'd accuse them right now. I accuse her hair. Meanwhile, outside of Skokie, Elliot Ness and his men continue their vigil. Well, at least they got a caper to fall back on. 
Huh? But what now? How can I get a blowout when I'm just sitting here? Get going, kid, quick. What happened? Get going. They stole the Bogart. It's a Bogart. Wait, shouldn't we find out what those shots were if anyone was hurt? I knew that nervous trigger finger of yours would get us into trouble sooner or later. It's all American. Well, it was either him or us. What about the kid? He ought to be here any minute, and he's ready to scream. And you better do some fancy talking, Blake. We're going to have trouble with him. Just let me handle him. Why didn't you tell me I was driving a car while hold up? Oh, I didn't boy. see any reason to tell you, Jimmy. I never told you about any of the other jobs you did for me. What other jobs? What do you mean? Ring jobs? You don't think I've been paying you the kind of money I have just to pick up packages? If they'd been on a level, I could have gotten a messenger for a lot less than you've been getting. I didn't know there was anything crooked about the job. I don't want any part of it. I'm quitting right now. No, Give me not. that tie back. Nobody ever quits on Charlie Blake. Oh, he's really in trouble. He doesn't want him to. Whatever I've done, I'm not going to stand for murder. I'll tell the police. I'll tell them about you. I'll tell them what you did to me. I'll tell hey, it's, it's my birthday tomorrow. You tell them anything. You're in this whether you like it or not. Mm. Just as much as if you handled a gun. You it's... tell the police and you'll get 20 years. Free? With no obligation? Talk. What if I tell a notary public? Oh, it's better. Since you're getting panicky, tell you what you do. You go on home and get a good night's rest and forget about it. Tomorrow morning, go back to the stores if nothing had happened. And don't worry about getting into a jam. I have enough influence to pull you out. Okay, I guess it's all right. Uh, you uh, want some yogurt? No, oh, it's all because of these shoes. Family Circus is really upsetting to him. I've got to control my urges. Up, Bunny Program. It's the Feather McGee and Molly Show. <laughs> Stop mocking me, radio. <laughs> Not down up in that door, McGee. I hate that hell roach music. You figure that vase is filled with scotch? Mm. What, Hello? Jimmy? Hello, this is Jimmy Wilson. Is Kitty there? I gotta talk to her. Just a minute, and I'll see if she's here. It's Jimmy Wilson. He wants to talk to you. The young Vivian Vance looks hopeful. She leans back. Tell him I'm not here. She says she's not well, here. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but she's not here. Thanks. I wonder who that was in the back. Wait a minute. Hey. Mm. The glow of the essay contest is starting to wear off. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are watching a film called I Accuse My Parents. Now just to ground everybody, it's the one where the kid accuses his parents. But can parents and parents alone explain mental illness on the scale of young Jimmy's? Mm -hmm. Gee, that'd be nice, but hey, let's try to map out the trail of his psychosis. Mm -hmm. We'll give Jimmy the benefit of the doubt and start with the film's hypotenuse that at the center of Jimmy's madness, we will in fact find his drunk folks. Right, uh, uh, drunk folks concerning whom Jimmy... Lies. And that's fine, but these are not simple utilitarian lies that satisfy you and me as we interact on a daily basis. No, 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 no. These are elaborate lies, Joel, if you will. Elaborate. Mm -hmm. Through which Jimmy constructs a richly cuckoo fantasy world of love. Then, Jimmy meets a nice young woman. Ah. Hey, Jim, here's someone you might want to confide in. Uh -huh. Truth, Jim. Truth, 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 truth. Mm -hmm. No. Not no a chance. It's not going to happen. Instead, Jimmy feels the need to denigrate others uh -huh. while simultaneously attracting others. Which leads somehow to a life of crime, and yet he's ignorant that it is crime. Huh. Related back to the elaborate lies, perhaps, Jim? And where in God's name is the connection to our starting point? Drunk, Drunk folks. folks. Uh -huh. right. and we, we shouldn't forget that Jimmy may be kind of stupid, Joel. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, Cambot, if you will. Here we go. Now we've entered Jimmy's subconscious. Uh, yeah. As it spins and twirls to illustrate today's lesson, that true Jimmy scale dementia is indeed a complex phenomenon. <laughs> Cause and effect. Good luck. Here's uh, <laughs> drunk folks, but that's just a piece of the puzzle. Mm. Mm. 
Hey, they're stupid. Really big. Mm, and yet there's so much more. Oh, d no backbone. Oh, and an extra unexplained level of denial. This oh. strange need for mob ties. Yeah, mm. Jimmy's complicated haircut. Oh, there goes his failure in Weeblos. Oh, and original sin. Don't forget that. Oh, oh. So if you're off your dot yourself... Don't look for simple answers. Mm. Really get inside yourself and just... Run around and have a good time. Believe you us, it can be a whale of a lot of fun. And you know what? We got commercial signs. Jim's crazy. And stupid. He's crazy for accusing his parents. Morning. 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 Mr. Holden? Yes. Morning. Anything I can do for you? Yes. Have you a boy working here by the name of Jimmy Wilson? Morning. Yes. We'd like to see him. Mm. I'm sorry. He hasn't come in yet. Most unusual. Jimmy's always on time. Milk duds? We got orders to check up on him. To check up on Jimmy? Yeah. What's he been doing? That's mm -hmm. what we're going to find out. He's been seen with some pretty shady characters. Yeah. Mm. Let's have his address. Why, of course. Let's see, Tuesday good for you? No. Uh, how about Sunday? Mm. 465 Lindhurst Drive. Thanks, Mr. Holden. Sunday it is, then. I'm afraid your boy won't show up today. Hmm? Well, who's going to sell these shoes, then? Hey, uh, you fellas want to reach into the treasure barrel? Oh. Hmm? <gasps> there he is! Officer! Officer! Well, here's our little fugitive. I'm sorry I'm late, Mr. Holden, but I had some business... There's two men here asking about you from police headquarters. Police headquarters? Well, what do they want to know about me? They didn't say. Have they got anything against you, Jimmy? Well, no, of course not. What could they have against me? Well, I don't know what you do outside the shop. They said you've been seen with some pretty shady characters. Hmm. Maybe you better go home, get your folks, take you down to police headquarters. Huh. Get this thing straightened out. I don't like police coming here, Jimmy. It isn't good for business. What business? Well, I don't blame you, Mr. Holden. No, I'll go right home and do that. Oh, all right. I'm sure there must be some mistake. Yeah. Two plain clothesmen from police headquarters have been to the shoe store asking about me. Well, that's pretty quick work. They must have traced the car. Now, look, you got me into this. You got to get me out. You said you would. Take it easy. I said I would, and I will. Come on, $30. Bit of bit now. Give me 35 minutes. Take the bucket box and lay low for the rest of the day. At 11 o'clock tonight, meet the boys at 6 and Kent Street. And then what? They'll have some money for you and they'll slip you out of town. Then what? After a few weeks, when it blows over, you can come back. Then what? Okay, I'll be there. As long as I talk really fast and do what he says, I'm going to be okay. Life on the lamb. An affordable vacation. He's taken to selling his essays cheap on the street. Mm. Here now, what are you doing in a cocktail film, boy? Go home to your mother, that's a good lad. Oh, that was a close one. 
Oof. We're supposed to deprogram you. Hmm. Have you got the stuff? It's all in here. Let's get back in here so nobody can see it. Well, that seems reasonable. Walk back with a couple of nice fellas, and then all of a sudden you... Whoa! This is the message from the other kids in the essay contest, Jimmy. So I told her that I like Playtex. What? Huh? Jimmy's really fitting in with the other gangsters his age. Hey, wait a minute. Somebody's coming. Let's get out of here. Mobsters are easily scared. <laughs> wait, I forgot to give you the stuff here. What's the matter, kid? What happened to you? I don't know. You'd better come along with us. We'll report it to the police. No, no, fellas. Just... Just help me find a cab, will you? I want to go home. Okay, kid, just as you say. Alfred, on the spot. Mom? Dad? I won the get the crap kicked out of you contest. Mom? Dad? I'm up here, honey, with the DTs. Could you get the yellow lizard out of the bathroom? Oh, where's the dexedrine? Where's that dexedrine? If knickknacks ruled the world. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Black Panther headquarters. I'll see what he got. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Mr. Wilson, in. Tell his son wants him. Just a minute, I'll see. Ollie, telephone. Oh, I've never had. Ed, 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 Murray, Why use you a coaster. Me every hand. Your boy's on the phone, Mr. Wilson. He wants to talk to you. Tell him I'm not here. But you are. All right, Riley. Oh, come on, Bill. Yes, he says he's not here. I'm sorry, I'm sir, but your father isn't here. Well, if he comes in, tell him I call, will you? I wonder who that was in the background. Oh, well. Mom! <laughs> I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> I got peanut butter and underwear, and that's all I need. <laughs> well, I'm gonna run away to Kansas and become a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Where's my trial size prude shampoo? Jimmy is suddenly seized with an essay idea. <gasps> so, that's what happened to all his other moms. Huh? Problem with mob, on lamb, accusingly yours, Jimmy. P.S. Hope you had fun at Jack Taylor's. Comb your hair. Annoying. I'll just put this over here with Mom's suicide note. No, oh, they'll think it's a cocktail napkin. I saw some kick-ass parties here. <laughs> More powerful than a locomotive. Auntie M! Auntie M! What is he thinking about trains? Uh, yeah. These trains never stop for you. Ah, uh, but he's able to pick up a ride with the Jode family. This is the life. <laughs> Maybe I'll travel somewhere. Hey, cafe. I've heard of this place. I don't know if I'll find any Thai food in this old town. Hey, maybe you'll see me looking dejected and invite me in. On top of it, all my area's gone. Boy, that was good stuff. I gotta learn to order only one chicken. Oh, and that whipped cream? Hmm. One million, two million, three million, four million, fourteen billion, fifteen billion. I decided I'm gonna do something really stupid. Um, okay, can I, can I rob you? Cup of coffee. You bet. And put the French silk pie in an unmarked bag. Expecting somebody? Hmm? No. I didn't know it was drugs. Uh, do you have any bullets? How about a hamburger? It's what's for dinner. No, thanks. I'm not hungry. 
If you're broke, it's on the house. Hey, it's Officer oh, Tootie. Hmm. Plenty of onions, eh? French fries and all the trimmings. I'll trust you. You can pay me any time you want. Ooh, ooh. Okay, thanks. Someone tell you it was my birthday? You like my hat? I made it. Give and take. That's my system. Yep. Share what you've got, and you'll never want. I've had a lot of guys come in here broke. Never sent them away hungry. Got them piled out back. Now, don't lose by it, either. They always come back and pay. Most people are OK. Except for you, of course. Yeah, stab this into your thigh. You're not going to hug me, are you? Better give me that gun, son. You can't eat with one hand. Uh, actually, you can, but I'll give you the gun anyway. Wait a minute. This is an episode of Insight. Yep. I saw it on your face when you first came in here. I can read your chakras, I've too. I've um, seen all sorts in my time. But they don't see me. You learn things about people in this business. For instance, they're bipeds. Mm. Loaded, too. Ooh. That's dangerous. Look, can I, I have, have my hamburger? Point. You know, some guys get sore when you pull a gun on them. And they don't stop to think. Why, you might even kill me. Not meaning it, either. Mm. Such things happen. I know. Better put this away before somebody comes in and sees it. Would you give me my hamburger? OK, I'll keep it for you. You can have it any time you want. At Alice's Restaurant. Funny thing you dropping in here this way. Why? I've dreamt oh, of your I've soft features. Lately, I'd like to have a boy like you to help out here. Want a job? Sure, I want a job. You ever worked as a boy a before? Week. Your food and lodgings. I got a shack here in back of the restaurant. Can't much. In fact, it sucks. enough. Radio, some flowers in the garden, and a dog. And me. What do you say? Give me my gun back. You're taking an awful chance, aren't you? I mean, <laughs> offering me a job this way without knowing anything about me? You see, before I... I've got to tell you, though, there's one condition attached to it. You'll have to go to church with me every Sunday morning. Church? That's right. Forget it! Every week, I work for myself. On the 7th, I work for the church. Hmm. I'm an usher. And it wouldn't look right you living in my house and not going to church. Of course, that's only an hour on Sunday mornings. In the afternoons, on fine days, we could go fishing oh, or... Gee, that sounds swell. Oh, and no mob ties. I've entered the twilight zone. Oh, you like my swinging church, son? 
I've got a goofy hat on my head. Oh, how I need Michelle Pfeiffer in The Fabulous Baker Boys. <laughs> He's in Kansas flipping burgers. It's an air filter piano. Oh, she's a regular Coco Taylor, cha-cha. Oh, you're regular. And now she's got a table centerpiece on her head. Well, let's see, I've ordered the death of 10, no, 12 people today. Pretty good day. Why did you leave You told him to. Didn't you know I'd be forlorn? green. Vicky? Not guilty. Where can you be? The audience is frankly stunned. Where can you be? Where can you be? Where can you be? Last call, ladies and gentlemen. Last call. He was well tonight, kitten. Well, thanks. Still thinking about Jimmy, huh? What makes you think that? Maybe the way you sang that song? Oh, now look, kitten, I know you've been searching for that kid for two months. Why don't you give it up? He's probably a thousand miles from you. I'll tell you what we'll do. When you get through tonight, we'll go out and paint the town. You need some recreation. I'll kill somebody for you. Who do you want killed? Okay, Charlie. Ho, oh, what a caboose. Hoo-ha! Son, it's been two months and you haven't touched your hamburger. Sir, I just don't understand the Holy Spirit. Is it a bird? What's the matter? Not hungry? How Not come hungry? I'm the only customer? Something's bothering you. What is it? Uh, I'm sick? No. I found a toenail in my hamburger. I you liked it here pretty well. You seem to be settling down. Well, I do like it, Al. It's not bad. In fact, it's the only time I've ever really been happy. But I want a salad. Is that asking too much? Well, it, son. You can tell me. Well, it's just that I've been thinking things over, that's all. And I want new curtains. You want to go back and straighten yourself out? Square accounts? Take the load off your mind? Yeah, I guess that's it. Bring your trousers in for dry yeah, cleaning? I don't seem to find yep. the courage to do it. Change that old underwear? Would you help me, Al? And don't mention God. I've been waiting to hear you say that, son. So I prepared sure, a song. Yeah. We'll go back and face it together. After they hear your story, I'm positive they'll give you a break. <laughs> don't worry. Ah, oh, gee, that's well. I feel better already. Now tuck into that beef. <laughs> You see, Miss Reed, I couldn't let Jimmy give himself up unless he'd seen you first. Okay, let's go. And I want to go. see you too, Jimmy, to explain and tell you the truth. I never wore the shoes. They was in the other room that night listening. I had to say what I did or he'd have killed you. Huh. They tried to the night they beat you up. And then the things you said weren't true. Of course they weren't true. Yeah, except for about your lousy <laughs> shoe career. Oh, Jimmy, Blake's the cause of all your trouble and mine, too. If he finds out you're here, he'll kill us both. No, he won't, because he's going to the police station with me. You and Al can call the cops and follow. Jimmy, wait! Jimmy! Quack, 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 quack. Again, proving just quack. how stupid he is. So, how about a little sugar for Happy Chef over here? Organized crime, please hold. Organized crime, please, please hold, sir. Let me guess, it's your birthday. Hello, Jimmy. How's your hat? What brings you to see me? Not in trouble again, are you? No, but you are. I'm giving myself up to the police and you're going with me. You're taking it a lot for granted, aren't you? Maybe I am. But you're gonna tell everything that's happened between us. And if I don't... You'll kill me? The police are on their way here to see that you do. Now, let's see, did I call them? Right. Okay, uh, Jimmy. But I'll go with you. The time I went on the straight and narrow, I keep... Uh, that's a weird position. Ooh. We're really going to town in there. Hey, does anyone have an appointment? Oh, his heart just exploded. Well, so much for the whole he's coming with me scenario. Yeah, I accuse my parents. I tried to take the gun away from him, mm -hmm. but it went off. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I know I've lied, I've cheated. I've done a lot of things that I shouldn't have done. And more. But maybe I wouldn't have started lying to my schoolmates if I hadn't been ashamed of my, my home life. If I hadn't been ashamed that my parents were, were denying me this the understanding that a boy was entitled to. The, 
love and protection that a boy needs. The guidance that sets him straight. Maybe they should have sworn him in. And that's why I, I accuse my parents. Ah. Is your hat flask empty yet? My court reporter is dreamy. Seeing as it's your birthday, we'll let you go. James Wilson. You dummy. Your story is supported by much of the evidence in this case, and I think indicates clearly that you are not guilty of the killing of Charles Blake. Thanks. Well, bye. And on that count, I find you not guilty. Oh, oh, oh not guilty. Oh. And on the remaining counts of having aided and abetted in the transportation and concealment of stolen property, uh -oh. I find you guilty and sentence you to five years in state prison. Hey, my dad went there. That sentence is hereby suspended. And you are placed on probation for two years. Thank God I'm you are white. You're in the custody of your parents until you are 21, during which time I hope that you will justify the confidence I am placing in you. Uh. I will, Your Honor. Oh, let's go to Jack Taylor's and celebrate. <laughs> wait, wait, he has to talk to Doug Llewellyn first. He accused us. Why don't you just do it on the bench? As for you, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, you are not on trial here. But you have seen the tragedy brought about by the neglect your boy suffered. You will roast and in you hell. you are not the only parents guilty of such neglect. Oh. I speak Message to coming in. I say <laughs> that there it in is. In pursuit of your own pleasures and occupations, you neglect your children. Realize now before it is too late. By bonds. This might have been your boy. Not that your boy would be quite so thick-headed as Jimmy. I accuse my parents, brought to you by Boone's Farm. The makers of this film also accuse Hitler and Tojo and Mussolini. We accuse them all. Soon we'll accuse Stalin. Seriously, Joel, who would you accuse? Oh, I don't really. Okay, as we move into the home stretch, I thought it'd be nice to read a letter. So, hi. Uh, hi, Tom. Hi, Crow. Just getting ready to read a letter. Oh, no, thank you. That's okay. All we'd like is just a cup of coffee. <coughs> <coughs> well, just get going on this letter, then. Hamburger. <coughs> uh, no, no, thanks. We're not hungry. <coughs> oh, I get it. It's like in the movie. How would you boys like a hamburger? Like that? Finally! What took you so long? What a maroon. <laughs> now? Now what? <sighs> no, 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 you stupid, stupid man! Now you present us with a big, beefy, charbroiled hamburger sandwich and a french fried potatoes garnish like in the movie! Yes. Jeez! Yeah. Uh, all I got is this postcard. Oh! Crow, you talk to him. <sighs> you were supposed to get us a charbroiled hamburger sandwich like in the movie. Uh, uh, what is happening to this family? Come on, honey, honey, oh, honey. Wow. There must be a pie cooling in the ship someplace. A pie? It's just a movie, guys. Oh, Anyway, <laughs> thought we could read this letter now. Um, this it says, for rent, the Barco Rammer, and it's from Peter Spears. And on the back here, let's put that on still store in the back. It says, the Barco Rammer, indisputably the finest. It will ram, it will pound, it will press, it will do what you want it to do. And then he humorously writes, the perfect date for Crow and Tom, which I thought was pretty funny. <laughs> I accuse you, Joel. Now, carefully hand over the hamburger sandwich. Don't let him forget the french fried potatoes garnish. Right. <laughs> Joel, you magnificent bastard, I read your menu. Come on, we gotta beat Marty and Messina, maggot. Well. Uh, what do you think, sir? Sorry, Joel, uh, didn't catch that. We uh, came this close to losing, uh, losing Rodney. Uh, right, right, almost lost Rodney. Yeah. Is this yeah. enough, Dr. F? Uh, no way, Frank, there's plenty more frosting to shovel. It, don't just go push the button, you freaked out maniac. Uh, look, Rodney, I'm sorry this whole thing got out of hand. I'd like to make it worth your while. To... Oh, no, that's, that's all right. That's, you've done enough. <laughs>
<laughs> That's so funny. This has been a presentation from Comedy Central. I'm Tom Servo, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Hi, the remote kids. Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, Turkey Day 2020. I have some really good friends of mine, uh, Paul and Storm. You've probably heard of them oh, from all their wonderful uh, songs and the stuff they've been doing for years. And I was so grateful to once we did uh, the initial Kickstarter four years ago and it became clear we were gonna be able to fund new shows, I, en I enlisted Paul and Storm to come and help us write some, uh, most of the music for the series. So hi, you guys, welcome. Hi. Thanks for having us on, Joel. Great to be here. I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the very first thing we did together, which was actually the very first segment of the new series. You guys wanna talk about that? Yeah, uh, of course we were, you know, ridiculously thrilled to be asked to work on the show at all, much less to write songs for it. And the very first song you assigned us, like right off the bat, you were like, "I want the first host segment coming out of the first movie to be a hip hop song that Joel and the Bots would sing," which is, of course, you know, exactly what we're all about as Paul and Storm is, you know, hip hop hits. And yeah. I remember. The level of difficulty was you describing that this was going to be in the first episode, in the first break, first thing up uh, was going to be this song. So yeah, you you basically said, "I need you guys to write a hit song." <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> and um, and the point of it was, and not only was I putting pressure on you, but on the other side, I was putting pressure on Jonah to have to sing, dance, and handle about 50 hand props <laughs> within that. So it was just <laughs> kind of like, let's get it all out of the way. Let's yeah. demonstrate that MST is back and that you can trust us. You know, this is going to be okay. And so I thought it turned out so beautifully. And it was just springboarding off of Reptilicus being from Denmark and the yeah. idea that every country has a monster. So let's yeah. let's watch it. It's so fun. Yeah. Awesome. Reptilicus is silly, but he really illustrates the great array of monsters all over the place. Not just in Japan, but across the planet. An A to Z gamut or gargantuan panoply. Example, please. One name a land. Belize. Oh, geez. Easy peasy. Mesa amaze. Seeing the Yucatan, you can meet El Cadejo and believe they believe in him. They're not afraid to say so. Scotland. Nessie's living up in a lot. How about Poland? Scary, scary crow named a butt. So, so it's not just Godzilla? Well, duh, crow. There's a lot that could kill you. Hey. Prom. Sorry, crow. Okay. Gross. Joe. Yo, Jonah, how's the chorus go? Hey. Every country has a monster they're afraid of in their nation. Every monster has a country, yes, yeah, station they call their home. Gooter, Gleebing, Glouten, Crobin. What turned the must there's guts to spaghetti? Was it in Tibet? Yep. I bet he met a Yeti. Australia? Their drop bears will impale ya. Then they'll sell ya hella touristy paraphernalia. Trooper cops chewing up cattle down in Mexico. Del Geats, Horns Gorn, battle in the Navajo. Congo's Congo motto is a Mongo flying dino. I know I don't want to die, but when I do, he'll be the guy. Whoa! So, Crow. Servo. Ready to go. Start slow. Crow. Paman is a monster from Luxembourg. Who's actually the size of Luxembourg. He crushed the whole country of Luxembourg. Because, because he is the size of Luxembourg. Luxembourg. What? Egypt's got mummies like Tutankhamen. Leprechaun on Milan and Boston Common. Bot's got the hang of it. The song's really kicking. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. By that, I mean Zhu Fang and Peng, hmm. giant Chinese birds, and oh. one of them yeah, yeah, yeah. turns into a fish. Anyway. Canoes, killer shrews, and the loop guru, Baba Yaga, Joro, Gumu, and the Impundulu. Now you guys realize the surprising size of all the worldwide daikaiju. Every country has a monster they're afraid of in their nation. Every monster has a country. That's Canada. A station they call their home. Tops of mountains, all the swears. Every country has a monster. Sax music? Mm -hmm. Sax.
Welcome back to Turkey Day 2020, the Turkening. Oh, hold on a sec, Tom. Someone's trying to join the meeting. Happy Turkey Day! GPC, where are you spending your Turkey Day shore leave? Oh, I'm shacking up at an Airbnb in Minneapolis. It's actually not as accommodating as the satellite of love. Human houses weren't built for tubes. Hey, do you guys remember the year Crow tried to condense an entire Thanksgiving dinner into one smoothie? Ah, uh, yes, my patented turkey slurry. Uh. Oh, hey, do you guys remember the year Tom tried to flash freeze a turkey in the cold expanse of space? We never did get that turkey back. But we did make some memories. And we're sure many of you have Turkey Day memories of your own. That's why we asked you to go to mst3k.org to tell us about your first Turkey Day and you didn't disappoint. Some of you even sent in photos. Tasteful th photos, thankfully. And we'd like to take this opportunity now to share one of those memories with all of you. Tom? Thanks, Crow. Our first memory comes to us from Christy. Cambot, can you throw that up on Still Store? She writes, my husband and I have been celebrating Turkey Day forever, and I've been hosting crazy parties on the Saturday after Thanksgiving for nearly 15 years. I've attached a photo from one of our first big ones in 2009. It was also the year we got married. Aw, Cambot, can you put that up? Christy says, my husband Jesse and I are six pack and candy cave from Hellcats with friends as Coleman Francis from Red Zone Cuba, Nuvina from Design for Dreaming, and Convoluted Man from Cinematic Titanic. Thank you, Christy. That really warms the cockles of our hearts. Uh, what? Hey, 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 enough of this gooey, sappy gooeyness. I mean, have you even started to prep for the re-riff later? Ooh, uh, since the short we're riffing is supermarket related, I thought I'd try out my new method riffing technique. So I took a drive over to my local schnooks and yelled at the produce section till I was asked to leave. I prefer to wing it. I live on the edge, you feel me? Uh, I think I hear my turkey calling. I should run. Bye! Oh, why don't we ever try that? No, don't even think about it. Because it's time for our next bit of cinematic sickness, handpicked by Misty's on mst3k.org. Ready your eye orbs for experiment 907, Hobgoblins. We got turkey side! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. Well, there, you just did it again. What the catch? Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. Servo and I here, we're just talking. Look, I didn't mean to turn you on, and I'm really sorry. Uh, well, you know, ever since Robert Palmer introduced the concept of accidental turn-ons in his song, I didn't mean to turn you on, well, there's been a lot of involuntary on-turning around here. 
Hey there, guys. What's up? The crow? Oh, no. Did I just turn you on again? Yes, you know you did. Jeez. Oh, I, I am sorry. I tried not to turn you on, but uh, I guess I unintentionally did. You know, let's really all sorry. try to be a little more careful about turning each other on, okay? That's sure, Mike. That's, right, Mike. Yeah. And you folks at home, be a little more careful. Don't involuntarily turn anyone on, okay? We'll be yeah. right back. Uh, Mike! Uh, hey, did geez. I turn you on? I didn't mean to. Look at me. me. How, how did I turn you on? Again. I'm just standing here. Oh, how did I turn you on? Why are you here? Hello, humans. GPC here. You're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. We've got enough cheese to cover a hot dish and then some. Now there! There, you did so mean to turn me on that time! Okay, I admit it. I turned you on on purpose, okay? Because I was upset, so I turned you on. So big to you. Well, now oh. you just turned me on. Can't you do anything without turning people on? It's oh, just, that's I nice. I can't believe it. You after well, you turned me on. So on I did not get your imagination. You turned me on. You turned me on. on. You couldn't turn me on if you had a dozen naked Gerardos and Fabio in tight leather pants. Uh, where, where was I? Oh, right. I'm remodeling the Great Hall. I'm putting in a conversation pit. And the couch I had picked out for it came in early. So I need you guys to store it for me. Brain guy? Yes, madam. And no jumping on the couch. Hey, <laughs> <Jump away. laughs> Thanks, Grandma Pearl. Watch, you guys. I'm going to do something cool. You can see my legs. You can see my legs. <laughs> Grandma Pearl does not want you jumping on that couch. Get off right now. Don't! Don't squeeze those juice boxes on that couch! <laughs> juice, my juice! He's burning it all over everything. It's great. <laughs> oh, we can't have nice things. That's it. That is it. I am going to give you such a movie. <laughs> we don't care! <laughs> Bobo, brain guy, get the movie. Oh, <gasps> no! <laughs> we have ways of dealing with ne'er-do-wells who insist on jumping on our rent-to-own couches. Your movie ah! is called oh. Hot Goblin. Ah! 
Earl, please, whatever you're thinking, please don't. We, 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 it was we my fault. He made us do it. I'm sorry. He made us do it. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I'm scared. Hey, presents, good. Uh, oh, oh, well, that oh, should be. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm very afraid. Ah, badly lit warehouse. I feel better already. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? You got Pringles in his shoes? Proof that janitors walk upright. The true story of Neil Peart. Oh. Tennis. Tennis. I want to play tennis. Hey, what gives? You're being paid to work around here. Oh. Not to sit around and blast your eardrums. Hey, 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 take it easy. I can do both. Is this coach's brother here? Hello? Hello? Uh. <laughs> didn't you hear the phone ringing? What did uh, you No, hear? I didn't. They've already hung up. Hey. Well, then it couldn't have been too important, huh? Don't you have any sense of responsibility? That could have been a very important call. At this hour? In the future, would you just answer the phone, no matter what hour it is, and not make your own decisions about what's important and what isn't? Yeah, yeah, right, right. It's time for our rounds. Oh, they're doctors. Oh, oh yeah. OK, uh -huh. I got it. Don't. Damn it, why aren't you old? He's the abusive grandpa I never had. <laughs> Cameraman just can't get up the energy to get over there. Yep, yep. And here's my secret stash of Cheetos, Dr. Pepper, and back issues of Cosmo. Jimmy Stewart and Rex Smith in Breaking In. He's really my mentor. He taught me how to truly love a woman from across the street through a telescope. <laughs> yep, I used to be Robert Frost, you know. So, it's a security guard training film. You know, I think we actually are fully qualified security guards yeah, now. I'd love to get out of the rat race and guard a used store it for a while. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. I just want to measure and see if you'll fit in the incinerator. Uh, it's weird to think we were once married. Did, did I ever tell you what this studio was like when I first started here? Yeah, more than once. Oh, it used to be one of the busiest lots in town. It's a real drive in metropolis oh, now. Oh, man, his oh, pants no, are coming no, at no, me. No, no. Oh. oh, wait a minute, what's this down here? Oh, it's, uh, it's just an old film ball. Yeah. There's nothing down there. Well, yeah, well, why don't we check it anyway? No. I'm telling you, there's nothing down there. And I'm not going to waste my time checking it out. Can't swear. What is it now? I need to talk to you now. Well, I can't right now. Now. I'm colicky. Finish. Get in here. And remember what I said? Hey, whatever you say first. Okay, then I say dress in hot pants from now on. Whoa, what is that stain? Ooh. Thawing a box of frozen peas under his arm? Okay, so what? Now he becomes a Jedi Knight? Why am I sitting here? Jeez. Take it easy. Take it easy. Man, that stain was unbelievable. <laughs> He's playing the organ with his head. That bank door killed a man. Down. You wily old fox. <laughs> I wonder what they keep in here. It's a secret blow comb storehouse. Yoo-hoo! Mr. McCready! I need another Yoo-hoo! <laughs> I wonder if he knows his face looks like that. <laughs> he can't. You should tell him. Oh, Burgess Meredith's in there reading. Ah. 
Uh, my sunken chest and string beanie arms. Maybe the great Karnak answers are stored in there. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Go all the way in there, slam the door firmly behind you, and die. Good. Wow, these honor system banks are just never going to make it. This poor guy was edged out of every decent role by Grant Goodeve. What's he gonna get mauled by hundred dollar bills? Do something! Huh? Oh, shouldn't have skipped lunch. There's somebody there. I mean, besides you, Cerebus. Oh, David Crosby's eating in there. Is somebody there? Does he have his pants on backwards? Leaf Garrett in The Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, flat butt. You know, he's already got Loverboy beat as a live act. Yep, now his big rock anthem about minimum wage. Oh, oh you know, this is a real cheap biopic of Jim Morrison. Mm -hmm. We're on the road to nowhere. I'll say. Come on inside. Oh, the show's starting. Yay, yay, yay. Mike, if I run out of vomit, can I have some of yours? <laughs> Oh, just sing the St. Elmo's Fire theme song and get it over with. Oh, he tried to crowd surf, but no one wanted to touch him. Hey, it's Carl Lewis. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Feel okay. The crowd threw beef gravy on him. Oh, poor kid, and he had so little promise. Member FDI murder. Death guaranteed for up to 50,000. Die. <laughs> oh, what do I put on my timesheet for this? Hey, the end credits. Well, it was a terrible movie. At least it was short. Oh, right. These are the beginning credits. Oh, well, then oh. kill me, please. <laughs> please. Ah, the king of the Wisconsin Dells finally gets a movie. <laughs> Paige Sullivan! <laughs> Steven bogs this whole movie down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, that's good. Oh, the cheap sequel to Billy Jack. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Has she related to Wacky Tea Backy? <laughs> and I'm leaving. No, I just... throw. Come on, no, come back. No, just, just don't try so hard. Come on. Here. Here. Uh, Carrie. French. <laughs> I bet she loves that dressing. <laughs> Sorry, I hate myself. Goodbye. No, girl, get back here. Get, James get back. Mayberry, RFD. Oh, I hate myself, too. Come on, get back <laughs> in here. Can't. Come on. Girl. Hey, Servo, no. Come, no, come no, on. no. I can't, I can't, Mike. I'm out of here. <laughs> sit, no, sit no, back. No. Sit. sit. Oh, crow. Come no, no, I can't no, take don't it. Don't back in. <laughs> sit, sit down. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> sit. Come, get, get, <laughs> no, get back in here. Sit down. <laughs> Come on. No, don't. Come back here. No, no. We're going to sit down. We're going to calm down. We're going to watch this movie. Don't do it. Soon, you will all be nothing but workers in the great hive of Megasynthia. But right now, it's cold and I'm tired. So just keep enjoying the NST3K Turkey Day Marathon.
So, Kevin, hmm. is this the first time that you've worked as a security guard? Yes, sir. But I'm a very fast learner, and I promise to try extra hard. And I really need the job. And I have a PhD in security. You sound very mature for your age. Oh, shucks. Uh, you don't own one of those portable radios with headphones, do you? Or one of those horseless carriages. Sir, sir. <laughs> That's good. I think we'll get along just fine. Oh, shucks. Now, are you ready for your first tour of the lot? Oh, oh yes, sir. Uh, even prepared to take notes. <laughs> it's not that complicated. JFK Jr. could do it. <laughs> Uh, these are the stairs. Stairs are your hip's worst enemies. You've never been on a studio lot like this before, have you? No, sir. Well, it's not that difficult to keep track of. Uh, there isn't much goes on here Pants anymore. again. Well, how long have you been working here? Oh, quite a while. Pants in the face. About 30 years, actually. And I've never missed a day and had to have someone fill in for me. Pathetic. Okay. 30 years? It's amazing. Well, not really. You know... Time becomes sort of a blur when you reach a certain age. Uh -huh. Sometime I'll tell you what this place was like when it was still a functioning studio. I'd like to hear about that. I'll also tell you about my problematic urethra if you'll follow me. Yes, we paid for this wing with the profits from DC Cab. Now, Kevin, if I told you that something was very important, you'd listen to me, wouldn't you? Of course. Oh, now, there is a part of this lot that I want you to stay away from. I don't want to have to explain all the details to you. I just want you to promise to stay clear of it. I understand. Then I don't really care anyway. <laughs> now, this is the part I was telling you about. This is where we keep Clint Howard and Michael J. Pollard. What's down there? Oh, it's just a lot of dangerous machinery. Now, don't go in there and take a chance of injuring yourself. Do you understand? Yeah. Good. Now, I don't want to have to remind you a second time. Just stay clear from this area. In fact, just sit at your desk and don't do anything. <laughs> Sometimes Catherine Hepburn shows up. We have to chase her out of here. So, is there anything else I need to be made aware of? There is one other thing. You should know you'll have to apply a series of ointments to me regularly. He's got his outdoor eyebrows on now. <laughs> this is what I was telling you about. Use it to kill Archduke Ferdinand. <laughs> oh, but don't worry. I, I've never had to use it. Really? That's right. Not in all the years I've been here. Had to win Gloria Swanson once. I would like to show you how to use it sometime, though. You never know when you might need it. You never know when a relay race will show up at the front gate. <laughs> Smells like Jack Ruby. <laughs> I resign. The best words I ever said. Paint my muscle car prune colored, please. <laughs> ah, the dangerous loner model home. Hi. Not now. Your friends are here. How do you read a record? Hey, how's it going? Well, I'll come over there so you can maybe answer me. Oh, would you bring some new music? No, I just rented a videotape that Amy and I were going to watch. Well, that was very nice. Let me see what you got. What? Don't you ever get any tapes from the adult section? My boyfriend would never bring me a tape that didn't have at least a single X rating. Oh. Well, Kevin isn't like that. He would never want me to see anything that was rated X. Would you? No, I wouldn't. Scram, it's the owner of the house. We have to shoot the movie somewhere else. Flash of fish. All right, man. I'd recognize that horn anywhere. That's my <laughs> Nick, back from two months of army training. And you know what a man wants when he's been away for two months? Hmm? No, what does he want? <laughs> Belly dancing lessons? <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh. oh. Two months! So, um, that was sex? 
Whoa, everybody have sex tonight. Everybody <laughs> throw up tonight. Wish that were up here or something. Did you say something? No, no. Ironically, no one in the band Wang Chung had sex that night. <laughs> what, did Mark Roscoe do this room? Oh, yeah, and then we spent all afternoon studying hand-to-hand combat. I know about the techniques you have with your hands. Tell us about something else. <laughs> yeah, could we change the subject already? Why don't you pay attention and maybe you'll learn something? Nick is protecting our country and you're just guarding some rundown, deserted dump. What did you say? Why don't you be nice to Nick and maybe he'll teach you something? I think yeah, teach you all about hand to hand combat. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. No problem. Oh, go on, I know you can do it. Look. I said I wasn't interested, okay? Come on! I want to get away from Skull Woman anyway. You know, this place has real garbage house potential. Come on, come on, do this. Here, take this. Choose your garden, Weasel. Okay, no, 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 hold them like this. Full contact mulching, I guess. Okay, now block every move that I make. I'm gonna take it really slow on you. So watch out. Back to the first one! Wow. Oh, man. Man. Go, Nick. Kick his butt. Yeah, give him a big rusty gash in his head. Come on! Uh, can, can we have a law that in the future films have to be made by filmmakers? <laughs> Was that a condom she has hanging from her blouse? Oh. It's getting so sweaty already. So we sent our armies to the Gulf War with garden shovels and grass rollers? Their garden tools make little Casio sounds. Yeah, go for it! Yeah, really, really kill him! Please! You know, I'd switch to the weed whacker at this point. Throw some miracle grow in his eyes. I'm gonna compost you, man. Ooh. Oh, the tension. Yeah. Will they water their lawn? Wow. Ever. <laughs> I'll bet Nick can also field strip his rake blindfolded. He's making you nostalgic for the film Jim Cotta. <laughs> oh, it just happened. Did you see that? The yeah. hose outacted him. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> Did you know that Nick went on to play Pong in his underwear while drinking beer? <laughs> hey, hooray! You ruptured his spleen! Yay! Now I'm going to remove your thatch. Don't let them hurt my red shards, please. Oh, wow. I could watch this forever. Yeah. You know, I have a feeling I probably will be. Yeah. yeah. So does Hardware Hank have a major defense contract? Or... <laughs> oh. Nick's also a black belt in whack-a-mole. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's neat. Welcome home, Nick. Come on! <laughs> yes! Now Nick's gonna declare martial law, loot his museums, and call in an airstrike. Ooh, you know, there hasn't been such a glorious battle since the Arnold Stang Wally Cox fight of 1958. You really humiliated me. Hmm? What? I didn't even want to do it. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh,
For you young fellows, fresh on the cusp of a blooming manhood, the questions abound. What are women like? What do women want? How should I treat a woman? Perhaps the thorniest problem facing any young man is finding a woman in the first place. It turns out to be nearly impossible. This reporter spent countless hours searching for a woman, like these pictured here, to no avail. The nearest we came during a tense stakeout was this fellow, who experts believe is not a woman. We begin to wonder, where are all the women? The overheated references in poetry, the images that dominate our media. Is it all an elaborate fraud? This grainy photograph is the only direct evidence we have of a woman in her natural environment. The longer hair, the gentle and nurturing demeanor, are typical of how witnesses describe their supposed encounters with women. This footprint, while possibly the work of jokesters, is another piece of the puzzle. And it is hard to discount this man's terrifying story. And then, uh, this woman, well, I think it was a woman, she uh, married me. Did you have any children, sir? I don't remember. Someday, perhaps, an actual woman will emerge, and they will no longer exist only in the realm of myth and maybe. Thank you. <sighs> oh, um, yeah, so anyway, Mike, in conclusion, um, in the off chance that you do run into a woman, uh, you know, treat her with respect and stuff. Okay. You know, yeah. Crow, you do know women, though. What about Pearl? Okay, so one woman exists. That means all women exist? Uh, we'll be right back. Name me one other woman. Go well, ahead. Yuck. Hey there, cats and kittens. It's your main man, Tom Servo, taking you all the way through the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Come dance with me in the moonlight of our dreams. What's the matter, Kevin? I got a three on the GED. It's really a long story. I've got all the time in the world. Oh, okay, then. Call me Ishmael. I... Uh, what do you do about someone who you can never make happy? Son, you make me very happy. Is this your girlfriend we're talking about? Uh, no, I can't make my hamster happy. What do you think? I don't know what to tell you. What's the exact problem? Can I loosen her up for you? 
<laughs> well, we've got this friend who's in the army. Oh, Omar Bradley? And my girlfriend's upset because I couldn't do all the things that he can. Like join racist groups. I see. Did I ever tell you what I did when I was in the army? I was Tokyo Road. No. Oh, it's also a long story. Oh, that'll be Kevorkian. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. Ah, and some guy sneaking around like a silent film villain. Looks like Dana Gould. Yeah. Hey, wait here. I'll call you if I need you. But, Mr. McCready, I said to wait. Turn on your baby minder. Hey, the Kirk Cameron Show. Where is the same speed on the Ventura Freeway? Bullish. Now for seniors. I'll get that guy, but first I'll just stop at the Bishop's Buffet here. Take on me, take me on. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. Oh. Oh. Mm, I don't like the old guy getting killed channel. <laughs> If found, please return to Hunter Thompson. I don't like the way you greeted me at Walmart. Get away from him. You Menendez brother wannabe. Is this your grandson? <coughs> no, he's my partner. I said... Uh, darn, what was it again I said? Get away from him. Yeah. Who are you kidding? You don't know how to use that. All right, so I didn't plug it in. You got me. Marks? Uh, great, you just took out Air Force One, you dope. <laughs> Are you okay? You want me to call an ambulance? No, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. Damn. What's the matter? I just wish Amy could have been here to see what I just did. I shot a starter pistol and wind out another line. He's still on the line. What do we do now? Well, I'm going to call the police. Try to locate where he is, but keep a distance from him. Don't try to be a hero. <laughs> I'd better call Grandma. Tell her I'm okay. This is Captain Kangaroo. Come in, Mr. Moose. Mm. So did the ad for the job read, Wanted, whiny half-wit coward. <laughs> mm. I just want to be brave for my horrible, frigid, non-supportive girlfriend. When I find him, I'm going to make him sign in so bad. Serpico. Dirty Harry. Jake Giddis. Kevin. <laughs> this place is packed with garden tools. Mr. McCready? Hello? 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 Where the machinery is? No. I think he went down there. I'm going in for a closer look. Hello, who's this? Sit, stay. Carl Sandberg, P.I. God. The vault. I've got a lobby against Medicare cuts immediately. Kevin, stop whatever you're doing. Don't go near the vault. No matter what you do, don't go near the vault. This is Old Guy Radio, W-O-L-D. W-O-L-D. The vault turned 21 in prison, doing life without parole. <laughs> Sister Kevin Prejean. <laughs> I want to make you proud. I'm going to break into Jack Benny's piggy bank. Now tell me again why they have an elaborate security system, but they don't lock anything. I don't know what the... Ah, he's found Ben Stein's money. Money. This is where the years of mall walking pays off. I mean, they don't even have a twist tie on the door. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, the script of Billy Madison 2 is kept hidden in here. <laughs> but... Ow, what, what am I doing? Ow, 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 oh, cross my soul. I'm cross. I'm bad. <laughs> Where did I leave my egg salad sandwich? Oh.
Hmm. Locked? Nah. Buddy Epson, triathlete. Papillon? Hi, the door was open. Oh, Taz got out. I mean, would you listen to you? Enough with the Count Chocula music. Jeez. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. Come on. Follow me to the band room. Goblins, yeah. four hours in. Yep. What have they done with Casey Martin? Oh, Thunder Road. Yeah, real smooth ride, good steering. I like it. Yeah. I went to Michael Spinks's barber, okay? Here, try some pole dancing. Ripped out the tape player. Oh, if you only knew what you just did. Oh. I, I don't understand. What just happened? The vault. I, I tried to warn you. Those creatures. The, the vault. I tried. Sentence fragments. Just phrases. <laughs> All my work. 30 years I've been trying to prevent this from happening. To, to prevent what from happening? Th th those creatures. Why, why do you think I spent the last 30 years of my life here? Low SATs? I was keeping them from escaping. Keeping. <laughs> you know, I was young when I began to work here. <laughs> and the studio was, was busy and prosperous. Now I sound like Joseph Campbell. I'll always remember the night that it happened. Golf carts were bigger it then. It was late. There was hardly anyone around. William Holden had just passed out. I didn't even know what it was at first. It was all so fast, just a flash of light and a sudden explosion. <laughs> I stepped out to see what it was. There was no one else there except for me. I had the popular Jerry Orbach hairstyle back then. It was right in the middle of the lot. If it had been daytime, 
It probably would have been crushed in all the traffic. I just stared at it for a long time. I didn't know what to make of it. And then suddenly it moved. <laughs> and out from the top of the disc came this small creature, a sort of hobgoblin. Uh -huh. It looked around, and then it stared right at me. At this point, I hadn't yet reacted. I didn't move. I just kept watching it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's what happened. So yep, yep, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. If only I'd known what lay ahead. But that's Monday morning security uh. guarding. But I still don't understand. Yeah. I let the creatures live on the lot. It was my secret. And then I learned of the power they had. Uh -huh. I still don't know if they figured they were doing good for people or not. So I married one to check it out. They slowly began to destroy everyone a lot. They would find a person, tap into his brain, and then create his wildest fantasy. Yeah. It seemed harmless at first. Mm -hmm. I mean, watching everyone around me becoming rich and famous. Mm -hmm. But for most people, what they really want in life can be very dangerous. In fact, the creatures wound up destroying everyone, everyone they came in contact with. Luckily, all I wanted was a good thermos. They're loose in the city now. But you could warn everyone. Mm. They'd listen to your story. Mm. Would they? No one believed me 30 years ago. I went straight to the head of the studio and tried to explain it to him. He didn't believe me. No one did. Mm. I just yeah. watched mm. helplessly as people mm. around me were destroyed one but, by one. Uh, uh. What can we do? Oh, I, I'm too old to catch up with them now. You might still have a chance. There aren't very many of them, but they move quickly. Just remember, they're attracted to bright lights. That's how you can find them. Mm -hmm. Watch everyone around you. When a person begins to act strangely, it means that one of the creatures have tapped into his mind. When this happens, the creature is never far away. Find it and kill it before it's too late. Because when the creature dies, the fantasy ends and the victim is safe. Well, now remember, they're only attracted to bright light. That's how you find them. But you must destroy them all before dawn because once it's daylight, it's too late. Bright, bright light. Oh, you'll never be able to stop them. Uh, great, Gramps. Uh, I'm going to go see if the Colonel's hiring. Huh. He never asked me about my grandchildren. Hey, don't scratch the quarter flash. Why the Ross Perot doll? <laughs> it's the oh, 80s. Do a lot of coke and vote for Ronald Reagan. Uh, Larry Wilcox is going to make a cameo, isn't he? Say, is that haircut 100 they're playing? Invest in arbitrage and read J. McInerney. Come on, Amy, would you get with it? I think we stumbled onto Mel's rock pile. <laughs> Meet the Hobgoblins, Frankie, Sniffles, Bounce Bounce, and the Claw. On two and break. Uh, they're having an all-girls night. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Make that three hard boiled eggs. <laughs> okay, olive oil. Much later. Ooh. That's weird. I'm not having sex right now. Maybe circling the block or something. <laughs> she looks like Michael Bolton. I bought your jacket. Oh, I thought you might be cold out here. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your stinking kindness. Where's Nick? I thought I heard his horn before. Well, so did I. I. Well, maybe you should wait inside until you see him. He's just looking for a place Whippy to park. Go back in the we, house. Uh, lady. There's plenty of parking in front. Maybe it wasn't his horn. Look, I'm positive it was. Maybe wow. the police just pulled him over for wow. all his warrants or something. Or, no, wow. just go back in the house. Fine, yeah. I get the message. Just take this stupid jacket with you. You and your stupid thoughtfulness can go to hell. <laughs> Damn it, Nick, where the hell are you? 
It's a praying mantis in a party dress. Oh, oh no, it's her, sorry. Anybody out here will do, really. I mean... <gasps> Don King! Oh. Amy, would you just go back in the house and leave me alone? I see your point. Yes, I agree. Would you stop breathing all over me? Can't you see what I'm trying to tell you? I love you. Sounds like Nick finally got here. Oh, oh no, we're, we're simply depending on the integrity of the fabric at this point. Oh. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to get off you. My claws are stuck. Could you help out? She must be happy to see him. Right, well, please make the be titanium oh. control panels on those pantyhose. <laughs> The historic first meeting of Luke and Laura. Yeah. Work him into the soil, that's right. Yep. When threatened, she gains the strength of a thousand trollops. <laughs> Tell him Lorraine Newman's in town. After my date with Prince, I went right home. Who's this Nick? Is there another man in your life? Someone's rubbing puppets on us! Oh, man. Ugh, you know, Nick's a fun guy, but he parallel parks so slowly. Koala bears are attacking! We hate Qantas! Grr. There's a girl touching me! Yuck! <laughs> if you just let go, they'll hit the floor. One of the towering heroes of Grenada. Go on, run! It's like a new dance. The army was looking for sharp people, and Nick qualified. It's pretty kinky. Hey, guys. Nick, Nick, I'm under here. Something wild and uncontrollable. I'm here to take you out. Oh, it's so Please. I don't like Sherry Lewis's new show. No. They do a lot of sit-ups. Oh. Nick, lift your armpit at him. Just tell us how to change the music. Okay, we'll take your literature, but we're trying to watch our program right now. Oh, Nick's in the French army, I see. <laughs> Ah, uh, time for my hourly shave. I knew I'd find a use for this. So the army just hands out grenades, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Open the door. Stand back. Oh my god, what do you call that? Urban renewal. Aha, and what brisk witticism will this chappy have to offer? <laughs> Look at nothing. Look at the nothing down there. there you go. Nothing. <laughs> ah, we drank your bond water. <laughs> You are watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Resistance is useless.
Hey, what up there, Russell Crowe? Oh, I've set up a crisis hotline for people who've been traumatized by watching this film. Oh. Hey, hey. A customer. <laughs> people and robots who've had to watch the movie Hobgoblin's Crisis Hotline. Hello. Oh, oh, yes. Hello. Uh, I am in a deep crisis, which is very, very deep. And I need to know you won't hang up on me like all those other crisis hotlines. Ah, have no fear. <laughs> I can handle anything. Um, it is related to watching the movie Hobgoblins, right? Oh, 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 yes, of course it relates to watching the movie Hobgoblins. That's why I called it. Well, anyway, one day I was watching the movie Hobgoblins one day when I realized that while watching the movie Hobgoblins that I was in love with a woman very close to me, a woman not of my species. Ugh, 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 oh. that is disgusting. Ugh, I need a shower now. Yuck. Oh, wait, don't hang up. I need her. Uh, though she can be very mean to me. I'm obsessed with her. I want her in every way. Uh, emotionally, it's spiritually, physically. <laughs> Yuck, stop telling me this, you freak. I'm going to be sick all over the place. Um, uh, I have another call. Uh, see ya. No, I'll die without her. She's a chimpanzee and her name is Emily. Ooh, and I don't care if it... Uh, hello? Ah, rats, another hang-up. Uh, let's see who's next on the list. Butterball, turkey, hotline. Oh, boy. I mean, why do these people even call if they have nothing but twisted, perverted filth on their minds? Well, I think it must be your radiant compassion that draws them. <laughs> Probably <laughs> right, actually. Movie time! <laughs> bad, huh? <clears throat> Man, can those little guys submissively urinate? Hey, that looks like a good jumping couch. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I need to cash my $47 paycheck now. Come on. I don't know, maybe the child lock is on. Come on. It's a pair of pink shorts in here. I simply must order. This guy gets his kicks by calling about used Vegas. Does it have three on the tree? Ooh. Hey, look there, it's my mom. Hi, yes. it's me, Fantasia. Thanks for calling. I need a new house pet to impress my friends. Oh. Hmm? Now hurry before the zookeeper comes. Help me hide this iguana on my what body. The... Uh, can I help you, miss? This is hell, right? Yes. Oh, okay. yes, Mr. Beastmaster. Something just crawled up my leg. Oh. oh, see if you can find it. I think you better come back to my office with me. Mother, get out of there, please. Now, wait a minute. Are you sure your office is in the baboon pit? Mr. Zookeeper, oh. what do you think you're um, doing? I'm expecting a this call. This is the children's petting zoo. <sighs> I have a new house pet for you, miss. Why are we watching <laughs> an insane woman? <laughs> oh, Mr. Zookeeper, I could never take a cockatoo that It's the side. hobgoblin with the laughing face. <laughs> now stop wasting your money calling me. I'm right outside your door. Is Fran Drescher out there? waiting. Hey, here's an idea, guys. This should be fun. Wee! He's bouncing. Look, I'm having fun. It's like on the couch. Mm -hmm. Wee! This is fun. <laughs> no, no, it's not fun. No. Come on. No, it is. Wee! Hey. Wee! Ha ha! Ha ha! It's not fun. It's all right. It's, I knew it wouldn't be. I knew it. It's okay. <laughs> Robert Plant. No. Oh. Wow. No. Oh. That is exactly what I want to look like. I don't need to see every part of the human anatomy outlined in spandex. I can trust it's all there. Where's Kyle? Did they split a keg of Robitussin? What did he get up? <laughs> did you guys see where he went? <laughs> no. Do you, do you kiss on the first date? Oh. I go all the way on the first date. My kind of woman. Do I have a friend for you? My place or yours? Neither. We'll go to Reputation Road. 
I'll drive. I have to get my pants annealed first. Oh, jeez. Oh, lady, this is going to be so great. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm done. Sorry. So you guys don't know where he is then? <laughs> I sense the old man calling me. Kevin. Uh, do we have some time to get pop rocks and whipped cream? Just start the car. Reputation Road, here we come. OK, you guys, I know a shortcut. Take uh, Western Avenue. Amy, quick, where's Reputation Road? We're up. <laughs> Daphne, where's Reputation Road? Uh, you go down to the end of the street, make a right, go through two traffic lights and up the hill, and there it is. Uh, so I've heard. What's going on? I don't have time to explain. It's about those creatures. I've got to go across town and get Kyle. I want the rest of you to stay here. Don't make a move or do anything. And above all, don't fantasize about anything. Ah, the rake thing again. So the movie does make sense. It's a good movie, see? It's, yes. Now, see, here we see him leaving a parking space. It's an entirely different kind of shot. It's a good yes. movie. You know, girls, I can think of a fantasy right now. It's involving the number three. Three hours of CPO Sharky. Oh, like, like I'm the pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come to our club and discuss cleaning your bathroom tile. What a clever ad. I'm going to show the girls at church. <laughs> ah, painted by the cast of Hee Haw. I guess. Oh, aggressive driving instructor. Hey. Uh-huh. Again, we see the director falls back. I'm parking. It works. Yep. It's good stuff. Oh, don't park here. Why not? It's reserved for Bob Packwood. You have to park near the edge if you want to go all the way. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah, sure. This is a really well-thought-out makeout spot. They must get public funding or something. <laughs> Ooh, strange zipper. How's that? Perfect. Yeah. yeah, it was some shortcut you knew about. I never knew there was a road through the children's playground. There isn't. Ah, nothing like a good <laughs> child endangerment joke. <laughs> well, uh, what are you waiting for? Well, uh, once and for all, I, I really need to decide my orientation. <laughs> we. Yes. I <laughs> forget it. Fantasia, where are you going? Oh, look out for the hip bone. I wanted a better view of the city. Can you catch a venereal disease from a movie? <laughs> you can see it all from here. <laughs> Ooh, what just crunched? Oh, okay. <laughs> now, isn't that a lovely view? Oh, it sure is. The ZZ Top version of sexuality. Where are you going now? Just wait a second. You just keep watching the view. Keep watching. Just hold yeah. tight yeah. and get ready for the ride of your life. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do it to me. Yeah, she's the kind of girl you bring home to meet mother if mother's a cigarette -y retired hooker. <laughs> wow. Well, another date is pushing me off a cliff again. Oh. Rip. <laughs> oh, you need any help? Would you get back inside and wait for me? This time, don't move. You know, this is hell. You know, now when we meet people, we'll, we'll be able to report what hell is like. It's yeah. true. We're almost there. Just think nasty thoughts while you wait. Yeah. Th that is not a woman. That's David Lee Roth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now I feel grounded. There's a car pulling into a driveway. <laughs> Camaro, the official car of Peakton High School. <laughs> Her pants have sapped her energy. <laughs> it's an Agnes DeMille dream ballet. I'm thinking of growing a mustache. What do you think? 
It's a bonsai Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Back pain is gone. Do it to me, baby. Sell me a quality muffler at a reasonable price. Oh, damn fool! What are you doing here? I want you to meet my girlfriend. Huh? Wait till you see her. Fantasia? Honey? Kyle, there's no girl. She was a figment of your imagination. No, she's not. She's just hiding somewhere. I, I told you, she's a shy girl. Sweetie? Shy girl? Yeah. That bleach blonde witch almost killed you. But the car will do anything to get out of the movie. She was back there trying to push right. your car over the cliff. Hey, come on! In an unforeseen tragedy, the two actors were not in the car at the time of the crash. Damn. Makes an insurance claim for $700 worth of red shorts. Their car turned into a Lincoln and crashed. Whoa. Now do you believe me? Look at that guy wave that gel in front of the light. <laughs> well, come on. Let's get out there and wreck another scene. Come on. That's 30. 30 parking scenes. I've been counting. Mm. 30. Well, I gotta get my legs waxed. I'll discuss my phone bill with you later. Oh, no. Mm? They're gone! Mm. Drive us to Chuck E. Cheese. Mm. Marty Allen is attacking. <laughs> no, you idiot, that's metric. Hit the creature! I'm trying to! Uh, really, the worst that would happen is one of those little plastic guys would fall out and you'd choke on it. Yeah. Hit the creature! <laughs> the puppeteer's knuckles must be very bloody by now. Idiot. This from an assistant security guard. The creatures broke loose. Are you guys okay? <sighs> We're doing just fine. Oh, oh. What about Amy? Where is she? Yeah, she was acting kind of strange. What? Where is she? Well, she said she wanted to go to Club Scum. What? Mm. Why didn't you try to stop her? Mm. And I've seen the police arresting people there all the time for God knows what. Oh, no. Come on. Mm. Let's hope it was a coitus-free van ride over to Club Scum. Mm -hmm. 31. It's 31. The Club Scum courtesy van arrives. <laughs> cord, 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 other cord. Cord, 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 other cord. Gary Gaetti. Daphne, I think you got this all wrong. Amy would never come to a place like this. She won't even go through the mall parking lot by herself. Just listen to me. You guys have to have a certain kind of attitude when you're in this part of town. You gotta look like you belong, okay? Like the overacting extra there. I get it. Look, would you just listen to me and nothing will happen? Now look, I think one of us should hold all the wallets for safekeeping. You. Rick Sloan pioneered the standing in a stiff line near the trouble light shot. Be quiet and just be cool. Daphne? <laughs> yeah. yeah, part of me is laughing, I think. The, the part of me that hates life. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Ah, my insulin. Why, well, it's Debbie Scum, one of the scum girls. Huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you guys think you're going? Where's your scum? We're looking for a girl in here. You know, somehow I don't think the girls in here are going to be your type, but I want you to uh, try the polo lounge up the street. <laughs> oh, Daphne. What happened to you? <laughs> Didn't see you back there. Hi, Road Rash. Long time, no see. Yeah, I was sorry to hear about your boyfriend coming back from the Army. You give me a call the next time he's on the duty, okay? <laughs> oh, Road. <laughs> Ixnay on the older side. Okay. Look, bite me, A. What? Can we go in? Mm -hmm. Are you guys your friends at Daphne's? No, you're, you're complete filth. Get in there. 
Go for it. Knock yourselves out. <laughs> hey, Marge Simpson. You know, this scene really makes me want to go clubbing. The director of this film. <laughs> Where is he? Staring at us? I wish I wasn't staring at any of you. Well, say, try the sea bass tonight. Oh, it's a club scum Christmas. Oh, you must be here for the wet t shirt contest tonight. Wet t shirt contest? No, I could win that. Donkey mud wrestling? Donkey mud wrestling? Get lucky night? No. Ivan Lendl look alike night? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The donkey mud wrestlers are supposed to use the rear entrance. Oh, you're the expert on that. And... Wow. Enjoy the show. Hey, Daphne. Yeah, club scum. Hi, Daph. So why are there lunch ladies serving tater tots back there? Sit down. They're right. It is scummy in here. How do you know those guys? It's just platonic. Oh, really? Oh, would you just shut up, okay? Hey, you guys aren't much of a help, you know. We're supposed to be looking for Amy. Welcome and bienvenue. Welcome. Uh, Satan's on the phone. Called. That's my act. Good night. <laughs> Greetings, low life. And welcome to Club Scum. Hey, get off the stage, idiot! <laughs> but you're my manager. I don't know, I like him. Calling out around the scum. Are you ready for a brand new fill? It's coming in the streets. Ah, uh, this makes me want to dig out my extensive Adamant collection. Can we get rolls or breadsticks or something? Oh. I think it's Ron Reagan's band. He's, he's singing us the menu. That's great. She's dancing and laughing. Well then, sock it to me, Mike. <laughs> I find that very interesting. Say goodnight, Mike. <laughs> no. Spoil sport. Jeez. Oh, this is that Basque separatist rock I've heard about this. Bok, 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 bok. Yeah, this is one of those movies that's just as famous for its great soundtrack. Yeah, Hobgoblins is usually on a double bill with The Harder They Come. Mm -hmm. Who am I kidding? No, it isn't. <laughs> Jean-Paul Sartre and the Heartbreakers. What's weird is that Nancy Griffith was the opening act. I just don't get it. Pig sticker? Is that what they're singing? Pigs? Pig, Pig sticker, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm not sure. Pig liquor, I think. So, a man who licks pigs, or perhaps liquor made from pigs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would not want pig liquor. Mm, I don't know. Neat. She's dancing and cleaning the acoustic tiles. The concert for herpes. <laughs> this is a Woody Guthrie song, right? Tell you about our drink specials tonight. Don't park in the alley or you'll get towed. While I'm up here, let me point out the restrooms. Kids Snickers. I'm not sure. Iced chicken? Mm -hmm. um, Oh, it's Swiss Knickers. Lint Kicker. No, Fish Picker. Fish, fish picker. picker. That's our one song. Good night, everybody. Fish Picker. Woo! Woo. Fish Picker. Woo! Woo.
I'm Tom Servo, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Hide the remote, kids! Hi, my special tonight is poached go to hell. You guys something to drink here? Maybe later. There's a two drink minimum here. Look, we're all underage, okay? Uh, okay, then uh, four goofy grapes. Road rash, come here quick. Yeah, 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 what is it? None of these kids are 21 yet. All right. How many fake IDs we need here? Oh, jock itch, you're so helpful. This is I'm 40 and handicapped. So what? Mm. Oh, you got a problem with that, Junior? No, I'll limp. <laughs> Funny. And now, mm. Club Scum is proud to present <laughs> a new headliner, appearing newly and nightly, Miss Amy Sin Sears. Mm. Ball of Poundstone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, my God. If this is your god, you have a severe ontological crisis. Amy, get off the stage! Mm. Sit down and shut up. Yeah, low impact aerobics. Yeah. Put more clothes on! Mm. I don't know, but I think it's sort of an improvement. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> <laughs> yes, girls, this is the only way to make your boyfriends like you. Great music. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Squire. Wow, you can see your armpits and everything. Sleep. <laughs> When's the poetry slam start? Um, am, am I next? Should I should I strip too? You know, she also does a great fan dance with an electric window fan. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is a great place to have your kid's birthday party. Take the kids to Club Scum Playland. The Lesser Kennedy's on the time. Yeah, right down to the workout gear. Mm. <laughs> great, now try getting it away from him. <laughs> Bet you showed her how to do that, huh, Daphne? Well, I, I am a good glove thrower. It's one of those cat clocks. Well, what do you think, folks? Is she a hit or a miss? Yeah, they should really add an S to that. Hits? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't... Amy, you don't know what you're doing. Get off the stage! Amy! Amy! 
Wow, they got a scum side seat. Stop interrupting the show. Drink your milk and finish your peas. She's gonna take off her hair. <laughs> that ZD was a little garlic. You gotta tell the chef. Red hot, uncensored Jamie Gertz. Just as long as Demi Moore doesn't come out and start shaking her saline bags. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Ribbit. Yep. Mm. I want you to treat me like dirt. Like fill dirt? Fill your drinks on me. No, they're four dollars each. You mean under your underwear? Take me under the table huh. and use me. Uh -huh. Make me. Drop up the table if it's uneven. Your woman. My back's right outside. Yeah, it's a Ted speed. <laughs> I live right around the corner, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, Ooh. she's just drunk. She doesn't even know what she's saying. She's never even been on the back of a motorcycle. She's terrified of them. She's also afraid of light bulbs. Would you guys stop sitting there and help me? <laughs> Are you helping Daphne? You seem to have a way with all the men in this place. Yeah, they brought in David Mamet to punch up the dialogue. Dr. Parker, what are you doing here? Oh, no. Howdy, Private. What's this? I'm out on a weekend pass. <sighs> I hear no. Pixie's working tonight. You go out in public in full uniform. A real soldier dies with his boots on. This way, this way. I know. <sighs> What's going on here? Just a problem involving some small predators, sir. Well, this movie's giving me current traumatic stress disorder. No, okay, hold on. I've got an idea. Yeah. All right, All right come with me. Attack. Okay, go Come ahead, with me. Sir. You guys scram. All right, I'm going to take care of this. Private, losing command here. Yes, sir. Now I'll make the decision. <laughs> we need to stage a diversion. And I have just what you need. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, now I just hit this tape recorder right here, and... <sighs> okay, here comes this guy. What's he up to? Boy, this is stupid. I wouldn't do that, would you? No. Ha ha! <laughs> Boy, that sure is a bad movie, won't you? It sure is, you know. Say, fellas, here's a little song about that movie, Hobgoblins. Are you kidding me? Then let's go. Hobgoblins, hobgoblins, what do you do with those hobgoblins? They're over here, they're over there, those darn hobgoblins are everywhere. Woo! Pinky, Rain, take a look at this. Something is different. As we sing the Hobgoblin song today. I don't know, sort of flat and lifeless. Uh, they're cardboard cutouts. Exactly, like they're cardboard cutouts. I don't know, I think they're rocking today. No, oh. I, act I mean they actually are cardboard cutouts. Well, they're not that bad. You kidding? They're on fire. Now listen, you idiots. Oh. And... Her, you, of course, do. Uh, it's a fake bike and fake robots made of cardboard. Look. Look out. Here comes one now. Watch out now, you little doodad. Something's sure going to happen. Well, I think we all learned a big lesson about hobgoblins today. Stupid oh. thing. <laughs> Oh boy. Ha, 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 
You get back into that theater now, son of a... Oh, try to pull the wool over my eyes, indeed. Remember, I'm watching you, my friend. Nothing gets by me, nothing! Here's a nice fat one for you. Oh, thank you. You bet. Emily here, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. It's a potluck, and I brought ice. You can never have enough ice. Thought anyway. Get out of here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that guy tipped his own table over. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> and yet again. <laughs> what is this? They're drinking too much Oval Brand beer. Okay, folks, who wants a blender drink? Huh? Pixie, did I ever tell you that I was a, a talent scout for a major motion picture studio? Did I ever tell you that I'm a near of bad actors in the groin? Did I ever tell you that I've always been attracted to men of your stature? 5'9", 145 pounds. Oh. Pixie. 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 Oh, Pixie. Oh, Pixie. Oh. 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 Oh
Opa! Opa! Don't let Swears bocce ball training comes in handy. The hobgoblins are just waiting outside till this blows over. Opa! Oh, Bat Sweat, I love you. Go, team, go! <laughs> Peppy Le Pew came in the back door. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, stop! <laughs> oh, Come back! Ah. My t-shirt was close, I could smell it. Uh, who wants to see my new cordless drill? Anybody? Uh, there's a phone call for Rick. Any of you guys, Rick? What? What? Oh. Oh, oh, big man, you strangle a plush toy. Moments later... Oh, toe cheese. What are you up to now? Still fake your for me. Fake this! That's butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! There's Amy! We gotta help her finish stripping. Oh. Hey, Amy. Oh. Are you okay? I'm not sure why am I dressed like a rock video slut. It's a long story. I'll explain later. Stallone. Scum. Opens Friday. Yeah. Name, rank, serial number. Don't shoot me. I'm just an employee. I don't even book the talent here. Proof there is no life after drama club. Reuben Kincaid. Sergeant, can't you stop him? Why? This is the best training he's ever had. he would never get this at boot camp. You call that training? He could kill somebody. War isn't pretty. Daphne and Nick are still inside. We gotta try and help them. Maybe I should send Nick off to some third world country. That would give you all the time that you need. Let go well, maybe me. I should get Nick out of the picture altogether. Hmm? Nick, this is your sergeant speaking. Save the troops! Nick, no, don't do it! So why hand grenades? Are there foot grenades? My fajita plate was really hot and I touched it! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, it's okay. I wore my flame suit and jellied my skin today. No problem. Whew, the smell of all that smoldering back hair. <laughs> wow. The truck of soldiers is waiting outside. It'll be a dream come true. Huh? You feel a hand inside you. Uncomfortable, huh? It sure is. My dream can come true right now. My beautiful dream from my childhood of exploding another human being. <laughs> I, got, I got the last of them. Now, who are these guys? Have we seen them in the movie yet? Uh, the tall guy looks familiar, right? Yeah, I'm mm, a, I'm I don't know who it is. Huh. Mm. I don't know. Uh, foot odor too strong. Ugh. Could uh, someone make a joke about my promiscuity, please? Sweat gland surveys the carnage. Must have been a rowdy crowd tonight. <laughs> hey, mm. hey, hey, Mr. Sincere. Uh -huh. You know, I really like that show you're doing inside. Hey, scumball, the show is over. Why don't you just climb back under your rock? Daphne, I could have done that. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Amy, I want you to know that I'll always be there for you. Well, you know, no one's ever really noticed me before like that. I mean, I've always just been thought of as Daphne's friend. This is the first time somebody came up to me like that. And I kind of liked it. Mm -hmm. Amy, I meant what I said. I'm going to prove it to you. Now, come on, Nick. Oh, yeah, he burned to death. Oh, well. Nick's a smoking husk right now. He won't mind if we take his van. <laughs> Anyone want to stop at Carl's Jr.? Huh? 
Oh, why did Hoover lose? Oh. Where is he? The angel of death. I've been waiting so long. Hey everybody, you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. And the best part about a marathon? The leftovers the next day. Mmm, leftover marathon. I'm Tom Servo, and I'm here on behalf of Alterniversal Productions. We're the company that writes and produces and performs MST3K in all its many iterations, from the TV series to our live shows to our own comic book series from Dark Horse Comics. Also, since COVID, we're the folks that wrote and produced the MST3K Riff Along, the first movie riffing event that celebrated first responders during the worldwide pandemic. We also started the official MST3K fan engagement site last summer, MST3K.org, for the latest news about the cast and crew and new projects for MST3K. This has been your Turkey Day Update. Tom Servo announcing. Alterniversal. Yeah. Alterniversal. Hey, it's a common man with his common van. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, must be Act 3. Things are really moving fast now. Yep. Mr. McCready? Uh, we're out of the van now. We can start the scene. Hey there. Well, no, Mike, who are these people now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We have a score to settle. But first, I'm going to hit myself with road flares. <laughs> uh. um, no, I only work with rakes, okay? <laughs> Amy? I'm gonna make you proud. Ow. Ow, 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 my bad. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Filipino push fighting. <laughs> Or after he kills, he would be fine by me. Imagine getting beat up by a guy named Kevin. <laughs> now, come on, that move really requires the cooperation of the flippy. <laughs> we put a grenade down his pants, that works. Amy, look, I'm a man, did you see? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Uh oh. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes when we touch, the honesty's too much. <gasps> Please. I shot you instead, is that okay? My fingers in the door. Ow, oh, wow. Oh. And he is assumed into B-movie heaven. I'm sorry for sending you out on your own. I should have known the creatures would try to destroy you also. Where are they going now? Mm -hmm. Back to their home in the vault. Hurry, there isn't much time left. Kevin, wait. What? What what, what do you want? What, why didn't you call me back, though? Why didn't you call me away? So what'd you call me back for? Don't take too long. I'll be waiting. Let's go! I think he's trying to tell us something. What is it, boy? Damn, I thought she was into me. Oh, come. Slutting's fun, isn't it? Oh no, slower, more bandy legged. Let's go for a ride on the Clark Matic. Quit screaming like that. I was right about them. They're back inside. And they're smoking hams. 
Maybe we should get closer and lock them back inside again. No, I've spent 30 years guarding them. But I was fired from my job tonight. I won't be around here to keep an eye on them. You were fired? Oh, no, he was the backbone of this place. Well, maybe I could guard them from now on. Oh, no. I don't want you to throw your life away the way I had to. Destroy your life in your own way. There is a <laughs> better way. No. Did you find them? Yeah, they're back inside the vault. What are you going to do to them? I don't know. Kevin, did I ever tell you what I did in the war? No. Shot off my uh, toe and got out. Munitions. Oh, it was supposed to unlock the van door. Whoops. I just blew up the studio accountant for no reason. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? That they should pick a movie studio to land. I think. Unless they figured they, they belonged in a dream factory. <laughs> Come away from the weird security guard. You were my hero tonight. You got some spinach stuck in your teeth. What? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. She's made her decision and they're going ahead with the sex. Hey. Daphne? Well, this is for you. I, I blotted up some grape juice for you. Huh. Really? No, no one's ever given me flowers before. Oh, but there's lots of things I could show you for the first time. Oh. Nick. Oh. Nick? <sighs> Nick! Jeff! Baby! Oh. 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 I told you guys oh. I had everything Sorry. under control. Well. <sighs> Daphne? Nikki? Van! So the result of his complete immolation is just minor redness and irritation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call the Sears and Roebuck and get some dry goods. Hello, Mr. Kamsa. <laughs> yes, I, I realize what time it is. No. I, I'm sorry to wake you, sir, but there's been an accident at the studio. We made hobgoblins. The film vault blew up. Yes, it, it, the building is still smoldering. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I realize about the insurance, but yeah. you fired me earlier. Uh -huh. There was no one on duty of course not. when it happened. Uh, guys, I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, could I use your phone? You know, Mike, one thing I learned from this movie is that Daphne is a slut, and Amy wasn't fun until she became a slut. Well, that's the fun message well, of today. Mike, a little help here? What's he up to? Yeah, what do you need? Come over here. Rick Sloan's out here, and he needs a little help. Rick Sloan? Yeah, Rick Sloan, the director. What, he's here right, right now? Yeah, the director of today's movie, Rick Sloan, wanted to explain a few things about his film. Hello, am I speaking English here? Gee, is it me? Okay, it just it just seems a, a little weird is all. Oh, huh. actually being you. Oh, he is. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, uh, Rick Sloan is is lighter than you'd think. Oh, you? how is he, Mike? Well, I guess uh, I had no preconceived notions about Rick Sloan's weight. I guess I'm not a racist like you are, Mike. Well, hey, boy. Uh, so, Rick Sloan, director of Hobgoblins, uh, how are you? The crow. The what? Perhaps you could uh, uh, be of some assistance in helping Mr. Rick Sloan explain some of the things about the film? Well, hey, he seems nice, but I've never met the guy before. Oh, would you I just do the voice, Crow? Oh, right, right, right. So, Mr. Rick Sloan. Hello, and how are you? <laughs> good, good. Say, why don't you explain to the good folks um, exactly what... Good! May I just say how nice it is to meet you all. My accommodations are just lovely. And everyone's been so nice. Rarely have I been treated. Can we just please talk about your film? Certainly, certainly. My film, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, right. when you came up with the idea for Hobgoblins, were you high on crack? Say yes. Yes, yes. I had been doing quite a bit of crack that day, as I recall. <laughs> yes, yes, good, good. That helps me understand, if just a bit. Now, another question I'm sure everyone who has seen the movie Hobgoblins has on their lips. And forgive me if I don't phrase this in just the right way. Are you, in fact, a total idiot? Say yes. Uh, yes, yes, I am an idiot. That is correct. How penetratingly intelligent of you to notice. You know, Servo, I couldn't help but notice. Stay He's out not... of it, Nelson. Okay, right. Now, director of this film, Mr. Rick Sloan, another question that I've been asked to put to you by the legions who have enjoyed your film, Hobgoblins. Uh, did someone open up your skull and carefully replace your brains with rat droppings? Say yes. Yeah, I'm on it. 
Oh, yeah, yes. Once again, your insight is quite correct. I was home one night, right uh -huh. before the filming of my hit film, Hot Goblins, yep. when I received an unsolicited call suggesting yeah. I try their service, yeah. wherein they replace my brains with rat droppings. <laughs> it was a good deal, so I said yes. Ah, good, good. Another mystery solved. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, actually, <laughs> Servo, I think you have time for another question. Oh, really? Uh, oh, uh, gee, I wasn't really prepared. Um, well, uh, Rick, how are you then? As I stated before, I'm good. Thank you. Huh. Good. So, uh, Rick Sloan. <laughs> good. Uh, hey, do you have any hobbies at all? Nope. Really? No, no hobbies? None. Oh. Okay, no you're off there. the hook. <laughs> we got to get out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Rick. <laughs> Good work, Servo. Nice job. Hey, Clown Pants. Hey there, Mike. You know how we really didn't care for that stupid movie today? Yeah. Well, by using our time machine, I went back to the early 80s, and I took care of our little Rick Sloan problem, if you know what I mean. What? <laughs> Servo, you don't, you don't mean you could... Yeah, I sure did, Mike. I hunted down Rick Sloan, and I kicked him, Mike, right in his shin. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. It's gruesome, I know, but I had to take matters into my own hands. Well, I thought, you'd, you know, you'd gone back and terminated him, you know. What do you mean, terminate? Terminate? What are you, are you nuts? I hate guns. I hate them. How could you ever get that idea? Man, I don't know. Well, anyway, by going back and giving our Mr. Sloan a firm, swift blow to the shin, I have changed the course of events, and Hobgoblins is no more. <laughs> hey, 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 you guys. Huh? I I'm doing my uh, biography of Rick Sloan here, doing my research, huh? and listen to this. Huh? Rick Sloan says the inspiration for his film Hobgoblins is like a stout red automaton kicking him in the shins. Stout? Stout? He says stout? That bastard, I'm going back to kill him. No, you know, you know I gotta put a child lock on our time machine. That's a good idea. Mike, Servo, Art, I took away the couch and brought it back down here. You are all old enough to be taking some responsibility for some of our things. Couches do not grow on trees. Hey, can I have some of your Welch's grape juice? Sure, if I can have some of that seal coat, you're back. <laughs> there was a nice settee I was thinking of sending up there. there. There was a particular office chair I know you would have enjoyed, Crow. But I don't know that I can ever trust you with any home furnishings ever again. <laughs> Bobo, brain guy, who wants candy? Oh, I do. I, me. I don't mean to yell. I just really want everyone to stay off the couch. <laughs> You're watching the 2020 MSG3K Turkey Day Marathon. Cheesy movies for the cheesiest year.
Always encouraging when a film begins with a shot of the floor of your garage. Behind the scenes at the supermarket. You won't believe what they consider cheese these days. <laughs> Wait, if Joseph is lesser, why does he get top billing, huh? Supermarket or prison, you decide. Mayfair, as in you may fare better at Whole Foods. <laughs> it's early in the morning before this large supermarket opens for customers. And these two have come to rob the place. They're professional fruit I'm thieves. the manager of the supermarket. Uh, no autographs, please. And this is my son, Johnny. Johnny is fascinated by keys. <laughs> yeah. This keys. morning, I'm going to show Johnny what goes on behind the scenes here before the day's business can begin. Ugh, if this doesn't change him, then I give up. A supermarket is like many little markets or departments all brought together into one big building. Super! Each department sells a different kind of food. After today, son, you will believe it's not butter. Now I'm Dr. Dad. One of my jobs, I tell Johnny, is to see that the market has plenty of food to sell. Dad, will I always look like Pete Davidson? I must also see that all the people who work in the market know what to do and that they do their jobs well. So let's open the sleep chamber and let them out. My first job in the morning is to open the door to the rear loading platform where deliveries to the market are made. Kid has a little ski jump in his hair. Good. Now you hold that until the store closes, Johnny. <laughs> Watch this truck backing in, Johnny. It's bringing some of the food the market will sell. Hmm, sodium nitrate, MSG, all the major food groups. Yum. Here's a man unloading vegetables and fruit from a vegetable or produce truck. This guy says vegetables like he's playing it on a snare drum. The vegetables and fruit are taken to a storage room in the back of the market. Here they are cleaned and the extra syllables removed. It takes a great deal of work to prepare the vegetables so they will be clean enough to sell to customers. Wash them with tap water and ungloved hands, check. From the inside of this truck, a roller track carries cartons of canned and paper goods into the market. Webster's unabridged toilet paper? I'm helping. <laughs> oh, Johnny. Got it. <laughs> a moving belt inside the building carries the cartons to a second floor storage room. Hmm, it also contains luggage lost on Delta flights. Here, they are taken off the belt and stacked on storage shelves until needed. Son, these will be waiting for you when the Rootskis finally drop the big one and it's your job to repopulate the earth. Good luck, son. Johnny watches boxes of frozen food being unloaded from a refrigerated truck. One of my helpers explains that a refrigerated truck is like a large icebox on wheels. Or like an igloo that has a teamster instead of an Eskimo inside. This is the market's frozen food locker. Frozen food from the truck is put inside this locker room to be kept frozen until it is needed for customers. Oh. Off to the boy wang station. This truck is refrigerated too. In it, big pieces of meat are brought to the market. The meat is hung on hooks from an overhead slide so it can be easily moved. Yep, I live in a nightmare. The meat is pushed into a refrigerated room to be kept cold and fresh until it is ready to be cut up for sale. Which one is the gangster who squealed, Dad? Friggin' rat! Mr. Dale, my meat department manager, shows us the meat he is going to cut today. So this morning, this was a living thing? Got it. In the meat cutting room, the meat is cut to prepare it for sale. Meat is cut in the meat cutting room, so what happens in the cheese cutting room, Dad? <laughs> it's a joke, Dad. This meat has been oh, ground into hamburger. 
the cut and ground meat travels on rollers to the packaging and weighing room. Remember this as you fall asleep tonight. Oh, it must be Mrs. Lovett. Oh, my hernia! In this room, packages of meat are made ready for selling. Where's Johnny? Since food must be kept very clean, the packages are carefully wrapped and labeled. They are covered with cellophane and then sealed with a hot iron. Each one is given just a smidge of bacteria. Hot iron, seal up the meat. Beef brisket is a summer retreat. Mm -hmm. Each package is weighed, and the weight and price are marked on the label. Oh, brother, I can't be the only one here who knows how to do math. Finally, the wrapped meat <laughs> is ready to be put <laughs> into a refrigerated display case Fun. in the front of the market. Fun. From it, customers may choose what they want. This case keeps the meat cold and fresh until it is ready to be taken home. This is where Phil Spector got the idea for the wall of beef sound. The vegetables are taken from their storage room as they are needed and attractively arranged in the display cases in front of the market. Many different kinds of vegetables, and fruit too, are displayed. Oh yeah, golden apples, Macintosh apples, Fiona apples. Gallagher's been kicked out of his store so many times. Mm, that's tough. This chute carries cartons of canned and paper goods from their upstairs storage room to the market's main floor. I had no idea gravity was such an important facet of the grocery industry. Cans of food are put on the shelves. The price is stamped on each can, so the customers and the cashiers at the checkout stands will know how much each costs. Would someone please invent the UPC symbol? The packages of frozen food are also placed in a refrigerated display case. Many different kinds of frozen foods are offered for sale. But it's mostly spinach. I mean, we got way too much spinach, I'll admit it. Somebody goofed. A lot of spinach. Meanwhile, I check on some signs needed for tomorrow's sale. Make it say, girls, girls, girls. I tell my sign maker what the sale price will be. The signs will be used in the windows of the market. Yeah, I don't think the word fancy needs to be fancy, Bob. Back in my office, Johnny sees some of the other work necessary to help run the market. Dad, I don't think you're driving the workers hard enough. Come on, crack the whip! This is my secretary. Meow. She's working on the sales record of yesterday's business. I must know how much food was sold the day before, so I can order more if it is needed. Uh, Blanche, this isn't inventory, it's Sudoku. This is my bookkeeper. She's adding up some bills for me to pay. I owe some money to some very bad people, Johnny. <laughs> now, Johnny, how would you like to open the market? Well... Just push this buzzer. I'm sorry, Johnny, that's incorrect. <laughs> the doors are open. Here come the customers. Brave, juicy brave. One of the first customers to come in this morning is Johnny's mother. They've never met. Let's watch. She's come to do her shopping and to pick up Johnny while I go back to work. I'll probably just point at stuff. As they shop, Johnny tells his mother what he's learned about the supermarket. I helped Daddy bust up a union. How the big trucks come every day, bringing different kinds of food to the backloading platform. Hey, get off your backloading platform and help me out here. How the cartons of food are unloaded from the trucks and moved to the storage room. How the meat carcasses will haunt him the rest of his natural born days. How the vegetables are cleaned. Not very well, is what he learns. How the meat is cut and wrapped to keep it clean. Or clean-ish. Yeah, in the ballpark. How the clerks put the food in the display cases and arrange it on the shelves. What the office workers do. And how Dad just points. Point. And some of the things I must do before the customers arrive. Like drink heavily in the bathroom. Johnny and his mother have completed and paid for their shopping. Today, Johnny's learned that a great many things go on behind the scenes of a supermarket. You two head on home before my other family shows up. Groceries! <laughs> Fun.
Hey there, everybody. Jonah Hessen here with another fan-submitted memory of Turkey Day. Kate says, One year, a couple of friends invited me to their Thanksgiving dinner. Come about 11, they said. So expecting to have a big meal around noon, I didn't eat breakfast. They didn't have dinner until 7 p.m. They never offered any snacks or refreshments either. So around 2 p.m., I used the excuse that I needed to run home and swap tapes as I was taping that year's Turkey Day Marathon. This was a lie, as I had two VCRs, but it did allow me to make myself a sandwich so I did not faint from hunger. I can truly say that Turkey Day may have saved my life. The MST3K Turkey Day Marathon, fighting starvation since 1991. Take that, World Vision. Yeah. Upbeat. Yeah. Uh -huh. I dig it. Yeah. Jam it. Oh. That's it, you bums. Get those legs up. Get those arms up. Get those bums up. Your bums gotta work on your bums, cause your bums. Oh, no. hello there. You caught us mid-workout. I'm just putting these two through their paces so we can all be in tip-top fighting shape for the supermarket re-riff. Tom, is this really necessary? I know I'm just a rookie here, but isn't riffing just sitting and talking? With occasional pointing. You don't know what riffing is, you washed up painter's apprentice. Now get out your wallet and give me 20. Push-ups? Dollars, genius. And it just went up to 40. Daddy's gonna get himself a new pair of fuzzy dice and then throw them in the ring because they got a better chance than you bums. You know, now you're just being mean to bums. You don't understand what this short wants to do to you. It wants to embarrass you. It wants to destroy you. It wants to educate you in a condescending 50 sort of way, but we're not gonna let it. By the time we're done with you, you're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crap thunder. I'd rather eat mashed potatoes and then eat more mashed potatoes. Uh, yeah, my digestive process is my business, and business is good. Okay, take five, you bums. <clears throat> what you need is a little inspiration. You gotta remember what this day means to people, specifically to Austin, who submitted this on mst3k.org. Cambot, if you please. Austin writes, It was the first Thanksgiving my partner and I spent together, and we were flat broke, living in a freezing little apartment away from our families. The budget looked pretty bleak for Thanksgiving dinner, but somehow, miraculously, my guy got us a duck. Was it Timothy? And we scraped together a neat little feast for us two. That night, we watched The Day the Earth Froze, which remains my favorite experiment, and the best Thanksgiving day ever. We got through days when the Earth froze not with a sampo, but by riffing together. That's what makes the memories of those times such happy ones. Oh, that was beautiful. We can't let Austin down, guys. I'm gonna take a lap outside. Okay. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna take a lap of the table, see if I missed any side dishes. And then hit the showers, I can smell you through the screen. And speaking of things that stink, and by things, I mean it, and what I'm trying to say is it stinks. Enjoy this next experiment fans voted for on mst3k.org. Experiment 303, pod people. <gasps> we got turkey sign. In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place.
IBM, CBS, RCA, the CIA, the FBI, the NBA, A&P, NBC, ABC, Arkham, and CPO, Sharky. You see, they're all the same. And what do I think? I think if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Good night. And may God bless. Hey, that was great. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't know you guys were there. Stop. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank, well, it's, it's a work in progress. It's part of my one-man show called Robot on the Run. Oh, it's, hey, look, we're on, everybody. Hi. Hey, welcome to the Satellite of Love. We're having our Arch Chautauqua today. Commercial sign in 15 seconds. Anyway, Tom, you want to do yours here? Let's do it. <clears throat> I was born the son of a poor Filipino merchant. I remember I would sit on the stoop of my tenement brownstone on the Lower East Side. I was... Uh, I was... Uh, Tom, your, your line is, is I, I was crying. crying. Oh, thank commercial you. sign in five, five, four, three, two. two. Commercial, commercial sign now. I was crying. <laughs> No. Mayo, I'm going to make a recommendation that you be dropped from the program. Don't you do it! Don't you do it! I've got nowhere else to go! I've got nothing! Hey, pretty yeah, good. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I think it's time to uh, do the invention exchange here. What I've got isn't really a new invention but it's a new kind of guitar chord. What you do, it's for the dynamic endings of your rock show. This is the oh. Mel Bay uh, chart right there. It's an A minor augmented with an Eddie Van Halen bolt action on the bottom. Cool. And so when you get to the big jams at the end of the concert, you can play it. Now, it takes two hands to play this chord, so at that point, you have your dynamic frontman. I guess Crow will okay. do it. We'll strum it, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. What do you think, sirs? Oh, great. Get Foghat on the phone. Well, our experiment this week, Joel, is going to be sweeping the country by storm. Isn't that right, Frank? That's right. You know all the fads with the young people today. You know the kids today with their loud music, hula hoops, fax machines. But the biggest fad these days, karaoke. What we've done is we've invented a karaoke machine that exclusively plays public domain songs. That's right. That means you can sing into your karaoke machine, have as much fun as you want, and not pay one cent in artist royalties. That's right, Frank. Now, what happens when you go into your favorite karaoke bar and you want to hear I Want to Know What Love Is by Foreigner? People vomit? No. Lou Graham, songwriter and Chess King spokesmodel, gets a big fat royalty check, and that means lots of money. So, Joel, we've loaded our machine only with public domain songs. All free of copyright, all owned by you, the people. That's right. You want to hit the roll there, Jerry? You get the Battle Hymn of the Republic. The immortal Baba Black Sheep. The turgid and bittersweet Gregorian chant number five. The impish twinkle twinkle little star. Mozart's The Magic Flute. And there's so much more. But your experiment this week, Joel, is called Pod People. It has nothing to do with pods. It has nothing to do with people. It has everything to do with hurting. And we're going to sing you into it with our new public domain karaoke machine. Hit it, Frank. Oh, It's a good thing we got those re, uh, those new heads on there. Great experiment, Joel. Yeah, great great junk invention you. there. <clears throat> oh, pod people got no reason to live. Isn't hey. that uh, Mia People's brother? Pod people? Mm. <laughs> mm. No. And she's married to Mori Povich, right? No, Connie you're Chester. Gonna Connie Chung, that's Chester. Mm. William Anton, I think that's Susan Anton's half brother. Could be. Which half? Huh? Better half. Whoa, it's the Iron Maiden dude. Hey. Check him out. Ooh. I believe I'll use my putter for. For what? For hitting guys. Oh, this.
This is where the swamp thing versus the sweet thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, the tears of a clown. Farouk Alatan? I went to school with Farouk Alatan. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go skin it and eat it now. That's not a Spalding, it's a Peaker Simon Jack Ray signature ball. <laughs> I dare you to eat it. No, you eat it. Lick it first. <laughs> that one's hard on pants. Boy, that guy's got some unfortunate skin, all right. Mm -hmm. Really unfortunate skin. Yeah. Emergency, 911. A man falls, stunned by a monster. My baby. Oh, boldly backing away from where no man has gone before. Carsick. on a hard planet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on and dance. I'm Curly Neal to show you how. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night. I'd taken a creative writing course. Doctari. Oh, I love taking rides in the bog. <laughs> you sure this is the place? Sure, I'm sure. I'm sure that you're sure that I'm sure, I'm sure. Sure? Sure. I think that's sure. I think you're sure. Mm. sure. Hey, does he look dorky enough? <laughs> dorky Park. And you think you know it all, don't you? No. I just don't want to spend a night out in this crap for nothing. For Christ's sake, will you keep your voices down? There's rangers around here. Let's grab like the this. picnic baskets and scramble boo. Meanwhile, a few miles away. Darren, did you just hear a comment? Huh, now this guy's got Renaissance Festival written all over him. Huzzah! Huzzah! Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Well, time to start camping. <laughs> you dress up as Oscar Wilde and I'll sing Noel Coward songs. Oh. <laughs> camping. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Tonight on Music from Hearts of Space, we'll go on a cosmic joyride with some space music by various Bay Area artists. But first... There, that's the nest. We'll make a fortune with that lot. They're nightingales' eggs. I'll believe that when they've hatched out. Lay off, will you, Matt? Just lay off. Here. Perfect. Go to the truck and bring the ladder, Sam. I didn't get cast in the Lauren Green roll for nothing. There's something very strange going on. That light, look, over there. Didn't you hear me? Go get that damn ladder. Okay, mm. okay. Move it! I'm Hitler. I'm going, I'm going, jeepers. First up on Hearts of Space, John Tesh with Whispering Firestorm. Then it's Yanni with Snoremaster of Trafalgar. Then comes Bay Area musician Del Mondo with his Salmonex suite in D-flat. Then a synthesized interplanetary salute to Perry Como. At the end of the hour, we'll have information about the types of sedatives used by tonight's artists on music from the hearts of space. Uh, football practice. Puma? Puma. Spielberg? Kitty. Oh, Mittens, are you eating gerbils? <laughs> Naughty kid. You must be punished. Wow, his room's becoming a disco. It's the ABC movie of the week. <laughs> hmm, what pretentious crap.
Well, that guy's going to get his Presidential Physical Fitness Award. <laughs> it's a done deal. Come on, you wuss. Come on, you got to want it. Hey, Dad hit the eggs good this year. Oh, that darn cat. MacGyver. I do believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do, I do. I do believe in spooks. I do. I do. Good night. Huzzah! Ah. Did you see that? Speak middle Did English. Did you see it? What? What the hell are you talking about? Looked like, looked like a huge ball of fire crashed over there. A bolt of lightning. There was no bolt of lightning. I tell you, something crashed back there. What's going on? Well, I just saw Nothing. something. Here, hold my purse. I swear to you, I saw something crash back there. I don't know, maybe a meteorite. Oh, forget Ready? it, Sam. Just go and Push him over it. now. Gladder, will you? Go oh, on. I love that one. And don't take all night. I wish we brought Bill along instead of that crazy moron. Bill, he's changed sides. Works for the Rangers now. Huh? What? Bill, Bill jumped the, the fence? The law? You mean it? <laughs> That's incredible. It swings both ways. Man. Let's try that nest over there. Looks like Yoda's home. Luke! You stay fast, Luke! Mm. Ah. 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 Ah, it's clearing now. With ah. a name like Schmucker's Raspberry Preserves, you know it's good. This inflamed tissue, the burning, you better put some peroxide. Better Schmucker's some brand peroxide. I'll get a hanky. <laughs> Welcome to Lazarium. Tonight, music by Rick Wakeman. A ladder, that's a rope. Oh, forget this. I'm getting out of here. I'm no longer your whipping boy. I ain't gonna work on Maggie's farm no more. <laughs> if you can't find them, grind them, right? <laughs> grind a pound for me, man. This outward bound is really broadening him. Well worth the trouble. Hey, uh, let me have a look. Mm. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Mm. What have we here? These are cola nuts. Mm. These are un nuts. pay the rent nuts. for a while. Where's Sam? He's paying the rent. No, I don't know. Should have been back by now, though. Hey, what if the son of a was run out? And taking the truck, too. Don't touch him there. Come on. Fear before the might of Mega Cynthia. But please continue to enjoy the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon.
Now Mr. Science is going to show us the white cells. Put that down. Oh, oh clean up in uh. aisle seven. <laughs> it's a golden plump chicken. Ugh. Ooh, he should have checked the freshness date on those. Over easy. <laughs> oh, what is he, an L.A. cop? Man exploring his territory here. Ouch. I guess we know which came first now, don't we? Uh, you want to make a movie, you got to break some eggs. Cluck, 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 cluck. Oh my goodness, it's the Easter Bunny, and is he ever mad? Hey, this guy looks like Norm Abrams getting killed. Hmm. Hear that? Sounds like Norm Abrams getting killed by a giant chicken. <laughs> now I got to walk off those eggs. Whew, my cholesterol counts way up. Morning comes to cheap white trash. Was this it? Yeah. Yeah. I knew it. Set up a man out on us. Uh, looks like we spend the night out here. So mm. let's make. You feel comfortable uh, sharing uh, a sleeping bag with me? Mm. All the camping equipment was in the pickup. So what? It won't be the first time you've dropped it. Come on. Go. Oh. Hey, it's White Fang, and he's stealing those bifocals. They came to Earth to steal biofocals. No, it's not his prescription, I don't think. Mm. I've gone blind. I'm looking at the back no, of my no, retinas. It's just uh, the movie. Uh, blind. The movie went blind. Oh, wish I had gone blind. Brooke, finish your training, you will. Bambi, humans are basically good. Up, oh, check that. You know, Mom, you never hear the one with your name on it. See that? Came around here isn't usually at all nervous. It's my weird. bloodlust cannot be sated. The light trembling of a fawn as it lay dying in my arms. You know. What's going on? Christ, you're beginning to sound like Sam. Son well, of Sam. Know why or what? But I got a funny feeling, and I don't I've, like it. I've got to kill something. Is what I got to do. Gino Vanelli? Mm. Mm. That's a shave. Ah. Oh, right in the eye. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Ah. Ooh. The helpless oh, no. cough of a squirrel with a oh, crushed face. That's what life's all about. It's the big hurry. It's the big hurry. I want to get the hell out of here. I'm doing a one-man show. Leslie Nielsen, Leslie Nielsen, Leslie Nielsen. There's something weird going on. Look, you stick around if you like. I'm moving. Moving on. Hey, you may want to wax that bikini here. Oof. Well, you know, even the movie The Fog didn't have this much fog. Mm -mm. You know, the entry wound of a hey, shot is okay, the please. Nice build to put us up. At least we'd have four walls and a roof. And a jail cell tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, if we saw that, yeah. Start. Yeah. Hi, God. Look, there's Julie Andrews, and she's on fire. Good. Sorry, Jules. You know, this scene didn't originally appear in the movie, but they uh, they restored it. Aren't mm. you glad? Oh, yeah, thank lovely. you, AMC. Huh. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's the cameraman. He's looking through the wrong lens. Oh, that comb uh, used to belong to Keith Richards. Look what I got here, Uncle Bill. Uh, yeah. Centipede. It's a Lithobius forticatus. To me, it's a centipede. It's always been called a centipede. He's a loving and giving caregiver. What have you got there? <laughs> a Lithobius forticatus. Centipede. Well, chuck the filthy thing away. It's for my insect collection. Then take it up to your room, OK? Can I go out and find some more specimens? Later. You've got to help your uncle in the cellar. Now then, finish your breakfast. Mm. Oops, wrong bowl. No. Oh. <laughs> 3M today, a more vibrant future for the plastic resin-based industries. Ah, finally a movie for our generation. Swinging. Woo. Hey, it's Greg Brady. Cool. No, no, hold it, hold it. Huh? It stinks. We agree. Let's take it again from the top. 
Here's your coffee. I've made it special for you. I'll be right over here. Bye. You guys are all over the place. Yeah, you're up in the mountains, you're in the studio, you're in a cave, you're in a shotgun shack, you're in another part of the world, you're on top of Old Smokey there. Oh, you're all over the place. We're just as confused as you are, folks. Ah, oh, to heck with this, Norm. Let's go down to the suburbs and crash through a school window. Hey, okay. Hey, you hear about Philly? He got hit by a truck last night. Oh, down by the Salt Lake? Yep. Oh, what a shame. Huh. Here they come. Walking down the time. street, they get the funniest looks from... Everyone they meet. Hey, wait, those aren't deer. Well, let's shoot them. They're not wearing orange. Yeah. No, they're going to die in that samurai jeep anyway. Uh, uh, you're still in first. No, move. You don't know how to drive a stick, do you? Oh, hell, don't say they're going to have problems. Not now. They're going to have problems. Not now. Christ. No, there they go. They're okay. Good. Good riddance. Now we can kill us some game in peace and quiet. Do you realize what you just said? <laughs> or maybe just go and rest in the cabin. Huzzah. <laughs> I say we take a rest. Ah! Hear the death. Flying over trout? Hey, you think the mic's picking up their dancing? Lyrics by Mrs. Johnson's kindergarten class. Wind in my eyes. All victims ready to skull? Hey, Greg Loganis is so talented. Young Republicans, they're so hip. This may be Mike Curb Congregation's best album ever. Oh, yeah, they got it together now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ceiling needs painting. Mm. Oh, yeah. He's really good. Good. He's the best. Oh, I could uh, say. Just leave it like that. Okay. He the He the turtle. He the turtle. He the turtle. He the He the He the Nice song, but I think it needs a hook yeah. or something. Yeah. Get down, Crow. I can't. Get back up. <laughs> if these guys get any more soul, yeah. we'll have to order out for greens. Okay. Hmm? Good. Huh? <sighs> well? Hmm? It stinks. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Well, what's the matter with it? Who knows? It was great. Hmm. I hope you're joking. I never joke about my living. <laughs> well, I thought it was great this time. Great, yeah. Kathy was half asleep, and you, Tracy, you were blasting out like a foghorn. What's wrong with him, then? Did he get up on the wrong side of the bed, huh? You should know. Hey, shh. And you. Me what? Come on, out with it. You came in half a beat late. Ooh. What are you talking about, Rick? Back in I a came minute. in half a beat late. I'm not going to argue, Sharon. You came in late. Come on, Rick, give me a break. You're always early. You're impossible to follow. Hey, fantastic, everybody. Hey, it's, it's Andy fantastic. Travis from WKRP. Gary's really excited about this take. Hmm. Why didn't you ask him? Hmm? Hmm? Hey, guys, the fun's over. Well, I still say you were all fantastic, really. It's going to be a hit for sure. You want to hear it again? No, no, no. no That's no, okay, no. Gary. It's been a long day. We'll hear it on Monday. Thanks. Have a nice weekend. You but it's Wednesday. Yourselves. Long weekend. And now, let's get out of here. Let's get up into those mountains and breathe a little fresh air. After the atmosphere in here, it'll probably kill us. Tracy, mm. go pick the up window. the scores. And my leather and my clown suit. Mouth. The place is really great. You'll love it up there. Hey, Gary, how about it, huh? Sorry, honey, you got a mess of work. Oh, come on, Gary. You'll have a wonderful time. I'll belong to you, soul and body. No, I just ate, thanks. I'm sorry, Tracy. It's been a long week, and well... Okay, don't worry. I get the message. I know I'm not your type. What the hell? There's always Robert Redford. Oh, we gotta go, guys. Hey, come on, give me a break. Oh, that's okay. what I was doing. Oh. Don't call us, we'll call you. She should be more accessible, so you know? So long, yeah. All right, all right.
right, let's do it again. You come in late, girls, again, you're out, all right? All right, from the top. With a pickle mind, we kick the nipple beer. Steady as a goat, we're flying over trout. Ghetto down the highway at the speed of light. All I want to feel now is the wind in my eyes. Sack of monkeys in my pocket. My sister's ready to go. Hear the engines roll now. Idiot control now. Hideous control now. Nitty on the road now. Mini in control, wheels on fire, burning rubber tires. He's pretty good. Good. He's the best. Leary Jelly rolls now. Hitty Leslie go now. Nitty inches bow down. Pity in a poor boy. Pity inches roll. Bees on pie, burning rubber tires. Oh, great. Pretty good. What do you think? It stinks. Oh, no. No, no. That was a hot session, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sharon, honey, I'm sorry. I got all uptight. Don't. This is important to me, this LP. You know that, don't you? Just forget it, will you? You know I didn't mean anything. Oh, kiss me, you big lug. Mm -mm. Hey, you got all weekend. Oh, that's right. She was all oh, for fun. Oh, that's sweet, oh, huh? Honey, let's go. And they have Pringles. You think the weather's going to hold? No, I think it's just going to stop. Hey, where did you say we were going? To hell. Sender National Forest. It's a fantastic place. Mm -hmm. So peaceful and so quiet. Not a soul for miles. I'm you. not bringing it's mine. It. It's really out of the way. Just a few rangers and a lot of bears. I guess I'll just have to find a ranger or a bear to sleep with then. What are you <laughs> saying? Oh. Huh? Oh, sorry, wrong movie. I'm cold. I didn't bring my jacket. Or your brain. Do you mind if I put on one of yours, Rick, darling? Look, Pocahontas, Rick's uh, mine. Somebody else needs warming up. Who the hell is that? Hi, y'all. I'm Laura Stapleton. Marine Stapleton? Not uh, looking oh, good. Ricky, you were wonderful. Marvelous. You were all great. 
We're gonna have such fun this weekend. Uh-oh. Yeah, great fun. Ooh, Sharon! What's got into that? Girl. Are you all right, Rick? All right in the box? It's all right. What on earth made you invite her along? I forgot we met the other day. I guess I must have told her about the weekend by accident. Yeah, accidentally on purpose. Never thought she'd actually come. Don't tell her to get lost. Well, I can't do that, can I? Turns out she's the daughter of one of the bosses here. Makes her part of the establishment, doesn't mm. it? And she happens uh -oh. to like the way I perform. Good point. Uh -huh. Anyway, mm -hmm. an artist has to think about his public, doesn't uh -huh. he? Can't argue with that. Especially if your public has boobs like that. Uh, Joel, what are boobs? You know, like Jethro Bodine, that kind oh, of Oh, yeah. boobs. Oh, okay. Sharon, I think you're making a mountain out of a mole. <clears throat> Leave me alone. I'm going home. The change, I Believe hope. Believe me. It's not what you think. It's what you're wearing. Of course not. It's probably worse. Anyway, that's it. I'm finished with him. Listen, Sharon. Deep down, that guy is nuts about you. Mm -hmm. Making out with chicks is part of his act as an artist. Mm -hmm. One today, a different one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. See, cheating is hip. Accept the fact. And if you love him, stand up and, and fight for him. Enjoy being used. There's no way you'll lose out. Especially against an idiot like that. So cool it and relax. Okay. Brian's right, you know, Sharon. Mm-hmm. Yes, isn't he always? Mm-hmm. Why couldn't I fall in love with him? Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> come on. Fun and then they, oh, yeah, come that, on, knuckleheads. Uh, come on. Mm -hmm. Still oh. friends. Yeah. Hey, try to be nice to your boyfriend's girlfriend. Boyfriend. Err. That'll keep him. Uncle Bill? Jody? Buffy? Mr. French? Mrs. Beasley? Chief? McLeod. <laughs> Boy, I hate Kenny. Oh, that's not Kenny. We like this kid. Oh. Hey, it's Desi and Lucy in the big, big trailer. <laughs> It's neat, huh? Yeah. Is this white reggae? What should I do? It's getting late. I'm feeling blue. Oh, this is Morrissey. Oh. I love him. It's funny. One of the jokes. Puka. It's a kooky radio, isn't it? Yeah, it goes in my ear. <laughs> Boy, you know, Ringo did some bad songs, but this is really embarrassing. Yeah. Retire. <laughs> mm, this should fit over my head. What? Give me that. I'll scratch your eyes. Out. <laughs> oh, fun. Levity. Oh, the Van Trapp family singers on the road. Hope they find some Nazis. <laughs> Enjoy the good life in retirement. Scenic back roads, Morrissey songs, 24 hours a day. And it really came together when Mom sang along. <laughs> oh, 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 Joel, 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 I'm tripping, tripping, tripping. Talk him down, Joel, talk him down. Oh. It's an echoplex, buddy. Oh. Whew, I was worried. Hey, look, we paid for the van, we're gonna film it. We paid for the song, too, we can use it all. Oh, terrific, we are saved by the gates of hell. Hey, what is it about the gates of hell that compels people to wander into them? It's because of Smucker's Raspberry Preserves. Hey, what's sugar. he gonna do, borrow a cup of sugar from Satan? No, he's gonna borrow a cup of Smucker's Raspberry Jam. I... It's most like real fruit. Beastmaster! Ringo? Uh, Axel? Sinead? Chief? McLeod. Wow. <laughs> Specimen jackpot. Just uh, put away his dinty more. Oh, that'll go great in his alien mutant hell beast from space collection. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it says, don't laugh, it's paid for. In Braille? Mm-hmm. I'll go. I want to die. 
Sympho birds. Hmm. Hey, it's a Casio forest. They park next to a data stream. Hmm. Hmm. Rick? Ricky, wait for me. Hey. Hey, put the Casio back in the van. I don't think the others like me being here. Duh. They haven't said a word to me. Ignore them then. Oh, sure. They would, but they try to click their revolvers at me. Who brought you here? Me or them? You and your right. I don't care. Kiss me, Ricky. Where? Not now, later. They're waiting for us. I only ask you to kiss me. Uh, don't you want to? No, I... Uh, 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 you, you got my gum. Uh, 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 uh. Rick! Where are you, Rick? Um, over here. Hold on. <sighs> I'm coming. Mm-hmm. This is CNN. Tommy. Have you been playing with Tommy, the gatekeeper you... again, Tommy? Well, mm. if oh. nothing else. Oh, you know, great Steve tastes great. great. I wish everybody liked them. A little more pelvis? What do you think, Laura, dear? Mm, you're good. Mm, you look like you're enjoying it. My mother's just the best darn cook in the world. She taught me to enjoy good eating. Mm -hmm. Especially steaks, huh? Not only. All kinds of meat. All this. <laughs> Sounds like a talented lady, your mother. <laughs> My mother was a saint. This? You guys laughing at me all the time. We're laughing with You're you, dear funny. heart. Oh, yeah, sure. I know that you hate me. You're jealous, aren't you? Because Ricky likes me. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, honey. Ooh. Tell her what we did in the woods, Ricky. She'd love to know, right, Sharon? Coffee? <laughs> Laura! You, you forgot your breakfast. I think I better go after her. No. Leave her alone for a while. Let her cool off. Or get eaten by creatures. A snap an ankle, dive exposure. You know, we have been very hard on her. Yeah, but it's a good chance to thin out the cast. <laughs> I don't even like coffee. <laughs> Only half a cup? Mm -hmm. Don't you like the rich taste? Mm. Dad? Mommy? Mr. Drysdale? Mr. Eddie's father? Don't play games with me, please. Mr. Douglas. Mr. Hey. Haney. Lisa. Chief. McLeod. It's a girl, you what idiot. You, you know what, Matt? You're a real blockhead. You're just looking to land up in jail. But come on, I can use her in my act. Huzzah! I ain't doing nothing. You better run. Draw force that way. She won't get far. Doh. Come on. And there on the handle was, you're not listening. Great weather for a picnic. I read it in my horoscope. My horoscope said you'll be stalked by a leather mug maker from a Renaissance festival. <laughs> Jesus, that little can run a lot faster than I thought. Yeah, well, you're a jerk. Ooh, touche. Very cool. Ah. <laughs> Next week on Manix. God, what was that? Sounded like Laura <laughs> leaping to her death. Laura? <laughs> jerk. You're a jerk. <laughs> Over there, jerk. Not jerk. Jerk. Come on! Wait, did we leave the iron on? Laura! Where are you, Laura? 
Tell Laura I love her. Laura! Huh? Is your name Laura? The trouble, Matt. Let's get out of here fast. BD, 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 wanna dance, Buck? <laughs> oh, it's Laura Palmer. Super sales. This way. What, you smell her? Yeah, you're like a bloodhound. Yeah. There she is. Don't move, we'll come, come down. I don't think so, but you're sure in bad shape. Get her legs. Yeah, Dude, quick, move her, her spine know. around a lot. Slip. Dope. Laura! Rick! Bosley! Angels? Chief? McLeod? Ryan, where are you? <laughs> Daddy? Leviathan? Laverne? Where are they? Hello. Hello. Over there. <laughs> oh my god, what happened? I don't know. She's claiming she's, she's an nice Nin. Kind of tricky now. This place is going to be swarming with rangers soon. We better be on our way out of here. We shouldn't have stole that picnic we'll make for basket. We'll the old hideout in the canyon at Big Bend. Huzzah. Christ, that's miles away. Come on. Quick, let's fold her. Well, I'm so glad they turned her into a vegetable. Give me one of the blankets. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm not cold. It's for her. Oh. Here, this will warm her up. Ah, no thanks. I'm not thirsty. It's for, it's for her. her. For her. Oh, sorry, yes. She obviously doesn't need it. She's out cold. Yeah. We've got to get her to a hospital. Or a bar. Hold on, Rick. It's more than 50 miles. In this weather and these roads, you wouldn't get very far. We have to do something, Brian. We can't just leave her. It's my fault. I forced her to run oh, away. Oh, Sharon, it wasn't you, it was me. She'll be all right. It's her fault. Don't cry now. What can we do, Brian? Jam a sandwich you know, down her throat. Get to the refuge oh, yeah. Black Butte, where there's a telephone, and they can help us. Then let's get our things. Come on. Meanwhile, in another movie, oh, patience, <laughs> gentle viewer, this will all make sense in the end. <laughs> Not. I wonder when Flo and Alice are going to get here. Mel at home. Let me out! I said, let me out! I said, let me out! Ow, ow. Shaving a haircut? Two bits. Tommy. Just tending the incubus, mother. Why haven't you gone to bed yet? I did, Mom, but Kitty was meowing and I thought maybe he was hungry. Oh, he's already eaten at least three times today. Then he certainly shouldn't have any more. Okay, come on, into bed. One of these days we're going to have trouble with you, Sue. Mm -hmm. In you get. And remember, no wire hangers. Settle down. Now go to sleep, all right? Yes, Mom. Good night. Good night, Good Mother. Mom. Good night, John boy. Good night, Hardcastle. Good night, McCormick. Good night, Chief. Good night, McLeod. <laughs> you all just wait and see. You're gonna have a new friend soon. <laughs> well, that, that's really great, little kid. <laughs> oh. Sad. Spends a lot of time alone. Mm. Oh, he's trying to hatch the egg. What is he, Horton? <laughs> Okay, so is this movie A? Beats me. Oh, no, let's see. The hunters are in movie A. The kid was in movie B. Uh, this is the cow sales part. This is movie C. C. Uh, I shouldn't have had so much coffee. I'll be right back. Ooh, enter the fog machine. Come on, honey. You're gonna love it here. Hello? Anybody home? What do you want at this time of night? We need help. Well, go and find it somewhere else. No, wait a minute. Please. Please, we need help. What's going on, Bill? Just a troublemaker. Nah, Jehovah Witnesses. Help. Open the door, Bill. 
Go on. Open the door. <coughs> Please, ma'am, can we use your phone? There's been an accident. She soiled what herself. Thing? What kind oh, of girl? Please. She fell. Bring me. Accident. Follow me. Come on, come This phone isn't working. Give me that. I'll show you how to use a prop phone. All right. Yeah, fine. Yeah, just a few more rooms and you'll be there. Keep going. Oh, nice. The line's dead. There's been a rock fall. The road's blocked. The phone lines are probably down, too. There's no way out of this film. Nobody knows how you got this far. Did you get through to the hospital? No, it's a prop phone. No way. The phone's screwed up. That's all we need. Oh, man, if it's not, not one thing, it's another. Sure, there must be some way of getting help. Hey, life stinks, man. Deal right now, there ain't. You sure? Of course I am. Come on, I'll make you some coffee. Don't worry. She'll be all right. Mm-hmm. With a good night's rest, she'll be as right as rain. Yeah, that's what cures a crushed spine. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. The phone's not working. The road back to town is blocked. Looks like there's no way out of here. Life but Laura needs help. There must be some way. Doesn't look like it. Not in this bloody wilderness. You and your out of the way places. Don't. Come on now, Rick. You wow. can't blame Brian. A rock that. group staying at my house? Too much. I know. I'm not blaming you. It'll all be all right. I know where we can get help. Please, Mrs. Uh... Stevens. Thank you. Molly Stevens. Tell us, Mrs. Stevens. Molly Just Stevens. Just a few miles from here, there's a forest ranger's cabin. They've got a radio. Then what are we waiting for? Not now. You'll have to wait for daylight. At night, you wouldn't make it. Anyway, since it's springtime, the rangers will be out searching for poachers. Good. I'm right, Bill, aren't I? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll give you that one. Bill knows where the patrols get to. He'll take you there tomorrow. Now, you must get some rest. It's no good worrying. Here's We've right. got plenty of space here. So as soon as you finish your coffee, I'll show you the room. You're being very kind. Egg? Say, Egg, there's a lot of people here. And you're... Huh? Yeah. Ooh. We gotta go. Ooh. Ugh. Creamy living chocolate center. Yuck.
Oh, hi, Crow. Oh, hi. What you doing? Oh, we were just inspired by the cool new age music of this movie, so we decided to uh, use the wall of keyboards to make our own great new new age music. You want to help? Sure. Uh, what can I do? Well, I could teach you how to play the keyboards. Will it take long? No, of course not. Come on over here. Here, check this out. Okay, put your hand. Come on, put your hand over here. Okay. Put your finger down. See? Like that. Yeah. Oh. See? Yeah. Cool. You got. A, you're playing a new age chord now. Okay. Hey. Just like Yanni. All right, now put another finger down. There. Okay. See? Now you're playing a Yanni lick. Now hold it down for an hour. Yeah. Now hold it down till you get a record contract from Wyndham Hill. Oh, hey, See? cool. Servo, check it out. It's my new New Age Yanni lick. Uh, Joel, hold down my new New okay. Age Yanni lick. I got to put my sandwich okay, down. Okay, got it. This music's kind of dull, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a good way to make a lot of money without a big initial investment. <clears throat> And now, music from some guys in space. Tonight on Music from Some Guys in Space, more fine, new, new age music and sounds from super progressive Bay Area new age keyboardist, Joel Robinson. Joel will be accompanied on the wall of keyboards by veteran minimalist, Crow T. Robots. We invite you to sit back and enjoy more repetitive new age music as we cruise the spaceways. Come along, fellow travelers, and enjoy music from some guys in space. Hey, we got movie sign, you guys. It's movie sign next time on Emergency 911. Tom, a duck you're with an arrow through its neck. Mode. Come on, oh, man, oh, snap oh, out of oh, it. Oh, Crow, wake, wake up, up movie sign. Right. Right. We got movie sign. Can I get a hold of that? Sam, I swear I'll kill him. Standing us up here like this. That's not so bad. There's a connection I know who will give us at least uh, you wait, Crow? 3 dollars yeah. for this lot. Yeah. And how are we supposed to get back to town, huh? On foot? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Um, yep. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Why don't we take the kids camper? Are you crazy? Uh, can I think about it? Haven't you screwed things up enough already, huh? Well, he did write the script. Huzzah! What was that noise? Maybe it's the Rangers. Hey, boo-boo. Mm. What on earth is that? Looks like a cross between a pig and a bear. A pear? My God, it's ugly. Hey, you're no prize yourself, Dan Fogelberg. <laughs> be careful. It could be dangerous. Well, it may be ugly, but it appears harmless enough. Hey, it's Mr. Snuffleupagus. Cute. Curious a strange that. bird. A queer Think kind it of could dog. be worth something? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Keep him busy. Keep him busy. Hey, yeah. Uh, enjoying yourself? Take a little night stroll? Mm -hmm. Trouble is, the weather's a little bit rough for that, isn't it? Stop the inane conversation. Go on talking. You live around here much? Eh, <laughs> uh, you must be hungry, huh? Have some. It's one of you, Come only close. gamier. Mm. You won't hurt you. So, Don't you be like, afraid. You like Chinese food? Well, help yourself. Huh? Mongolian barbecue? Uh, uh, oh! Uh, man, come on, give me a hand! Get the drawn butter! He's strong. I, I can't hold. I can't hold him. Elf. No, no, Elf. Ooh. Big mistake. Uh, mm. Hey, that long nose must be handy in hard to reach areas. <laughs> Just pat out the scene here a little bit. <laughs> hey, what gives? I'm on the milk carton. Hmm? You're hungry again, aren't you? There's no need to worry, Trumpy. You like that name, don't you, Trumpy? I prefer I'm Milky your Bear. And I won't let anyone hurt you. Mm. I named you after Trumpy. Donald Trump. Hello. Oh, oh. Hey, look. Look what I got for you. Mucus. Oh, boy. 
You sure are greedy, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Wow, if you keep drinking milk like that, you're gonna grow really big and strong. Then we can play together. You know what playing is, Trumpy? Yes, it's where I break you in half. No? I'll teach you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have such fun. Oh, meanwhile, huh? in movie C... Uh, I think this is movie D. Oh. D for dumb. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh great. boy, how you've grown. Yeah, during the cutaway, anything's mm -hmm. possible. Keep growing like that and you won't fit any clothes. Then what are we going to do? Tommy! Mm -hmm. Come on down and eat your breakfast. You've got to hide. Uh. Do you understand? You've got to hide. Tommy, did you hear me? Can you feel me near you? Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, I dreamt I was a crappy actress in a horrible monster film. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, no. She really does have combination skin. Mm. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 bad. Big, bad. Uh, big, bad thing. Help, everyone. Big, bad. Rick. Hurry. What's big wrong? sale on no. flannel. Everyone, come flannel? on. Flannel? Did she say flannel? Here, drink this coffee, kid. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's stealing all the Nerf toast. Uh, uh, hello, uh, remember us, the audience? Uh, could we see, please? I think her perm didn't take. Ooh. Oh. Well, come on, your breakfast is getting cold and she's not getting any warmer. That means more oatmeal for everyone. All right. What happened, Mommy? It's nothing to do with you, dear. Go play with your tripping helpies, darling. I don't want darling. you coming in here, understand? Have you finished your breakfast? Mm-hmm. Then you know what you have to do now. Run along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious kitty. Oh. Ouch. Oh, kitty is like a potato. Oh. Oh. So nice. Hmm. Oh, where do I start? It all looks so good. Little winged potatoes. Oh, ouch, that's my snout. Ow, oh, let go. Hmm. This potato's got big ears. Yes. It's a whole buffet. Uh, new potatoes. Mmm. Uh -huh. Whoa. Ah. Whoa! It's a rogue robot. He's got the mange. He's gone rogue. We're gonna have to kill him. Speak to me, boy. Uh oh. I never seen one do that before. Mm -hmm. Whoa, ooh, never seen one do that before. Oh, that's no good. Uh uh. <laughs> He's going to have to house train him. I, he, he can't just keep hauling that stuff I told out. I you to stay ooh. out of sight. Nobody must see you. He doesn't speak your language, dickweed. If you want to stay with me, you've got to do what I tell you. I hmm? don't think so. You don't want them to separate us, do you? Carbon scoring all over my droid. I've brought you something special to eat. Hmm. Are you hungry now, Trumpy? Yes. Ooh, won't peanuts there get caught in a snout? Oh, little potatoes. Mmm. <sighs> Ew. Now you Thum. try. Thum. Do you want some more? Oh, wait, let me get the attachments. Yeah. You can do the couch. You know, sooner or later, Mommy's going to notice all this food disappearing. Then you'll have to kill her. <laughs> These we'll put away for later. No, more. 
Now we can play. Like hell, more food. You know how to play, Trumpy? What do you know? Food, eating, the theater. Nothing? Boy, I sure hope right, Trumpy doesn't I'll sneeze. He'll pistol whip easy. that kid with peanuts. Wow. Ooh. Never thought about I'll that. I'll show you how to do a jigsaw, okay? Oh, that's exciting. Here, come on. Pente, the ancient game of stones. Hmm? You no, see, no, no. the pieces Start go the together. Pieces. Oh, if only this film were so lucky. Hmm. You understand? It's easy. Why are you looking at me like that, Trumpy? Well, Trumpy, do you get it? No. Mm -mm. No. Hmm? Well, let's try another game. This is Crow T. Robot, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Insert funny joke here. Cheating. You must teach me one day. All right. Now then, look at me. Can I eat it? Pay attention. It looks so good. And repeat what I do. Like a potato? Ah, uh, no. Wait, wait. Let me try again. Are you watching? I am. No, no, that's not. There. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Oh, he stinks. Not very good, is he? Uh -uh. Yeah, that's great. Give me that. Huh? Huh? Oh, it's Cookie! Trumpy, you can do stupid things! Isn't this Gary Newman and the Two Boy Army? Yep. In cars! <laughs> In cars! In cars! In trucks! <laughs> Hmm. I got a kooky idea for a new song. Ooh. And now what are we going to do? Find the rangers and tell them what's happened here. It's a bit late. It's more important now than ever before. You saw them. Those marks on her face. It's oh. horrible. It's oh, just go out and get yourself a new pair of disco yeah, camping boots Bill, there, dear. Warm up the Jeep. Molly, the road is in a terrible condition. Come on, Bill. If anyone can get through, you can. We've got to try. Listen, I'll come with you. I'll just get no. up. I'll go. You stay with Sharon. Why don't we all go in the camper? It's oh, just go! Somebody! Well, what about the phone, then? The lines are still down. I just tried it. 
Well, that's it. What are we gonna do? Find the rangers? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remind me to use you later. Hope she doesn't miss her Josie and the Pussycats audition. You know, I never liked him. Aloha. Wait a second. Okay, you've drawn Siegfried. Now, where's Roy? That's my mommy. Uh, uh. Do you have a mommy? He was born of an omelet. Of course you not. No. Does she look like this? Ooh, no, no. Or like this? Any distinguishing marks or scars? Where is she then? Where did he learn English? Oh, she's in a tree. Uh, I can tell by the expression on your face that you loved her so, Trumpy. What, she's from Rand McNally? On a star? Can she carry moonbeams oh, home in a jar? Wow. With this, you can see the stars. You want to look? This Gee, kid I'm sounds like you. Georgette. Yeah. Huh? Kitty! Oh, they got Wild Kingdom on the telescope. Cool. And drums, too. You can do magic things. It's called Evil Kid. Hey, he's got his high beams on. Hmm? He's got Betty Davis eyes. <laughs> Orphan Annie eyes. Oh, Woo! great. Now we're in Gumby. <laughs> I'm going to go walk through a book. Ooh, it's super califragilistic. Expialidocious. Ooh. I love this. It's so spontaneous. <laughs> Oh, wow, and we're in Pee Wee's Playhouse now. Oh, yeah. It's a Peter Gabriel video. Yeah, somebody hit that kid in the head with a sledgehammer. <laughs> That's a little thing. Wow. Oh, oh this what? alien makes student films, huh? Yeah. Oh. What, did he come from Planet Goofball? Did he come here in a little clown car? <laughs> Criminy. Great, now he can remake Rudolph's Shiny New Year. <laughs> Poor rabbit. For us. Where are you? Get me, I'm Lionel Richie. That's not right. Trumpy. Huh? Hey, come back down. Huh? It really looked like a ceiling, didn't it? <laughs> oh, fun. Tommy, what are you doing? It's what just my Spike noise? Jones album, Mom. Tommy, now you quit warping time and space this instant. Tommy? Did you hear me, Tommy? Come on, quickly. Hide in there. Are you okay? Yes, Mom. Hmm? What's going on uh, here? A little Joe got out. What? And my hamster Joe escaped. Well, That's try all. and be a little more careful. Yeah, I told you a thousand times. I don't want you turning this house into a zoo. And stop fidgeting around like that. Mm. Yes, Mom. All right, now come downstairs with me and behave yourself. I've got enough problems. Make that three hard-boiled eggs. I gotta get a series. Now, do you think those are blue contacts, or are his eyes naturally that color? Oh, you mean like Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> get my head caught in the snout there. Now, to find a herd of cattle to drain dry. Meanwhile, in a winter movie somewhere, Gosh, that last scene was goofy. I'm glad we weren't in it. Yeah, sometimes there is. I thought hunting wasn't allowed around here. Right. Nah. Why are you carrying this rifle then? For you. Well, if that <laughs> friend of yours, Laura, had carried one, you'd still be alive. Hurts. Ooh. Hey, it's a matching shirt and sofa set. Hi, gang. Mmm, not bad. Oh, the new Vogue is here. Molly, is the television working? I think so, yes. Well, at least we won't miss Dallas this week. 
Oh, See, great, your friend just died and, and you're gonna watch now. Dallas? Shh. Tracy, how can you kid around like this, things being the way they are? Thank you. Because if I didn't, I'd be in hysterics. It doesn't work. I'm in hysterics! That's strange. It was working yesterday. Mm -hmm. I rerouted the power into Trumpy. The radio Trumpy. makes a funny noise, too. Oh, that's called music. Can I go back to my room, Mommy? Yes, you can. For the rest of your life. How is Sharon? Mm. She's gone to bed. She was shattered. This what town's in tatters. It's a great Sharon place. Bay. So peaceful. So quiet. Ah. Ah. Trumpy. <laughs> Face it, kid. Trumpy never loved you. Boo! Gotcha! <laughs> Trumpy, where are you? Were ties ever that wide? All right. Sad night. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Trumpy? He tried to eat me. He's evil. Forget you. Boo! <laughs> I'm Emily, and you're watching MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. And just a reminder, if you haven't started to defrost your turkey, it's way too late now. Hi, I'm Tom Servo from the Satellite of Love, and I'm here on behalf of Alterniversal Productions. We are the company that writes and produces and performs MST3K in all its many iterations, from the TV series to our live shows to our own comic book series from Dark Horse Comics. And this year, like every year, we've teamed up with Shout Factory to bring you Turkey Day 2020. In fact, Alterniversal has written and produced each Turkey Day marathon over the last seven years since they were brought back in 2013 with Joel Hodgson hosting. We've loved being a part of your Thanksgiving celebration over the years, and I've always felt that watching cheesy movies with your family is far more edifying than watching the Detroit Lions play football. I'm Tom Servo for Alterniversal, and happy Turkey Day! Alterniversal, yeah! Alterniversal. GPC here, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon, helping you socially distance from your family since 1991. Ujo? Evil One. Supreme Being. Alf. Chief. McLeod. Trumpy. Come on. Where are you? He seeks him here. He seeks him there. He seeks that rascule everywhere. Oh, don't worry about him. He's moody and introspective. He's in a corner reading Swimming to Cambodia. Hmm. This is like the house of a million foyers. Dun, dun, Dad? Dun, Dad? Dun. Don't go into the dining room. Here's Tommy. Sounds like music from the High Plains Drifter, doesn't it? Yeah. A Sergio Leone feel to it. Mm -hmm. Bad choice. Oh, well, those are ready to pop, I would mm -hmm. say. Oh, thank goodness it's summer again. <laughs> We've been driving for months. Doesn't look like anybody's in. But how can you tell from here? Oh, why don't you just go up to the door? Sure. You drove two seasons to get here. Crying out loud. Boy, he's really burning oil. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let this do the talking. <laughs> Charlie! Jack! Is anyone there? He knows him and he's bringing a gun? Oh, it's a little practical joke. He kicks open the door and plugs him with 30 rounds. Get him an inside family thing, mm. you know. Housewarming gift. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's icon. Don't Shh. Do 
Hey, Bill, are those hanger slacks you're wearing? Farah, Dad and Lad, the guys? <laughs> Watch this, little joke. Hi, we're the cast from Straw Dogs. <laughs> Watchtower? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> that thing in the magazine. What the hell happened here? Hmm? Mm. The radio's not working. Oh, nuts. I wanted to hear Shadow Charlie? Stevens. Jack! Biff! Is there anyone here? Anybody? You think they're in the other room? They're all shouting, I sure hope not. <laughs> Horse poster compliments Dynamite magazine for teens. Turkey legs in the. Uh. He's dead, I think. His last words were huzzah. What's that? The same mark that, that Laura had. Is he one of the Rangers? No, but we could dress him like a Ranger. Oh, he's a poacher, the name of Matt Collins. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't know. Uh. Look out! Jeez! Uh, Elf's back, and this time it's personal. <laughs> Ooh, Reagan's next. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Pepperidge Farm remembers. The heck with that. I'm getting out of here. Crackers are no. That is the frumpiest monster I've ever seen. Yeah. Hey, wait, you got coupons coming. No hitchhikers, it's company policy. Well, enough of that exciting stuff. Meanwhile, and still yet another movie. Uh. <laughs> what the? You're a good cook, Tracy. It's unusual with girls today. Well, my mother taught me. She always said that men like you for your meat huh? and after oh. your dessert. You know how it is. If you haven't got a pretty face to begin with, there's nothing you can do. Well, I think Believe your mother me, had a filthy everything. mouth. Mm -hmm. Including the seven-day beauty plan. Didn't work. Come on, it's not that bad. You got a lot of good points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know the ones men like. These and this. But you're very intelligent. Yeah, I don't know what frightens the guys more, my face or my intelligence. Yeah, E equals MC squared. Hey, I'm getting a bit worried about Brian and Bill. They've been gone now for hours. Oh, maybe they got held up. Oh, couldn't find the rangers. Oh, yeah, these rangers. Down, they... girl. He'll oh, take Tracy. it easy. All right, oh. Molly, I know. Just in case, however, I'm going to get my makeup from the camper. Mm. I forgot it last night. a cold shower. Now, what's going on, Tommy? You've been running in and out all day. What are you looking for? Nothing. Just getting some water for Joe. Oh? Joe? Are you hiding a man somewhere in this house? Joe is Tommy's hamster, Tracy. Oh, oh geez, Tracy, stay away from the kids' animals. Oh, don't put any time to armor all my pants. Oh, this is great. He's going to do that uh, Bob Newhart routine. Oh, I love that. Uh, Abner? Yeah, hello. Still isn't working. Where the hell have Brian and that old geezer got to? It's been seven hours since they left. They didn't have that far to go. Maybe something happened to them. Wouldn't surprise me. Bill's as thick as two planks. Is he green oh, Sharon and Kathy. <laughs> they took sleeping pills and went to bed. They were absolutely scared out of their wits. Maybe you should do the same. Maybe you should do the same. Yeah. Trumpy, I brought you a cup of treacle. Trumpy. Oh. Where are you hiding? Hey, she's got her L.L. Bean disco survival boots on. Survive in style. Trumpy, bring me the girl I desire to be read to. Neil Pert on drums. Hey, it's Craig Wasson all of a sudden. Now Trumpy and I will do my version of Rear Window. I think she found Trumpy. Wah, wah, wah. 
Hey, this is not healthy for a little boy. I can't watch. Trumpy? No, I told you no! Trumpy. When good pets do bad things on Current Affair. That was neat. Trumpy, we hardly knew ye. <coughs> Put out the van. Oh, so people are being methodically killed by the banana splits. There goes Drooper. Fleekle. Snork. God. Well, she's dead. Yes, she is. Hmm. What the hell is going on? Damned animal. What animal? The damned Who's one. <laughs> dead. Dead where? Back at the hut. Oh, take the Beretta hat off, old man. <laughs> Faster, Trumpy. Kill, kill. <laughs> what the hell? What's happening? Answer me, you goat. What is this? Man, what have you know. done, you old bastard? Stop it! Have you both gone crazy? I want to know who it was killed Brian and Tracy and why. I told you. We have to go. Oh. It was that weird animal. And if we stay here, oh, it'll tell go. us all. Come what on. sort of fairy tale is this? Oh, listen, Rick. We'll sort this out later. Now help Bill carry Tracy inside. Bill. You are magic, aren't you, Trumpy? <laughs> Trumpy, you come down! <laughs> Put the babies down for a nap and wake Uncle Steve up from his because you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Seriously, Uncle Steve, you're drooling on the good couch.
really don't know what kind of animal it was. All I know is I was very lucky. Whatever it is, it's yes, already I'm killed four people, thing. and maybe more. Uh -huh. Where are you going, Rick? To wake up the girls. What? So we can get out of here. I ain't hanging about to find out who's next for the chop. We can't leave now. No, why not? I made quiche. It's getting dark. Because the road's blocked, because that thing, that murderous animal, is maybe waiting for us. Yeah, but give me a good reason. He's right, you know. We'd better wait till morning. Listen, I'm sick and tired of hearing the same old story. I'm sick and tired of, of being sick down. and tired. How can you say that, Rick? Well, I'm getting out of here, and if I were you, I'd take the kid and leave. Kid? What kid? Oh, my God! Don't you start do with me, want, Martha. Rick. If you've got a bit of sense, then you'll stay. He's right, Rick. He knows the forest. I better make sure that all the doors and windows are bolted. Now for some peach cobbler. Oh, George, get me a drink. Who? Who, Radley? Dark one? Trumpy, Beelzebub? Where are you? Chief? McLeod? Trumpage, Trumpazoid, the Trump Trumpy, monster. Trumperino. Stretching a premise. Yeah. He uh, knocked his block off, but you can press it back down again with the Rock'em Sock'em Robots by Marks. So, what can I get you? Uzo, Vodka, Sambuco, Pernod, Frangelica, Blue Curacao, Glenmorangie, B&B, &B, Hennessy, Tanqueray, 100-year-old Brandy. I've hmm. never needed a gun to defend myself. <laughs> right. You'd probably pay others to defend you. Oh, I use a woman as a shield. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Bearing a shot, like you said. All right, all right, I'll get the smoky 12-year-old scotch, okay. <laughs> what he, are you doing? He, he shot my Jim Bean pheasant He's decanter. He's gone crazy. Look, what is it with you two? Haven't we got enough trouble? I don't like anyone bugging me. It's Tommy. I'll get him. Tommy, throw open the door and say pull. <laughs> Where did you spring from? From Didn't your loins, you Mommy. In your room? I went to fetch some plants for all Plants the... for all your animals, I suppose, right? That's plants it. Out they're going to go in the morning. Now get to your room and don't move till I tell you to. Hmm. Wake up, Kathy. Oh, what's going on? I, I, I don't know. I heard a shot. You. A shot? You must have been dreaming. Wake up. What time is it? Oh, you know, I'm starting not to believe this movie. I believed it when Alf went on the killing spree, but now I don't know. I don't know. I just heard voices from downstairs. Wow, those pills sure are strong. I'm going to take a shower and try to wake myself up. That's a good idea, but don't take too long. Oh. Honey, I'm ho Oh, I'm a little kid. Nosy? Chirpy? Rat boy, Sandra Locke. Chief McLeod. Now for my wonderful experiment of joining a duck's body to a rabbit's head. There. I'm all alone in the world. Hey, the evil one's back. Hey. hey, it's like that scene in Mac and Me when Mac came back to life. No. Stay there. Huh? Why did you kill that girl? Why did you do that? Now I can't be your friend anymore. Bad hobby. Did it for the kicks. You're naughty, Trumpy. Very naughty. Where have you been, young man? Now this is not a hotel. Me. You wouldn't kill me, would you? <laughs> Trumpy. Was it you? I like you, Tommy. I'll kill you last. Are you saying there's another one? Uh, Listen, Trumpy. Uncle Bill wants to kill you. My advice, See, he don't let him. One. Looks real bad for you, man. What can we do? Well, you could put on a play in the backyard. Trumpy could play Cyrano. <laughs> you can't stay here anymore. And I don't want you to go. Listen, we'll go together and hide in the woods. No, wait here. I'll find you a disguise. What do you think he's going to dress him up as, Drew Barrymore? Henry Thomas, he's not. No. Mm -mm. Well, suddenly I feel like someone should be reading a Robert Frost poem. Something there is that doesn't love a crummy monster film. That's 
from vending monster form. Mint julep? Uh, uh, no thanks, I've had 12. Sure hope the liquor holds out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm in the shower, nothing will happen to me. Norman, Norman, <laughs> important phone call. I wonder if Bobby likes me, I like him. Check it out, product placement right Whoa. there. Yep. <laughs> Die Hard 2, this is not. Hmm. Coke, Sprite, Pepto Bismol, your United Airlines, Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> there, now you look like Admiral Perry playing the Elephant Man. Hold on a minute. I'll go and investigate. Trumpy felt scarred by his ugly hillbilly. Nose. Looks like a baseball bat from Alaska. Oh, Velvet Hammer, Harvey Wallbanger, Pink Squirrel, <laughs> Little Hair of the Alien that bit you. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm naked and all alone in the shower. I'm totally vulnerable and somebody could kill me. Do, 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 do. Probably likely at this point of the time. Mm. My brain fell out. Do, do, do. Say, I look just like fog. Protein rinse, and you have dandruff. What? 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 Wait, wait, I made you a special drink. Don't forget the coaster. Zestfully dead. <laughs> oh. Quickly, get her under the bed. Uh, you know, this might sound crass, but uh, we're getting really good at this. Hey, they're going to have to build an addition just to stack the bodies. Uh, how big is a cord of bodies? What was that thing? Depends on you stack them. So. Some kind of weird animal. What we have are Brian I done? and Tracy. What have I done? Oh, my goodness. Killing people. <laughs> Tommy! Can you hear me? Can Tommy. you feel me near you? You can't leave now. Something's happened downstairs. You've got to hide. Call You're my people. alibi, Get kid. Him. They'll kill you. They'll kill you dead. This thing smells musty. Tommy! What is it, Mom? Are you all right, son? Mm -hmm. Well, relatively speaking, yes. Depends on what the norm is. Sure, we ought to go after it now, Bill. Now's the time to finish the damn thing off. Once and for all. It's wounded and we can follow its trail. Don't go. Isn't Rick. it better to wait till I morning? tell you, Molly, now is the time to finish it off. But Bill, why don't you leave it for the Rangers? Isn't it that Molly, we can't just sit here waiting for it to come back and kill us all. Yeah, we gotta we got plenty of booze. Let's go ahead. And we gotta do it now. It's not a monster. It wants to be our friend. How can you say that after all that's happened? Because it's true. They all want to be our friends, but we won't let them. That's oh, that's Bobby. silly. You're Finish your tequila. Oh, we'll be careful. Don't go. There's been enough killing. Stop the madness. Last call, everybody. Come Finish him up. Uh, we'll take a bottle. Got a hip flask in the car. Hey, he's mixing his leathers now. Ooh. Wonder what they wanted. Hmm. Sharon! Huh? Tommy! Both of you! Quickly! Come over here! Get away from me! <laughs> God. No, Mommy, don't shoot him. Tommy! Trumpy is good. It wasn't him. What he's done is good. Tommy, get away from it. No, Mommy, don't shoot. Don't make your Please. mother kill him. Tommy, it's going to kill you. I know what you're That's thinking, Tommy. Tommy. Did Mom fire Tommy. six shots or only five? Tommy! 
John Bonham, Moby Dick. Tommy! Tommy, come back! Hey friends, Jonah Heston here. You're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon, the only marathon that won't give you blisters, unless you're watching it really, really wrong. John Bonham, Moby Dick. Tommy! Shane! Tommy, come back! Come back, Shane! Come back! Tommy! Run, Rusty, run. Run, Eliza, run. You know that Trumpy is one ugly... Shut, Shut your, your mouth. mouth. Hey, I'm only talking about Trumpy. Can you dig it? You must have crossed over to the other side. Let's go. Break on through to the other side, man. <laughs> Buddy Rich on drums. Backed up by Phil Courtney. Tommy! Tommy! Where are you? Fortunately, Molly was a lerp in Nam and knows how to track a boy with a snout nosed pal. Walk downstream in the water. The clever. We'll never find him now. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. I'm wearing a big stuffed suit. Not a trace. Hmm? We'll have to wait till daylight. Daylight looks like daylight night anyhow. What's Let's it now? Day for night, I think. Oh. Come on. Thank you, Truffaut. Well, let's go home. Our job is done here. Blender in the grass. Grazing in the grass is a gas. Can you dig it? High weed serpent. Shh. 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 Would you wait? You mustn't find us. <coughs> Vapor rack. Don't be. gonna need that gas mask. <coughs> mm. Oh, Trumpy, gross. He stepped in some Trumpy Dumpy. <laughs> oh, guys, <laughs> come on. Oh. Oh. Whoops. 
<laughs> I'm gonna batter fry you, kid. Come on, over the plate, man. Mommy. Come on, rocket it in, man. Over the plate. Come on. Mommy. Kid, you were set Mommy. up. Sounded like Tommy. Sure. No, it wasn't. It was mommy. It was an M sound. Mmm, like Manhattan mimosa. Tommy! Tommy, oh. where are you? This is like more intense than when Bobby Brady got lost in the Grand Canyon. Oh, no, wasn't that in Hawaii? No, that was where Peter found that Buddha thing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that was cool. Don't hurt me. I'm not like the others anymore. Ouch. Stay away from that. It still hurts. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'd just like to help you. I conspire against my own. No. I'll blast one who take the other. No, please don't hurt them. Get out of the way, Tommy. Get out of the way. No, don't hurt them, please. Move it, kid. I'll have a banana daiquiri, no, please. No, no, no. Go, Bill. Oh, oh. Island ice tea. Looks like he came from the Dumbo planet. Time to take the mask off and see who it is. Do you folks at home know? Tommy! Oh, my ankle, it's all bendy wendy. We may find him dead, but we will find him. Well, I hope he left the keys to the liquor cabinet. Poor sap. Oh, self berry monster. Explain that. Soft beach. And he died as he lived with his mouth oh wide open. Where's Tommy? Go it that way. Wait, Molly. Come on. Trumpy, I'm sorry. Tommy! Tommy, answer me, please! State it in the form of a question. Come to the mirror, Where boy. Mm -hmm. It's just no good. No, Trumpy, they'll never let us stay together. You frighten them, you understand? For obvious reasons. I'll never forget you, Trumpy. The way you callously knocked off 15 people. I'll never forget that. Don't ever change, Trumpy. Aww. A tender moment. Now, please go and don't come back. Do you understand? Don't ever come back. Tommy! Where are you? Go away, Trumpy. I hate you. Oh, go boy, away. that kid's really having mood swings. Oof, that's more. not good. Go away. All right, Trumpy. I'll go then. I'm over here, Mommy. Talking to Billy Barty. Mommy, I'm here! <laughs> Molly, he's here! No, he's over there. Tommy! Mom! Sorry, boy, your uncle's dead. But if there's a god and he tends by, your uncle's bellying up right about now. Yes, Tommy, all the monsters are dead, isn't that right? It's been seven... Oh. Hey, don't leave me here. I was raised by a child. I can't survive in the wilderness. I'll just wait here then. So. Hmm. <laughs> I've laughed with monsters. I've cried with monsters, I'll die with monsters from hell. I'm getting out of here, this place sucks. <laughs> Going back to my planet. Hmm. Marine? <laughs> Send in the Marines. <laughs> hey. Oh, isn't that Martin Sheen's son? Yeah. Hey, who isn't? Mm -hmm. Yeah, got a point there. Ooh, oh, that's a good Italian lunch wine. Very mm. light, smooth palate, a nice woody finish. 
Hey, Martin and Lewis were in this movie. Oh, oh come on, Jerry. We got the rest of the wow, credits to get through. Dean. I quit horsing around, boy. Ah, the fresh smell of Emmanuel Pine. <sighs> Long needle. I say both of those guys were in the Knights of Columbus. Uh, I think the two guys are the rotten union of murders. Well. Huh. Oh. I thought I smelled basil. Basil? Yes, dear, I'm doing it, dear. How can I do it if you keep calling me? You great cow. Come on, Good let's John, go. Please, bro. No, thank you. Chase me. It's okay. <laughs> Guys, looks like it's time to pack it all in again. Yeah, we are the stuff dreams are made of. Oh, that's beautiful, Crow. Shakespeare? Uh, no, Burma Shave. Oh, well, I can... <laughs> huh? You know, guys, it always hurts to close it all up. Yeah. Strike the set. Ow. Wipe off the grease paint. Yeah. Uh, napkin up the blood and entrails Ouch. and move yeah. on to another town. Uh-oh. I smell a song. Tell me where does all the magic go When the curtain falls to end the show Do the clowns always cry When they pack up the paper sky When the champagne is being poured And the lock is on the old stage door will there still be a clown in the sky for me <laughs> oh, no. don't worry buddy there'll be other experiments you really think so mister yeah, take a verse it'll cheer you out okay when the harlequin is on the pad and the whiskey haze surrounds his head. William Holden's coming over, Tom and he's got to flip the tooth If tooth you don't cloud. stop doing your Anthony Newley, I'm going to throw you against the wall. He'll do it, too. Will there still be a clown in the sky? Help us out, Crow. Will still be a clown in the, the sky. sky. Take it home, Joel. Tell me where is that clown in the sky? I love you, Tom Servo. I love you, Joel. I love you, Crow. <laughs> You're not my real father. What do you think, sirs? It stinks. <laughs> Stinks. Hey there, babies in Buffalo. Tom Servo here with another fan submitted Turkey Day memory. Paul writes The first Turkey Day, 1991, was also the first time my ex and I ever hosted a big Thanksgiving meal because of said Turkey Day. We stuffed seven people into our miniature apartment and spent the entire day cooking, drinking, watching episodes, eating, drinking, napping, and watching episodes. The greatest memories of Turkey Day are the host segments that are still so brilliant and seeing Catalina Caper for the first time, although it was late, if you get my meaning, with all the drinking and the all-day drinking. 
Luckily, I got to relive the creepy girl experience again. It's still one of my favorites. Ooh, you never forget your first creepy girl experience. I know I can't. And I've tried. Oh, tired. I'm out of breath from all that working out. Whew. Yeah, so's my voice. I need my... <laughs> Our insidious turkey day plan is coming to fruition, my clone mother sister lady. Emily's EKG levels were off the chart during that last experiment. Yeah, well, don't work yourself too hard, Mega Cynthia. It's a holiday. You know, try to enjoy it. Me, I've got my man piece in the kitchen doing all the cooking while I sit back with a glass of wine, watch a little drag race. You gotta get your life. I, I don't understand. You mean you don't take joy in the suffering of others? Well, I mean, it's a good job if you can get it, but you don't have to take everything so seriously all the time. I mean, trust me, clone to clone, I know what it's like. You know... I really appreciate hearing that. I do a lot of hard work around here and sometimes it just feels like it's never enough. Girl, you are preaching to the choir. A clone's work is never done, you know, but you're allowed to take time for you. But what do I do with that time? Oh, oh, you could do so much. Uh, you could rewatch an old TV series. You could color in a grown clone coloring book or you can drink an entire bubble bath. I mean, just just let go. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll give it a try. Yeah, I mean, what's something that always helps you unwind? Um, bringing pain upon the weak and fractured. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Thanks, regular Cynthia, for giving me the chance to be me, despite being a clone of a clone. Well, any time, sister, daughter, what, what exactly is our relation to each other? I, I try not to think about it, but yeah. since I'm in a good mood, I think I'll treat everyone to a little surprise. None of you voted for this, and frankly, I don't care. <laughs> Make some room on your plate for the trailer park pain that is Netflix experiment 1112 Carnival Magic. <laughs> Ooh, oof, I'd hate to see what you do in a bad mood. You have no idea. We got turkey side! <laughs> Thank you.
This is why everything you thought was true is, in fact, untrue. And everything you thought wasn't true, totally true. That's what I call Tom Servo's five principles of counterintuitivity. Oh, hey, welcome to the Satellite Love. We're in the middle of Servo's Tom Talk. It's like TED Talk, except it's mostly vague gibberish that doesn't actually mean anything when you think about it later. So, uh, TED Talk then. Whoa. That's... Oh, no! Continue. Oh, yes, so, the truth. It's out there. Hmm. But is it in a file marked X? Yes. Well, hold on. You can't, you, these aren't interactive, so you okay. just wait. You tell me what you think later in comments. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We need your help. Needs my help. It makes. That's the power of now. Still doing this? Oh, look, the outliers are calling. Oh, oh. Thank God. What? Jonah, bots, Max. There comes a time when a woman yearns for a partner, a life mate, a plot development powerful enough to draw attention from the mainstream media and set a million fan fiction shippers typing. K K Kinga, are, are you saying? That's right. King of Forrester, queen of all media, shall be married. I want to think the perfect choice was literally right in front of my eyes the whole time. He's reasonably funny, somewhat likable. I mean, sure, he's not particularly attractive, but... Well, that, that's a bit harsh. But he is at my total mercy, and that's what I need in a husband. Kinga, this... Kinga, this is my dream come true! Um, weird. You dream about me marrying Jonah? Jonah? Jonah. Jonah? Jonah. Jonah? Jonah! Kinga, I, I'm flattered and incredibly frightened of what you might do if I say no, but this is all so sudden. Jonah, I'm just a megalomaniacal girl, standing in front of a kidnapped boy, asking him to love her, or she will shut off his oxygen. But first, invention exchange. Let's say you want a pet, but the dumb human you live with keeps saying there isn't enough room. There's Introducing not. yeast a pet, part chia pet, part sea monkey, all baking fungus. Now you can have thousands of pets, and they don't take up too much room. Watch your yeast of pets grow and change. Whisper your secrets to them. I don't really know karate. Assign them traditional nuclear family roles. Then watch them asexually reproduce faster than you can comprehend. Look, you got them all. Here's Clint Eastwood, Captain Yeastheart, Judas Yeast, the Yeasty Boys, and Brett Fox, Shannon Doherty, and this one over here, this one's tiny. Ah, uh, but don't get too attached. You'll eventually just want to use them to make beer. What do you think, sirs? Oh, how sweet. You're assigning identities to microscopic life forms fated to be consumed. <laughs> I like that. It reminds me of us. But you know what I don't like? No, what's that, Max? The taste of my own sweat. Are you as tired as I am with the taste of your own sweat? Of course you are. Try our flavor sweat, the only sports beverage with a secret combination of electrolytes and plutonium waste that makes you sweat out a rainbow of flavors. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Mm. 
Mmm, my sweat tastes like pumpkin pie. Uh, yeah, mine's extra cheesy. Pizza? Pizza? Yeah, I thought it would taste better than that. Ugh. Well, your experiment today is a grimy little tale of a talking ape and the worst show on Earth. Shona, wouldn't you rather spurn Kinga and die a horrible death? <laughs> you wish. Enter the nightmare fuel world of carnival magic. Movie in the hole! Oh, saltines. And that's just how you taste naturally. Oh, oh we oh, got oh, movie oh, oh, Elvin Feltner presents bird sounds from cockatoo to cockatiel. They're all in one LP. Ooh, what's Don Stewart in? Yeah, clearly not those chairs. Hey, title, don't go away. We just got to know you. Carnival, like in Rio? Oh. Carnival Man. Or Carnival Magnum P.I. Off the O. Henry story. Oh, Carnival Magi. Uh, uh, Carnival Magic. I knew it the whole time, guys. Kittens, get your deep fried chocolate covered kittens. Uh, this is this guy is the lowest rent Bond villain I've ever seen. You know, I'll be honest, business just hasn't been the same since the rapture and everyone left behind is so sinful. I will love you and pet you and call you George. Ooh, a chimp. I've had lots of movies promise me chimps to not deliver. Yes, hello. Jeez. A lot of unattended kids at this carnival. This must be that Children of the Corn Festival. You must be this tall to ride, Outlander. A lot of girls in this movie, but only Missy O'Shea is in the car. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's showtime at the Stony Martin Ten of Miracles. See Kirk Wilder, billed as the most fearless wild animal trainer in all the world. And for Dad. And for the first time on our stage, see Markov the Magnificent. Incredible, impossible to believe, but true. Fire will become not fire. Just a very few minutes to see the man who has mastered the powers of the universe. So he can condescend to you. And the crowd goes mild. <laughs> right? Adorable, huh? Well, time to feed the snake. We're not going to charge you $10. We're not going to charge you 5 But for a single dollar bill, hurry, 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 it's on the inside. Behold the devastating effects of disco fever. Don't get too close. The dancing queen, she bites. In the future, you'll be able to ignore me by staring at your phone. <laughs> Bud, you got a customer? Sorry, Dad. I won't be taking advantage of your family night promotion. Ticket for one, please. <laughs> Poor guy's got nail pattern sadness. How you doing, Stoney? Yeah. Good luck with the Boss Hog audition. I think your dad still got it in for me. Would well, you blame him? We pay you to get crowds here. Hey, I'm a PR man, not a magician. You can always go back and get your old modeling job at Tommy Bahama. Ride the great sky wheel where you'll have a god's eye view from everything from the burnt out JC Penney's to Derek's mom's above ground pool. Come to the big, big show. Drop things in boxes. Kissing, touching. Greasy undershirts. Whoa, 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 whoa watch out, out. watch out. Ah, I think whoa, I shit my chip. Hey. Is it as good as Disney World? <laughs> Please tell dad we had fun. Al Adamson is the name Alan Smithy uses when he doesn't want his name in a film. So where do you think this movie is set? I don't know. In a submarine, Rome 420 AD? Oh, I'm going to be sick. I don't do well on these things. Oh, crow. Oh, oh crow. Okay. Oh, yeah. to clean that. Hello, I'm Emily, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Don't touch that dial. Kids, TVs used to have dials. And y you know what? Just, just look it up.
Hi, I'm Tom Servo from the Satellite of Love, and I'm here on behalf of Alterniversal Productions. We're the company that writes and produces and performs MST3K in all its many iterations. From the TV series, to our live shows, to our own comic book series from Dark Horse Comics, we were able to produce two new MST3K shorts, featuring the original cast performers Bill Corbett as Grote Robot, Joel Hodgson playing Joel Robinson, and J. Elvis Weinstein, the originator of the Tom Servo role. The two new shorts, Behind the Scenes at the Supermarket and Busy Day at the County Fair, became fundraisers for Migazi, which is a nonprofit in Minneapolis and raised over $50,000. I'm Tom Servo announcing. Alterniversal. Yeah! Alterniversal. Sleep, Moostig, my friend. Arthur Fonzarelli, where are they now? <laughs> Get Tiger walking. Raja. Tony, Tigger, Shere Khan. Who am I forgetting? Oh, yeah, Exxon logo. Yes, Nepal, we all have our cages. With or without bars. Mine is made of alimony. He beats you, Sahib, because he doesn't understand you. I warned you not to hang around my cats. I was only admiring them. The next time I see you around my animals, I'll feed you to them. They'd only choke on my hairpiece. <laughs> Baron. Baron, go get him, Baron. Go get him, I said. Baron. I told him he was adopted. Tight Shirt Brigade is in the house. What the hell is going on here? Every time that freak talks to any of my cats, he confuses them. I can't handle them in the ring. Kirk's right, I've seen it happen. He's even turned Baron against me. There's no room for this kind of stuff in my carnival. You keep that geek, I quit. Oh, the term is nerd American, please. Kirk! <laughs> Kirk, Kirk, look, look, you don't understand. I, I can't afford to lose you. The season just started, I'm barely surviving now. You should have thought of that when you booked this concession. You're the only class act I got. Without you, I couldn't last another week. He's been talking to my cats. So we all do. Only they listen to him. It's your imagination. Byron wouldn't obey me. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to send him to military school. All right, I'll talk to Marco. You want me? Get rid of him. I wish I could quit you. I'll take care of it this afternoon. Right after yoga. Damn it. Now I got the funnel cake sweats. I needed this. Hurricanes, locusts, crooked shells, rain of frogs, theme parks, rotting out all over. Bitchy tiger men. Now this. A crisis of faith. <sighs> Damn. Heavy is the head that wears the straw cowboy hat. Ooh, I hope we do get to see him go all the way into the tent. Ah, uh, oh yeah. All right. Oh, and out of a trailer, this carnival really is magic. A nice relaxed fit establishing shot. Hey, how you doing, Stoney? Place the edge. Yeah, you know they wanted cash. Did you have enough? Just don't ask me what time it is. <gasps> you know I had to leave my $200 watch there just to cover a lousy $80 charge. Why don't you tell them to build the Kearney? Glenn Kearney, Glenn Ross. Well, you see, this newspaper's got a new motto. In God we trust, and all Kearneys pay cash. Don't worry. We'll work something out. I can't wipe away the shame. You know, I had to cut Mark off sad to save money. I don't matter to none. I'm, I'm terminating him today. What do you mean? Where's he going? I'm my brother's keeper. Yeah, you bring this back to my van. We, uh, gotta talk to Markov. It won't take long. So I should talk to a county about my watch, or what? Oh, looking good. Pile of sticks, taped up trailer windows, crappy magic marker sign. Nice. Markov, gotta talk to you. Hat club time. Can I come in? We can talk out here. It's somewhat less smelly. Well, we're not a big carnival. When we leave, most people don't even know we're in town. What? I thought we were a big hit. People don't trust you. You make them uneasy. All you hear all day is, what's he got in the trailer? It's none of their business. Okay, checkmate. It's important we work as a team. Kirk's threatened it's either him or you. So when do you want me to leave? I can give you to the end of the week. Sooner if you can. All right, I got a long way to go. I'll leave in the morning. Uh, Markov. Olaf. Between you and me, what you got in there? Another battle of wills lost by Old Stoney. 
Have it your way. How is it I fired you and I'm the loser? Okay, everybody, he's gone. Get back into position. Now, this is gonna get weird. Now, stop playing. This is very serious. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't spend all my time looking after you and worrying about what you're doing. When you're right, you're right. This isn't the first time it's happened, you know. We agreed not to talk about that. You just... You just won't be quiet. You think everyone's your friend because you trust so much. I blame Facebook. We can try to stay clear of people, but... They're everywhere, right? In time, they'll come into our lives and nothing will ever be the same again. You mean when we ride the comet? You know, I need time to myself, too, you know. Of course, Master. Forgive me. But you make noises so loud, everyone thinks I'm hiding a monster. Again, let me apologize. I stepped out of line, and I'm sorry. People are suspicious of things they don't understand. Right, like the thing with the chicken. And that's why I'm hiding you. That makes sense, Master. Let me go prepare your chamber. But it's very hard to keep the world out. I understand. We're all waiting for the day of the great translargement. It's going to be glorious. Oh, what was that all about? Hell if I know. Oh, sweet kid. Wanted to be the first in line for my show. Markov the Magician, Wild Animal Trainer Kirk, and a really seedy-looking Midway are teaming up to create some carnival magic. But you'll probably figure out how it's done. You're watching MST3K, Moon 13, the Moon. Wait here. Yes, Master. Of course, Master. Hail Markov. Hail Markov. Markov is power. Markov allows us to sleep. Buddy? Uh, put your shoes on, honey. We're almost at Grandma's. Hey, buddy. Wake up. It's almost dawn. You're gonna miss the 700 Club. Don't you think you ought to go to bed? Yeah, you're right. Nothing's happened. What? <laughs> she stands in shock. Who is that? I told you to wait outside. I'm a lovable scamp. <laughs> What's his name? Monster. Oh, my God, he can talk. Well, kind of. Who is he? That's Alex. My beautiful son. Hello, Alex. I'm Bud. Oh, my hand. Bud, please don't say anything to anybody. It's important. Why have you been hiding him? Do not question Markov! Look. Alex, not now. What's he doing? Learning 30 ways to please his man, apparently. Reach inside. You of what? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's great. What else does he do? Besides being a talking chimp. Everything he's told. As mm -hmm. long as that's what I'm already planning to do. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you use him in the show then? Well, he's kind of a diva. No. Well, why not? He's just exactly what the corny needs now. He's not a performer. I promised his grandmother mm -hmm. I'd send him to seminary. Mm -hmm. What's the point of a talking chimp who mostly grumbles under his breath? Well, can I just show him to Stoney and see what he says? Stoney's fired me. Yeah, but that was before he knew about Alex. Right. Sassy monkey. Look, you don't understand. He's an old man. He's gonna lose the show. It's all he has right now. He's really desperate. And chimps are so in. He's got Kirk. Kirk is not the answer anymore. Picard? Look, what do you have to lose? I mean, we could both gain from this. You're crazy if you think I'm not getting my beak wet on this. Mm, mm, mm. There's one more piece to the puzzle, bud. Alex is a murderer. What's the story? Morning glory. Give me a minute, okay? I understand talking to monkeys is a process. Is it just me, or is this scene supposed to feel like a hopeful autopsy? <clears throat> Alex, I have been grappling with this issue a long, long time. Can you roller skate? Alex. I'll take potent potables for 200. When Sarah died, teaching you is all I had. It got me through. What stage of grief is chimp play? But we're broke. Your beanie baby obsession you destroyed us. And we can't stay together if I can't feed you. Oh, I get it. Circle of life. Man loses wife, teaches chimp to talk, joins low-rent carnival, goes broke. Man and chimp starve in a trailer. Seen it a hundred times, really. Huh? Huh? Right? Huh? So what do you think? Do you want to stay? Mm. I do have that scholarship from Stanford. Limited time offer, Alex. Would you just decide already? <laughs> yeah. Is that good in monkey talk? <laughs> monkey calls the tune. Okay. Okay. Hooray! Let's exploit this monkey for financial gain. <laughs> 
Hey, Ben Folds, keep it down up there. Hi, I'm Jonah Heston, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. And yes, Donna, I miss you too. Statistically, there's one Donna going nuts right now. Wow, this amusement park, it is so fun. Bud, just tell me where the bathroom is. We're never gonna make it this way. Oh, why do I have to have midnight chili? <laughs> now get in there and become a man, Dad. You. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from here. Alex, you have company. Mm -hmm. right. Good thing I put on my Daisy Dukes. Mm -hmm. Oh, heck, I can do that. I would be just oh, gross. I'm right under it. It's all over me. What is that, yak dander? It's all right. It's all right. I hey, that... That's not a boy, that's a monkey. Well, Alex is almost as good as one of their heavily sedated tigers. Uh, go against the grain, I can't do that. Did you see that? He's brushing his teeth. Whoa, no way. Oh, God is smiling on us. Okay, Alex, that's good enough. Now get the broom, please. Oh, no way. No, he's not getting the broom. <laughs> Well, look at this guy. He's like, no way. He's doing it. He's that. Who will believe a chimp in a diaper can sweep? I get that spot. He got the spot. <laughs> Good. He's the best. I mean, look at that thing hanging down. Yeah, it's a pivot. It's a misfire. USA. 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 <sighs> no, not the dishes. I can't handle anymore. That was amazing. A toilet brush? I didn't see that coming. Stony, you're gonna be swimming in torn undershirts. Uh, please don't tell me there's more. There's no way this could get any bit. Oh, he's in the refrigerator! He is in the refrigerator! Here we go. I bet it's gonna be orange juice. Oh! It's orange juice! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god! Glasses? No way. No way. He can get them, but can he hand them off? He did it! He did it! <laughs> Good boy. Oh, it, it is so cloudy and gross. It looks like there's some kind of medicine in it. Yeah! But he's doing it. If you only see one chip perform basic household chores in a mobile home, make sure it's Alex at the Winter Garden. Why have you been hiding him? He's great. Uh, yes! 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 yes. 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 Bravo. Oh, man, that was, that was really great. <laughs> whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Not weird. Too, too far, too far. She just cleaned up after the elephant. Hey, Helen, what the heck is going on around here? 
This place is buzzing with rumors. I'm the PR man. I know less than anybody. No, duh. It's a secret. And I'm weird. Stoney has to check it out first. It's unique. Hey, there's no such thing. It's Markov. Are you kidding? And Alex. Alex? Who is Alex? And where is he? Well, it's not exactly he. Oh, and it? Sort of. Gender is fluid. No, I don't want to play games. Well, just wait. Look, it's part of the deal. No one sees Alex till the show. Look, Stoney promised. I did, too. Please understand? No. Okay. Sure. I'm good at waiting. God, I hate waiting. Nice fallopian tube motif. And now, Marco the Magnificent and Alexander the Great. Uh, excuse me, just gotta get by here. Monster! Kill the freak! Sweet freedom. <laughs> That's right, Alex. Pick their pockets. <laughs> and his assistant, Stacy's mom. She's got it going on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex. Alex, who's the boss? You are. That's right, Alex. And don't you ever forget it. Hey, my teacher's here. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Alex. But just remember who's the boss around here. Sure, you boss, me star. <laughs> Amazing acoustics in that tent. Yeah, Stoney wore his tux. He claps more like an ape than the ape does. Oh, Let's see Barnum top this. Looks like we're big time again. Can't wait to blow it. Okay, okay, okay. Here's where you get the big one. One in, you win. How about you, sir? Three balls are 50 cents. By golly, here's where you win the big one. Just one in, you take home the beautiful goldfish. Everybody plays it. Oh, come on in, sir. Wait a minute. Step right over here. Step up just a yeah, No. As a nerd, I do not partake in games of chance. I understand they are rigged in favor of the carnival against the laws of probability. On the other hand, I do need a new pair of belly-high pants. Oh, no, I've attracted a crowd. The pressure is on. This stinks! Bring back Alexander the Great. Remember when you poured that orange juice? And the sweeping! Oh, the sweeping! Alex! 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 Hurry, hurry, hurry! See a show that is well within the realms of your imagination. Gaze in astoundment at Alexander the Great, the chimp who mumbles ordinary, unimpressive small talk. Hmm, looks like rain. Behold how he doesn't say anything funny, like you'd assume a talking chimp would. Sure. Be underwhelmed by the wasted potential of an animal gifted with the power of verbal communication. It's a theoretical miracle and a practical disappointment. Still raining, huh? Question the life choices that led you to throw away good money on a chimpanzee who was clearly struggling with existential ennui. My ankle's sore. But Alexander isn't the whole show. How could he be? There's also Mark of the Magnificent. He's deeply mystic and incredibly petty. His condescending tone will leave you wondering if you can do anything right. Who else can make animals uncomfortable just by looking at them? And yet somehow, he's the best of us. Markov and Alexander, double dynamite. See it all for just one dollar. <laughs> Did the cameraman get lost? Oh, what do they got in that box? A prisoner of war? Sons and daughters of anarchy. You know, in this town, this is considered an actual driving school. Please let us off. We've been on here for like three days already and no one seems to understand. Ah! It's the miracle of the age. Something you'll tell your children about till you can't talk no more. Markov, the Magnificent, has given us the special privilege of presenting in the Ten of Miracles with... Hey, come on, guys, that's not cool. Uh, you dance all the time. Well, this is my private time, and I, I didn't know you could see that either, okay? Later, ladies. There are plenty of seats on the inside. Just have your dollars ready for the thrill of a lifetime. 
Yeah, we could be dancing right now. Follow us to the Disco Fever stage. Remember when we used to work here? We're famous now. And hit your mark right now. People losing money, people making money. It's all the same. No, it's not. Everyone's no, they're not. I feel like I'm with it. I feel like a party. Sweaty and gross. Right here, good looking. You winning anything yet? No. Let me try one for you. He's the made man of the midway. There you go. Give the lady your prize. Oh, thank you, mister. I want Ellen. There you go. Woman version of me. You're learning, son. Wear your jeans, shirt, and hat as tight as possible and strut around like a big man. Hey, Shorty, how's it going? How you doing? Fine, how's it going with you? Nice, nice. What are our chances of seeing Shorty? We can't even see the movie over all these people. Really fun seeing you meander all through the carnival, uh, very neighborly. What does this have to do with anything? I know, even Alejandro and Yorito would have called cut by now. Bah! Yeah, I think they're getting tired out now. I know I am. Why is just one great big line for the ATM? My hat's off to the filmmaker. He's created an incredible simulation of being at a really crummy carnival. Feels good to wear this t-shirt outside the trailer now that everything's in the open. Hi. Hi. Where are you going? Oh, just for a walk. Mind if I join you? No, not at all. Sweet freedom. Where's Alex? Taking a nap. He's pretty hungover. Mmm, so nice to get away. Yeah. What are we running from again? Have you, uh, been with the carnival long? Now, that is not a proper question to ask a lady. Are you that long? <laughs> yeah. What'd you do before that? Had hope. I was in the Miss America pageant. Really? Really. I was. I was Miss Virginia. Hmm. Don't believe that. Well, you're still a beautiful woman. I think so. Mm -hmm. Then I was a showgirl with Ringling. My boyfriend was arrested for theft, and I was accused as his accomplice. They dropped the charges, but still nobody gave me a job. Then I met Stoney, and he didn't give a damn about what other people thought. And I've been here ever since. It's all in my Christian Mingle profile. Well, I enjoy working with you. Hey, how come you're the only man around here who's never made a pass at me? I'm picky. Well, it's not because you're not attractive. Or have cold sores, or piled up a lot of debt. Do you have a lady? Gaga or otherwise? Yeah, I did. Did? And by did, I mean dead. Yes. Get ready to cry. I was married. To the sea. 
Her name was Sarah. She was beautiful, though. Way hotter than you. We did our act together. I was her beautiful assistant. Very happy. So when does the death part come? One day she told me that I was going to be a father. This movie has more exposition than The Phantom Menace. And shortly after that, she was killed in an accident. They never found the talking chimp that did it. So... Any hoozle. Now, all I have is Alex. I know it's none of my business, but isn't it time you forgot? Well, it did happen last week, so... No. I'm still in love with her. Her ghost, I mean. Are you going to leave the carnival? What? And ruin my brand? Why do you ask that? With an act like Alex, you could make the big time. Those things aren't important to me. What's important is who you are and who you're with. And how much you could bench. I found peace here. Sweet freedom. Oh, I hope he's gonna clean out this car. It's filthy. Yeah. Why, it's Missy O'Shea, the girl in the car. Grand Theft Auto, Chimp City. Forget about that. Where's Missy O'Shea? Guys, let's not jump to any conclusions. Sure, she's a girl in a car, but is she the girl in the car? The Chevelle was an underrated muscle car. No midnight chili, never again. Paramount Pictures presents Every Which Way But Why. The weird thing is she's dreaming she's in a car driven by a chimp. Mad Max Furry Road. So, Jonah, he's endangered the lives of two people just now. Yeah, but it's an ape, so it's cute. Okay. Wow, bees, bees and hornets, bees and hornets! Turn off that banjo. Sweet dreams. Does she not have a spine? Timmy, could you give me my hot dog? Hot dog for breakfast. Well, they're carnies after all. Yeah. Timmy. Ah! Uh, whatever, just leave me a good Uber rating. Oh my god. I'm a chimp driving a car, and even I'm bored with this. What did you do to Timmy? Police cars don't work on grass. Unless you got power. <laughs> Please, stop. Jeffrey, calling all cars. Calling all cars. Chasing a ghost car. I repeat, a ghost car. Do you copy? Uh, Sheriff, this is Bobby Joe. Did you say a ghost car, 10-4? A ghost car, you ninny. Didn't have no driver. With nobody behind the wheel. It's out of control. Sheriff, have you been drinking again, 10-4? Where are you, boy? Valley Road and Maple, Sheriff. Well, he's coming your way, and you better stop it. I mean, get him. Rain Wilson as Sergeant Mark David Chapman. I'll just gingerly leave the scene of this other crime. Why am I not swinging from a tree right now? I'm Missy O'Shea, damn it. Why did I turn down that Fulbright? It's not a ghost car, Sheriff. Well, what is it, damn it, not a ghost car? It's just Randy Quaid and his wife again. It's kind of a King Kong, Sheriff, damn boy. King Kong? What's a King Kong? An ape kidnapping a beautiful girl. Hush your mouth, boy. I'm serious here. Uh, breaker, breaker. We got a carnival magic in progress. Uh, carnival magic? What's that? That's when a second-rate producer has access to a carnival, so he writes a script in three days and pays all his actors in beer and cheese sticks. Oh, right. And he pads out the movie with footage of sad children and a car chase that does nothing to further the plot, but makes the movie long enough so that way he can run it in theaters. Uh-huh. And it gets buried in a vault for years until mad scientists make a TV show where they force poor jerks to watch it, thus giving it a second life its makers never truly intended. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Carnival magic. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? That's the carnival magic routine. Y'all come back now, you hear? Wouldn't be a car chase if it didn't affect the life of a local farmer and his family. Missy O'Shea is the girl outside the car. <laughs> yes, are you okay? Oh, God. Okay, Alex, we, we got the shot. That's a wrap, okay? We're cutting away. Alex? 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 Yeah. Alex? Funny, right? Uh, I know it's wrong to hate an animal, but I'm in a sort of Elmer Fudd Bugs Bunny emotional quagmire with this chimp, and I can't help but feeling resentful that a servant of a community such as myself is constantly being bested by a celebrity primate who is the toast of the town. And don't you think it's pathetic that the tow truck driver won't even let me send the truck and the camera keeps rolling to record my failure? Oh, God! The Iron Butterfly is King's tethered surveillance drone that polices the space above the dark side of the moon. 
It's actually made of aluminum and it's not really a butterfly. You're watching MST3K Moon 13 the Moon. Come on. I guess this counts as Alex's community service. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's a new record. Yeah. Come on, this will decide who descended from who. Come on, come on! And WrestleMania is born. Rip his arms out! Chew his face. I can come back. Don't do it, it's one of his tricks. That's his poison hand. Still uncomfortable. What does it say about someone when they're wearing less clothing than their chimp? Yeah. <laughs> Seems safe. Hey, you're too much. Come here. Come here. My turn. Pull my arms out of their sockets. Right. Come here. Oh, a scratch. Again, Alex isn't funny or cute, just terrifying and clear in his desire to cause harm. And don't be too nice to him. He's on six months probation for driving without a license. <laughs> oh, she's rubbing his belly. So, are we done here? Where's he going? I don't know. But you better not get in any trouble. <laughs> Sweet freedom. Whew, tough day at the office. Sorry I missed dinner, hon. Had to wrestle Markov for three hours. You guys are really something. I mean nothing. Just, uh, different. But we're all different in our own way, I guess, aren't we? Sure. That's one way to put it. How do you keep a dirt floor clean? I don't know, give up? Yeah, go Smirnoff. <laughs> Alex the Chimp as you've never seen him in Glen or Glenda. Odd stuff. Bud is not a proper name for a pretty girl. <laughs> Ellen is my name. Dumb hats are my game. Stoney started calling me Bud when Mom ran off. She just wasn't carny, you know? She didn't love it like the rest of us do. I mean, who could resist all this? People tell me I favor her, though. Uh, I'm still on that ape wrestle high. Ugh. Alex has no sense of personal boundaries. Oh, right, it's a plush Abraham Lincoln. He loved her more than anything else in the world. Uh, sorry, just took a clown up in. I don't know, I don't think he's trusted another woman since she left. I, I think that's why he started calling me Bud, you know, his buddy. And his favorite drink. Stoney's living in the past, he's gotta start living in the present. You know, wear a Fitbit, find his cheese, a neti pot, eliminate salt, go paleo. Now that's interesting. What? The only food that doesn't rot is honey. You know, somebody said almost that same thing to me not too long ago. And now Alex is trying on her clothes. But it is true. You can't continue to live Tony's life for him. He'll never maintain that much fat. You're a young lady. Your hat is too big and his hat too small, you feel me? There's no logical reason I should be attracted to another species, yet here I am. <laughs> Coconuts. Hmm? Yeah, uh, uh. Truly Andy Circus's best work. <laughs> He's ready. Ready? Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, Alex. Hello. Goodbye. Alex? Alex, come back here. I knew I should have locked my tent. Alan, look. Sorry, Alex. I'm sitcom mad. <laughs> Poor young lady. <laughs> <laughs> What's with him? Alex the Insatiable!
Emily here with another Turkey Day memory from MST3K.org. This one comes to us from Jonathan. He writes, My father passed away two years ago, and since then my favorite Turkey Day memory is a simple one. 1991, around 3 a.m. and my dad, for some reason, wakes up and wanders into the living room. He asks me what crazy movie I'm watching, and I tell him Cave Dwellers, expecting him to tell me to turn it off and go to bed. Instead, he just sits down and finishes watching it with me, chuckling from time to time. He went to bed just as Jungle Goddess started. Nothing crazy or silly, just simply a sweet memory. Thanks, MST3K. Thank you, Jonathan. And they say nothing good happens after midnight. Whoa, male VPL, patient zero. Marco, how are you? you got a minute? Actually, I was about to commit seppuku, but I can wait. No, sorry. I didn't know you were busy. What is it, David? How did you know it was me? Oh, I just wanted you to see these ads I did. I think that they're the best I've ever done. Stayed up all night working on them. Yeah, I know. What do you mean, you know? How do you know? So you like some. Why, Margot, I can't stay mad at you. I think I love you. They're very good. Hey, that's terrific. Alex, what do you think of these? Here, take a look. Look all right? Wow. Derivative, poor sense of anatomy. I don't know, just tell him I liked it. <laughs> he likes it. Uh, keep in mind, they kicked him out of Cal Arts. Thanks. This is the best part of waking up. Hey, Markov, uh, I needed to ask you a few personal questions. It's, uh, it's part of my job, OK? Yeah. Uh, aren't you from somewhere in India? Yes, I was raised by Buddhist priests in Nepal. My parents were missionaries. They were killed by the Japanese. And I came back to America shortly after the war. You buy that, right? Have you ever been married? Long story, but if you rewind the movie a little bit, you'll hear me tell it. Uh, don't you have enough? Got to feed the beast, Markov. Markov, you know, the people are going to want to know about you. Update your LinkedIn page. I mean, you're celebrities now. It's going to be tough keeping secrets from them. Did he cross the line, Master? Just say the word. I'll do him. I'll do him good. Markov. Paul, love. Hey, Markov, did you hear me? Do not question Markov's ability to hear. Markov hears all. What was that? I went back to Nepal for a moment. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking maybe something like a uh, family type of interview for the media. It's what the public wants, Markov. There are some things not meant to be shared by the public, David. Alex and I are the act. Nothing else matters. Markov, you don't David, understand. Please. Shut your mouth. Just shut. Just shut up. Just shut it right there. Just shut your... Okay. That's a relief. Now I can let you live. Is something else wrong? Maybe my chest area is intimidating you. Yeah. Either put on more body jewelry or a shirt. Ellen. Who? Oh, you mean Bud, the girl boy. If it was meant to be, it will be. Future's not ours to see. You know, it takes time for a girl to become a young lady. I'm not ready to hear this. I am. Yeah, I know. What can I do about it, though? I'm sure the school nurse has a video you can watch. Be patient. My dojo is always open. Yeah. I've seen mannequins have livelier conversations than this. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. See yeah. Hi, David. Three weeks ago, I didn't expect to finish the season. Now, I don't think it's going to ever end. Hubris. <laughs> you know, we haven't had a police complaint in two weeks. I don't know what magic Markoff has got, but even the shills have been going straight. Yeah, they got to wait in line to lose their money. <laughs> Nothing's going to change. Just get better. Thanks to the power of the secret. I want a new campaign. Maybe buy some TV spots. <laughs> and a side spinner. Yeah, but they're expensive. You got to spend money to make money. We are talking about miracles. In all my days, I've never seen anything like this. Deodorant? It's insane. Here, look, look. The company sent this on spec. Now, if Markov likes it, they'll promote the heck out of it. And there are lots of others. You're going to make more money once the season's over than you did in the past 10 years. Oh, Bud will like that. Hey, where is Bud? Oh, at Markov somewhere. This doll's my reward for a lifetime of toil. Holiday run. My two BJ and the Bear Dads. It's amazing how animals relate to you. Two words, cattle prod. It's not really difficult to understand. I just think of them as children. We all are, really. It's when we become adults that things become complicated. In what way? Lung division. 
He was a child. Boogers. Innocent. And their ability to believe totally in something. Like wrestling. Yeah, but we can't be children forever. We have to grow up eventually. Nuh-uh. Yeah, but you don't want to lose that child's imagination and faith. Though you could lose that giant novelty baseball cap. Ellen, be in touch with yourself. I'm not special. I just refuse to be less than I can be. Markov the cool RA. I'm glad you're here. Be true. Shut, Shut up, up, Alex. Alex. I love these little trips into town to get more monkey chow. Meanwhile, yesterday. Hi, how you doing, Stoney? Hi. Keep moving. Hi, son. Beer? Oh, no thanks. It's over 10 years. Hey, uh, no, I was wondering, they got a bowling alley down in town and thought you might like to go down there with me. Um, I think you thought wrong. I don't really feel like it now. That's a Martin for you. <laughs> We're jerks. Make up our minds, ain't nothing gonna change them. Come on, son, have a beer. Oh, no thanks. One day at a time. I tell you, the Rossiters have a family trait, too. Never give up unless you're gonna lose, and then bow out gracefully. I'll see you. Wait a second. Um, I said I didn't want to go bowling. I didn't say I didn't want to go out with you. How about skating? Huh? b b b b b he don't wear a hat. You never skated before. Well, there's always a first time for everything. But you're a Martin. You got weak ankles. Sure. Okay. Well, don't wait up. Don't wait up. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> there goes a Martin for you. <laughs> Classic Rossiter. Breaker, breaker, Trooper T-Robot, Trooper Servo here. I got a King Kong doing four half a Bo Derricks. That's CB jargon for ape doing 20 over the limit. Can't help you. I've got a midlife Frosted Flakes creep out. A midlife Frosted Flakes creep out? What are you talking about? Yeah, a midlife Frosted Flakes creep out. That's a weird old guy in a hairpiece bothering a bunch of tigers. Well, use the King's English. Look out, just got a call about a Tropicana Winnebago Bonzo. Huh? A Tropicana Winnebago Bonzo? Yeah! Drop a can of Winnebago Bonzo, a chimpanzee porn horse juice in a ratty trailer. Now the Squawk Box says there's a half-ring Ogilvy with a cardinal top bend button. A half-ring Ogilvy with a cardinal top bend button? You best explain what that is. You know, a half-ring Ogilvy with a cardinal top bend button. When the PR man from a low-rank carnival hits on your daughter whose age you're not sure of because she's wearing a red baseball cap. Well, why didn't you say so? I did, you slow brain. Hey, you ever call in a syrup-covered case of Rolling Rock? A syrup-covered case of Rolling Rock? Let me think on that. No, I never did call in a syrup-covered case of Rolling Rock. What, pray tell, is a syrup-covered case of Rolling Rock? Stony Martin's breakfast. Oh! <laughs> oh, move his hand. Move his hand. Your come hither little league looks really doing it to me. What made you change your mind? Well, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Sure it is. Well, then shut up, then. I've been thinking a lot about you lately. I just needed some time to figure everything out. Glad you did. So am I. You should take the keys. I've been drinking all morning with Dad, and I shouldn't be driving. Hey, um, do we have to go skating? What'd you have in mind? Bowling. Well, we've never really had any time to talk. Okay. Take me to the talking rink. Just uh, move that hot plate. Technically, you're sitting in my kitchen. Roads? Where we're going, nobody cared enough to build roads. Wait, no, guys, that's a cliff. Guys, don't uh, drive uh, on the cliff! Uh, <laughs> but the remains nourish this mighty oak. What are your plans after the season is over? I don't know. I I think I'm going home. Probably see my wife and kids. Yeah, just for a visit. Watch out for snakes. So where's home? It's originally around here. But uh, Dad moved us up to New England about 10 years ago. Have you ever been up north? No. Yeah, it's really beautiful. They got uh, plumbing. Skiing in the winter. Skiing in the summer. Skiing at supper time. I've never even seen the snow. Oh, gosh, it's gorgeous. And you have foliage in the fall, summer green, Cape Cod. My favorite season is Cape Cod. Well, if you liked it so much, how come you left? Uh, I'm not sure if you know what a restraining order is, but... You well, know, ever since I remember, my father's trying to run my life. He's trying to tell me where I should work, what I should wear. He even tried to pick my wife for me. Well, that's Sharia law for you. 
I didn't know you were married. No, I'm not married. Never did get married. Classic fake out, huh? My father, he, uh, he's got the largest PR firm in the East. Uh, don't look it up. It was going to be a roster or something. And you left all that for this corny? Yeah. Because I wanted to be my own man. I understand. Honey, this is not working for you. She's a girl. You know, it's it's funny. Um, we've known each other for a long time, except we really don't know very much about each other. No, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, we're getting to each other through a process known as osmosis. You ain't gonna go anywhere. Uh, Jonah, is this skating? Uh, yeah, tongue skating. Uh, uh, I don't have a tongue, so that's good. Uh, don't worry about that. Oh, hey, Mark. David? Helen? Hey, Marco, this is Dr. Poole. Nice day. I'm not a Nazi. Yes, sir. What is it? I saw your show a month ago, and in Alex, I think I may have found something I've been searching for for years. Love. A possible link between humans and other primates. Alex? He's serious. I'm not saying that he is the link. I'm just saying that there are possibilities science can't overlook. What science? Well, what exactly is it that you want? We'd like to take him to the Institute to study him. Hey, that would be news. David. Well, what's the harm? I mean, think of the publicity. Is that all you ever think about? Margo, don't listen to him. What did I say? Look, Alex is not just something, okay? He's more human than a lot of people, and he's vulnerable. That's exactly why Markov has been hiding him. So no one would exploit him. We are not going to do him any harm, just like to study him for a few weeks. I am authorized by the Institute to allocate funds. Well, money's uh, not important. I'd let you study him here. We need the equipment that's at the laboratory, Markov. If Alex is as unique as I think he is, you have an obligation to science. It's not possible. You don't understand. I wasn't planning on leaving here without him. Oh, well, in that case, take him. There's nothing more to say. You got no choice, Doctor. Sorry. But my mandibular molars. I see. Well, thank you for your time. Did he just pitch them a Planet of the Apes sequel? Greetings, puny mortals! Crow T. Robot here. You're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. If you dare. Oh, you do. Uh, you do dare. Oh. 
Just a couple more rides to cheer me up. Not getting a monkey isn't going to ruin this day at the carnival. Uh, excuse me, Post. Cool. Have you got a ah! Oh. I think I can make it worth your while. I have no time. And you mustn't want Alex bad enough. Who are you? I'm Kurt Wilder. From sha -na -na. I'm this, well, I was this fleet bag's biggest attraction until Markov. And his life partner, Alex. You want the chimp? You're looking at the guy who can get him for you. When? That depends on how much it's worth to you. Okay, it wasn't that good of a scene. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm now going to demonstrate thought transference with Alex. Alex, if you please. <laughs> Sweet freedom. Alex is going to pass among you. I've gone blind! You select items for your person. And chat with Sean Astin. Give them to Alex, and I will identify them. Could we have absolute silence? And there's rock bottom. Alex. Don't work, Blue. Okay. <laughs> Now, is there anyone in the audience would hold up a bill, please? For a welfare check. Dollar bill would be fine. Please give it to Alex. All right, I'm trusting you this time, Alex. Okay. All right, sir, thank you. Alex, mm -hmm. give me the last four serial numbers on that bill. Mm hmm. I'm ready. Oh, six. Tiger sleeping. Five. Chimps are driving. Two. Disco carnies. <laughs> B. 0652B, is that right, sir? Hey, that's right. Oh, my brain hurts. Excellent. Thank you, you trashy 70s people. Alex, have you forgotten something? My birth parents. Mm -hmm. No. Give the man back his bill. Rats. <laughs> He has a very short memory when it comes to money. <laughs> the classic stereotype of a greedy chimp. All right, this next trick involves two Slim Jims. Things just got real. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> All right, what am I? Vroom, 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 vroom. I am man. Hear me roar. Possessed of will. And the demon of Broxus. You are steel with none. Ah, oh, sick burn. I will you... Ben. This is a metaphor for every one of Markov's relationships. Mm, delicious. I love corn. Is this going to have anything to do with a monkey? Da. Mm. All right, this is taking too long. Let me let me help. Let me just get up there and be like, hey, what gives? She's actually doing this with her mind. Now make a bunny. <laughs>Hey, good. Markov started to write some jokes for Alex, which is a smart move because he's a talking monkey. You're watching MST3K Moon 13 the Moon. Thank you. That took five years off my life. The strength is within all of you. Ah, ah, get it out, get it out, get it out. Even the weakest. He's talking about me. Sir. You look like a very strapping young man. Could I have your help, please? And bring your jumper cables. Thank you, sir. Is this live streaming Markov's act? Yes, you'll do fine. Okay. Alex, would you hand the man a bar, please? How about this? Uh, no, <laughs> Alex, not a candy bar. <laughs> You're ruining the act. Now get in your cage. A steel bar. From my personal collection, I have a whole humidor of these. Would you bend that, please, sir? You want me to bend this? Yeah. Did I stutter? Go ahead, use your knee. <coughs> it's a steel bar. I can't bend that. You're right. Nobody can. Thanks for being part of the show. The candy bar, Alex. Oh, just so. <laughs> Maybe it'll give you a little energy. Thanks Thank for playing sir. the Snickers steel bar challenge. When there's a hunger inside of you, ask for a uh, Snickers. You, sir. Oh, huh? Oh, oh, me? Come up and give me a hand. Yes, you. <laughs> Free Snickers, here I come. Thank you. Would you try to bend that bar for me, please? <laughs> nope. Well, he said it's steel. Well, I'll try. Well, well Master Yoda says there is no try. 
Nope. Your name is Clarence. Magic! How'd you know that? Magic! Well. High five, okay. You're right. Clarence can't bend that steel bar. He is a pathetic wuss. But Gus can. And you're Gus. Ah, see, guys, I told you, he's Gus. I knew it the whole time. Yes. Must kill top official. No, all I said is your name is Gus. Sorry, my bad. Can Gus bend that steel? I can. Bend it. Bend the bar. Bend the bar. Stare at him. Stare at him. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a sequel to Scanners? Must obey. Ow! Ow! Stop! Ow! 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 Jonah, no! Oh, sorry. Wow, those Buddhists made Markov a real jerk. The power of Gus compels me. Really taking your time here, Gus. Hey, I blacked out. Did you make me clug like a chicken? That's not entertainment. I hope they do this for a few more hours and the tape never stops rolling. Should someone be gonging them, or...? That's all right. Take it home and practice. Thank you. The message is clear. We are nothing without Markov! See, kids, your old dad's not such a loser after all. <laughs> hey, did you guys realize this thing takes place at a carnival? Oh, I thought it was a sad factory. Versus the fiercest pants on earth. Step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, in between scenes, that carny won the Masters. Step right up. Okay, but the chain goes back on. Is that it? Did he get hit in the windpipe? Uh, it's not your fault. Who can compete with an experience? Well, back to whipping cats in an empty tent. Thank you, thank you. And remember, if you can't do it, Gus can. Help, I glued my hands together. Come ride the Tilt-A-Hurl. Ben Steele! Ben Steele! Give me the Snickers bar! Wait a minute, my monkey sense is tingling. Damn, Tiger shot me! Hey, Marco! Marco, quick, please, come here and help. It's Kirk, he's in trouble, man. She's nude! Saeed? Bad kitty. Well, I'm done here. Stay. Stay, son. Okay. Stay. All sides. Let me finish emasculating you. Stay, Sahi. My bra's missing. You don't fear me. I don't fear anybody. I'm a tiger. Oh, well, now I miss the baseball cap. I got your friend. They bloodied my ruffles. Stay. Gus likes to stay, and you're Gus. Stay. Whatever. Back down, bro. I reject your all-encompassing love. Hey, right, that's traveling. Yeah, nice kitty. I'd, I'd stay, but I'm allergic to claw attacks. Uh, now I'll go put on some clothes. I didn't mean any of it. I hate you. Goal! Markov 1, Tiger 0. Hello, Earth. Your unfriendly neighborhood clone, Cynthia Forrester, here. And you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. And it's all going according to plan. Oh, my buns!
What happened? Nice suck. Careless. Well, we're sure lucky that Markov was around. Markov, Markov, Markov. Yeah, lucky. Yeah, I gotta get going. TV crew will be here soon, and we're making the networks. You tell it straight. Maybe you ought to take a vacation. Why? Because I tripped? On a tiger? I don't carry that much insurance. Never bothered you when I was this flea bag's biggest draw. It's his fault. Look what the hell you did to my billing. You can't force people to come to see what they don't want. Oh! oh. Walk off, right, bud? My name is Ellen. Since when? Since Tuesday night. I think she looks great, too. Whose idea was this? Markov's or Alex's? Ha <laughs> kill me. It was my owner, aren't I allowed? Get out of that dress. Fashion police. See, that's not fair. Ellen's a woman now. You stay out of this. And you're a bud. And that's that. Markov said I was Gus. I'm sure Markov's found out she's a woman. He has never touched me. Oh, yeah? What about this, Romeo? I'm gonna tell you something, man. Love to know. One of these days, somebody's gonna shut your mouth. Not me, but someone. Okay. Yeah, someone huge with a terrible temper. The nerve of that guy. Someday somebody will finally stand up to him. If you like paying your colliders, your is red. If you're not in the yoga, okay, and you have a... Tony. Somebody need a creepy hug? Stoney, what are you doing to yourself? It's called peeing. Do you mind? It's already been done. Some people just never have any luck. Mongo only pawn and game of life. Like mother, like... You can't blame Ellen because she reminds you of her mother. That's what you've done. <laughs> it hurts so much to remember. Just because she's becoming a woman doesn't mean she's left you. She needs you. <laughs> For what? You're still a father. Says who? The law? I, I can't help her anymore. You're everyone's dad now, Markov. Then let her help you. Find a polo shirt that fits. Munsingwear brand works great on big guys. Me? Loser McUnlove? How? Hey, wasn't there a talking chimp in this movie? Let her keep loving you. Yeah. If you hurt Ellen, you'll never find peace again. And isn't peace what the life of a carny is all about? Think about that. It's not too late. It's never too late for Rip Torn. Don't forget what I said about those shirts. Munsingwear, you know, the Penguin brand. Perfect for big guys. You know, portly men, like you. Anyway, I'm gonna go do push-ups with my chimp. See ya, bye. Okay, Kemba, give me rocket number nine. Whoa, some kind of space circus tent? Ladies, gentlemen, robots of all manufacturers, greetings from P.T. Mindslap, proprietor of the great space circus. I'm sorry, who may I say is calling? Phineas Tiberius Mindslap, ringmaster of a jewel-toned clock world, Neil Gaiman-esque world of magic and whimsy. Gather round, people, run over and see the most fabulous thing in the whole galaxy. I'll sell you all tickets, just give me your dough. See the Gray Space Circus show. Do you guys want to go? Well, I don't really know. Why don't we just binge season two of Fargo? No! The Gray Space Circus show. Now here's a great act. It's the greatest in fact. A fabulous quartet of acrobats. They're called Cirque du Lou. They swing and they swoon. It happens in the darkness when there isn't a moon. I guess you just take it on faith that they're there. As they glide invisibly through the dark air. Well, who they are really, you'll never quite know. It's the Great Space Circus Show. That would be something to see. My good man, I agree. Nah, better to hear my great descriptions orally. Now in ring two, you'll hear me tell of strong men possessing an even stronger smell. Sniff as they lift with impossible ease. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll possibly sneeze. And that's in the dark too? He narrates it to you? So really the audience won't have a clue. Well, who you smell really, you'll never quite know. It's the Great Space Circus Show. I'm an easy mark. Let's go sit in the dark. Though our problems with your show are increasingly stark. No doubt when it's over, you'll feel like a schmo at the Great Space Circus Show. Oh, oh. 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 my God.
goodness. Where'd he go? I, I'm, I'm getting too old for this bit. What's with all the unauthorized singing? And laughing and dancing and ring-a-ding-dinging. Shut up, Max. Milady, your robots are of the highest level of amusement. <laughs> and the big hairy guy's fine, too. I perhaps wonder if you'd part with them for the right price? I get your scam. It's just a big, dark tent you fool people into so they can buy sodas from you at an enormous markup. <laughs> I won't deny. We make most of our profit our concessions. And you want these guys to work in the kitchen as slaves. You'll never use them in the show because there is no show. Oh, yeah, we've seen it a thousand times. The old invisible circus kitchen soda dispensing rip robot for a singing ringmaster who basically just narrates the show in the... In the dark caper, can I do that again? No, shut it, shut it. And you, you, you could take a hike. If anyone's exploiting these idiots, it is us. Fine, keep your robots. But this isn't the last you've heard of P.T. Mindslap. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Great Space Circus Show. I'll now just turn these lights down. I just... Oh, oh we got Louis 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 Carnival Magic, day 327. Looks like old times, huh? Nah. The word spread. I'm the new Willender. Huh? They're looking for blood in the mine. Don't talk like that. I'm gonna sell the axe. You're leaving? I set the tigers free. With you, baby. But first, there's things I gotta take care of. I'll need your help. Mmm. <laughs> you kiss almost as good as those tigers. What was that? Yeah, gotta go. Yeah, just come up from the grotto, Hef? I, I, I know it's late, but. I've been giving a lot of thought to what you both say. About Bruno and Borat both being the same guy as Allie G. Ellen. Read me a bedtime story. I want to apologize. For my gene pool, mainly. Dad. I've been a fool for so damn long. I will tell you self awareness. But the things are going to be a lot better now, you'll see. Sh should, I, should I try and get in on that hug, or? You still my little girl? Always. You'll still unplug the tub whenever I fall asleep during my bath naps. Okay, so now it's a group hug, or uh, and no? Now I'm also going to be David's wife. Yeah, we're engaged. To be engaged. B engaged? Uh, how long was I asleep? Congratulate us. <laughs> you bet. Is this the little girl I drink with? <laughs> has wandered off before, but I just usually look for the commotion. Mm -hmm. Well, he has to be around here somewhere. Who was the last person he was with? Uh, I was with Kim this morning. Mark off one button, please. Just Kim. one. From the carnival? Kim and Alex, why? I don't know why. What's the matter? Kirk never lets Kim go near Alex or me. Oh, yeah, that's right. Where's Kirk? His cats are gone. What? Kim's clothes are gone. She's split. The cats ate the clothes? Uh, Alex. To the carnymobile!
Well, hello. Didn't see you there because I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, here's a Turkey Day memory from MST3K.org. This one's from Daniel. Cambot, work your magic. We were all prepared to do the typical turkey day at grandma's thing when my youngest son came down with the flu. I volunteered to stay home and take care of him while the rest of the family proceeded on to the feast. While he slept on the couch next to me, I ate a meager meal of cold pizza, but I was happier than Zap Roused Hour's mullet, watching hour after hour of the MST3K gang. Thanks for being there for me. Oh, Daniel, fun fact. I actually ran into Roused Hour's mullet on a carnival cruise last year. It's an English professor now, and very happy. Oh, the sixth graders made a sign. Make me look beautiful, Doc. Why does a chimp need a robe? Miss Vanya, keep an eye on him. Actually, yeah. use both eyes. We're a nation of hero worshippers. Sure. I'm no sock or debakey, and my work is, to say the least, unpopular. True. Vivisection is a dirty word. Agreed. But it is necessary if we're to solve problems that must be solved. Huh. Can't argue with that logic. Cut him up! Well, I guess he's all yours, Doc. Sure I can't interest you in any tigers? Going once, twice? Okay. What kind of monster vivisex tigers? I wonder if the clairvoyant talking chimp will figure out a way to get past the bored nurse. <laughs> Maybe Lipitor is right for me. He's like MacGyver if MacGyver just had to pick up some keys. Oh, Goofus, why can't you be more like Gallant? Do you hear that? The Mr. Softy truck's outside. Ice cream! Ice cream! Yeah, I want a Choco Taco and a rocket and a fudge sickle. All right, just one, you guys. Remember, they're imaginary, okay? Well, Gus would have unlocked this already. Celebrity breakups are interesting. Oh, ah, the chip that's been here the whole time! Hey, we're back. What do we miss? Uh, not much. Did you get me anything? No, they're imaginary. Exactly. Never fear, Doogie Hauser is here. Hey, for you, sir. Okay, I can take care of this, but look, you better go get some help. I can't take care of this! He couldn't have gone far. I wouldn't be surprised if he was just hiding, playing games. I can't think with my clothes on. I had a feeling this morning <coughs> that Alex was in pain <coughs> and afraid. Lost Monkey Blues. No one could have stolen him. As a carny, I assume the best of everybody. No carnival would take the chance of using him. He's actually not very good. Why don't you get some rest? I ain't helping none, just worrying about it. Besides, you got a show tonight. There'll be no show. What? what? Uh, come on. But you gotta. What do we tell the people? <laughs> Since Alex is somewhere getting... Wacky. Not the mama, not the mama, not the mama. I think we can call a winner in the battle of nerd versus chimp. Hey, run the jewels. From the top rope. Have we stumbled into a Japanese game show? <laughs> Giant unruly monkey, call the Harlem Globetrotters. Don't hurt him. We need to cut him up later. You, you gotta, gotta fight, fight for your right to party. Get your hands off me, you damn dirty humans. Okay. I'll sedate him. Jenna, can you get PTSD from a movie? Probably. Law and Order Carnival Crimes Unit. Dun, dun. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Jordy. Hate crime. Hey, Stoney. Got any news? No, not a clue, but we're working on it. Whoever took Alex sure is keeping it quiet. On the DL, as it were. Not business. Can't you see? Clearly now the rain is gone. So what you mean? Where's that pizza man? This stuffed crust better be worth the wait. Yeah, at least I've still got plenty of juicy big league chew. Oh. Darn it! Candy Graham. Hey, you tigers. Kim? Yeah. Can anybody button their shirt in this movie? What took you so long? Store was crowded. I had to wait in line. Okay, your story checks out. Wait a minute. This is cooking, Sherry. Oh, what the hell? I'm on the lam. 
Anyone recognize you? One guy called me Amy Adams, and I didn't correct him. I don't think so. How much longer are we gonna have to hang around this dump? Booze, do your stuff. I told you, till things cool down. When's that gonna be, next year? What's the matter, you don't like my company? Not that. <laughs> That's what I understand, I mean, you sold the cat, so you got your money from pool. I don't see why we don't just buy a car and head for Vegas. Kim, Alex was a celebrity in these parts. It's almost like we kidnapped the Lindbergh baby. Who's Lindbergh? Boy, these millennials. Did you ever go to school? I don't even know why I bother with you. This used to be my playground, used to be. I failed you, Alex. Just like all the other apes I lost. You needed me and I failed you. Now who will clean my trailer? Mark off the magnificent. That's what I'll call myself. He's gonna be Mark off the chump without a chimp. What do you mean? Are they gonna hurt him? Or is this one of those pain-free vivisection monkey clinics we've been reading about? They're gonna do more than that. I'm trying to think Kurt is the bad guy. Are they kill Alex? <laughs> Arby, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> now let's rewind and see what Kirk could have done differently. So, Ruby Tuesdays after work. Read my mind, boss. Increased dosage, 50 cc's per shift. It's as if he's willing himself to die. We'll, we'll have what he's, he's having. having. <laughs> Not his friends. Perhaps if we... He's Rania. I don't know how they practice medicine or conduct research in India. Burn. But Alex is just an animal. Now we've learned all we can from these tests. Tomorrow, we'll put him to sleep for organ dissection. And tonsillectomy. Yes, doctor. Good night. Good night, doctor. So are you doing the Ruby Tuesdays thing, or, uh... Can I come, too? Dr. Paul? Is it really necessary? My fake accent? Yes, it is. You mentioned to Miss Rania that Alex is just an animal. In the sack. You don't really believe that, do you, Doctor? Are you questioning my motives? If so, Livingston, your services, although skillful, may no longer be required. I've worked with primates for years, Doctor. I think you're making a serious mistake. You still have a great deal to learn. Good night. Suddenly, Seymour! <laughs> His jammies match the phone smooth. It's the producers telling him to unbutton his shirt. Who the hell is this? Stoney? This is Kim. Kardashian? I think Kirk's drunk. He's gone crazy. He knows where Alex is. Where, where's Alex? How many people do you think she called before she gave up and called Stoney? Police, fire department, animal control. TMZ, Empire Carpet Cleaners, the bartender at the Triple Rock. Baby holding a phone, that voice that tells what time it is. She even called Kirk. And when he was busy, she called Stoney. Hurry, please. When you need carnies and they positively, absolutely have to be there overnight, You're watching Carnival Magic on MST3K Moon 13 The Moon. It's 200 degrees below zero outside. Well, that's it for gas. We're gonna have to hoof it from here. Nosferatu? Oh. Oh, Kim. Oh, uh, a happy ending. What did they do to you? They're gonna kill Alex. Who? 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 Kirk knows. You're the room sick in that hotel. Make him tell you. They're gonna kill him. Has he got the door? No. You take care of him. Why did he ask me about the door? I don't know, honey. I don't know. Uh, someone's in here. What the hell is going on? Where's Alex? Uh, in the car. Where is he? The car. Yeah. All right, that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's come on, guys, boys. Get that's it, you piece of... Yeah. You come here. You piece of garbage. That's come right, on. Kirk. Ah. This white is purple yeah. nurple. Yeah. Purple yeah. nurple. Yeah. Purple Take it. nurple. Take, it. Take that purple nurple. Oh, and Markov, be sure to ask him about... No, oh, never mind. You know what that is? Yeah, come on. David, you call the police. Tell them it was Carney Justice. Three days later... Wait a minute, he gave him the carnival's address? Carnies assemble! Sue Wee! Sue Wee! Behold the mighty call of the Carney. See his bright plumage and doughy softness amplify the call. 
your favorite carny characters with their custom vehicles and accessories. <laughs> This is Crow T Robot, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. If the ovens are rocking, better call 911. Carney Patrol Security Journal. No carnies, another perfect day. I almost feel bad taking the 525 an hour knowing no carnies ever gonna show up. Might even knock off early, taking a show. So are they ever gonna get around to dissecting me or what? When you're a monkey that can read and talk and solve Sudoku, you're also a monkey that's prone to depression. Sweat Cop PI, assignment Everglades. This is where all my Delta Force training comes in. Okay, I'll interpret. Quiet, come forward, duck down. I'm letting Stoney be the leader for now. Guys, what do you miss about Alex? Shh, shut up. Markov sends his regards. When you're a jet, you're a jet. Oh, oh. George A. Romero's Night of the Living Carnies. You know, I don't remember the purge being this mellow. Seems like at this point the crouching down is really not necessary. Oh look, number 75 wore her nice jersey. Now listen, I'll go in first, cause I got my sneaking hat on. We'll go through the kitchen. I'll check the fridge and you guys check out the rest of the house. Yes, the weak point of so many illegal labs and unlocked screen door. I smell cotton candy. I'll take the girl, you take the plant. Where's Alex? Tell me. He's a bear. He's in here! This way, Minnie David Spade! Whoop, 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 whoop. Alex. I didn't realize chimps had so much blood in them. Rick Moranis and Honey, I Shrunk the Chimp. Talking chimp still needs a diaper. I don't know what's wrong. He's not responding. Oh my god. Poison. He must have taken poison. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. He's alive. We better get him to Memorial quickly. Markov, <clears throat> you're gonna need to read your own serial numbers from now on. I may be able to help him. Or kill him. Stony Stunt Double is here. Love lift us up where we belong. Where are you taking him? I'm gonna miss this little fella. You low life. Evolution out of my schools! They're lucky they booked the only chimp ambulance in the county. Alex, I don't have the power to make you live. I could bend you. Aww. I can't stop death. 
Thank you. Finally, Markov's admitting something he can't do. If you die. I want to tell Markov how to do his job, but now would be a pretty good time for some carnival magic. Dr. Mark Twain and Nurse Kesha are on the case. Give me 20 cc's of whatever brings monkeys back from the dead. Please, wait out here. We're doing everything we can. Janice from the Muppets? If only I'd left you and Alex alone. I suppose that's my one regret in an otherwise impeccable life. You can't hold on to your children forever. Marty, we gotta go back in time and save this ape. I gave him 1.21 amps of chip zapping gigawatts. Sorry, heroes of the movie. It's the new character's time to shine. Need a beer? Matter. He's trying to quantum leap out of this movie. We've got a straight line. I'm getting no well, high pitched noise is a good thing, right? You did too? Oh. Try again. <laughs> Come on, Marco. Use your bend powers. Bend the EKG lines. Bend Alex back to life. This is what those idiot monks taught you. He's still a chimp. It's not fair, Jonah. All Alex wanted to do was steal cars and kidnap sleeping women and paw through the underpants of other sleeping women, and now he's dead. Where is the justice of that? Where is it? You murderer! You killed him! I'm sorry. Heart Alex been. just loved too much! This started out as a fun family film about a drunk carny and his failing grimy carnival, and now it's ruined. As the resident Mark Twain impersonator, I'd like to say rumors of his death are greatly not exaggerated. We'll leave you alone with your pet slash son slash physical trainer. Boy, that was awkward, especially with that chimp in the mix, huh? What good are all my powers? You're great at making people uncomfortable. Crushing the spirits of alcoholic rednecks? Convincing animals to attack their owners? So sleepy. I wish it had been me. Mm, monkey dreams. Wait, let me try this. Alex, you're dead, but you're also Gus, and Gus is alive. It's working! You did it, Jonah. Uh, I, I just remember that I'm a man possessing Will, and that this movie stinks! Glad they went for the piano for this scene, rather than the sub Atari beep tones. Spielberg totally stole this for E.T. Now that Alex has been given a second chance at life, I hope he does something truly meaningful with it and just doesn't go back to the carnival. Yeah, he went back to the carny. You're alive, back to work! <laughs> David and Ellen Budd got married. <laughs> Kate went back to school for a degree in smiling. Stoney is now Alabama's senior senator. Markov got life in prison for criminal intensity. Kim eventually succumbed to disco fever. Alex is now a real estate agent in Park City, Utah. Well, more carnival magic? No! Oh, yeah. Elvin Feltner produced a whole ton of carnival magic sequels, though when more carnival magic finally came out, it was titled Two Magic, Two Carnival. Mm. Huge hit, but nothing compared to the conclusion of the original trilogy, Carnival Magic 3, Return of the Girl in the Car. Then Elvin Feltner kind of lost his way with the prequels. Alex was played by a CGI monkey instead of a real chimp. And nobody really wanted to know the story of how Markov met Alex and how Stoney and Bud got their hats. They were really scraping the bottom of the barrel with that David spinoff movie when he went back home to save his dad's PR company from a hostile takeover by a bigger, eviler PR company. Oh yeah, the whole Carnival Magic shared cinematic universe. At that point, the whole Carnival Magic movies were just 90 minute advertisements for the Carnival Magic toy lines. But just when you thought the Carnival Magic was gone, they reboot the series with Carnival Magic Begins and remind America why it fell in love with talking chimps and greasy carnies in the first place. I had no idea there were so many of these movies. Elvin Feltner asked America a simple question. Why couldn't you turn a trailer park into a movie studio? And the answer was, people only want to spend so much time smack dab in the path of a dangerous tornado lane. True, but there's still something inspiring about it. A man who said, if I want to make a movie, I don't need big stars or a lot of money or talent or taste or a sense of basic human decency. All I need is some trailers, an unsupervised primate, and a bunch of unemployed, locally salvaged, almost actors. Okay, now I think you're just being sarcastic. Unfortunately, Trailer Park Productions' other movies weren't nearly as successful. They tried a couple of disaster movies, Tornado, and The Night the Septic Tank Gave Out. 
and of course the romantic comedies Van Rockers and Marriage Bed Above the Driver's Seat. I kind of like the action movies he did. Maximum towage. Oh, and don't forget his sci-fi epic Cosmic Winnebago of the Fourth Dimension. Guys, were any of these movies real? Of course not, Jonah. I don't even think Carnival Magic was real, and we just watched it. That's a good point. Did we really watch a movie just now? And twins. And then Markov became president of the galaxy. Oh, hail Markov! Everyone oh, in the world. Oh, hail Markov! Pledge allegiance to Markov. Markov, the Yakana. pure! He will Lassna show you the way. Markov. day for a parade. We've seen so many troubling things today, Kinga. <laughs> ah, here comes Sad Cop sitting on his car. Ooh, sad. Next, Markov's shirtless meditation. Viewers, don't look directly at him. Otherwise, he's in your head, changing your name and making you Ben Steele. Next is a float of Stoney's daughter and the, oh, PR guy kissing on a log, and here it is. Creepy first kiss. Here's Alex terrorizing orderlies in a motel room made up like a hospital. And fun fact, three people were killed filming that scene. Ooh, please ignore that since you didn't see anything because it doesn't exist. Oh. <laughs> and here, yes, here it is. Here comes the iconic scene. Man in brown shirt gets talked into playing carnival game. So iconic. And could the parade end any other way? The final float. Oh, Stony Martin Look at passed it. out drunk. Just the way I remember. Kids love this one. Oh. And that's the parade. From all of us here at Moon 13, a hearty so long, suckers. <laughs> Push the button, Max.
Watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon, and I'm Mega Cynthia, like Cynthia, but Mega, like Mega Man, Mega Zord, or Mega Fox. <laughs> hey, everybody! It's me, Joel, again, and I'm with my friends Paul and Storm. I was so grateful to get to have Paul and Storm come in as the main songwriting team for the new season of MST3K that's on Netflix uh, right now. We have 20 feature length episodes there. Um, and we were working together in my office on uh, the day time ended. And it was so much fun to have them and we all live nearby so it was easy to get together. And we started to notice this discrepancy in the movie. Do you guys wanna talk <laughs> about that? Yeah, like it, it started out, it was kind of like Close Encounters and then suddenly became like the Bad News Bears. The, the different elements kept coming in. Yeah, there were monsters it, from prehistoric times coming by and yeah, it just there's was- la There's laser effects and there's claymation uh, and just this, you know, just from a script standpoint, this absolute dog pile of random ideas and, and story elements. Uh, and somehow that- mashed up in uh i think i think i had the original uh inspiration for the the song it, it mashed with like i love musicals i have a long history of loving musicals and i also knew that head writer elliot kalen his favorite musical is the music man and somehow i hit on oh the song you got trouble from the music man is a perfect framework to hang this litany of junk that they're throwing into this movie and also to sort of harken back to uh the sort of patter song hip-hop uh, element of every country has a monster from the previous season to get all hands on deck and everyone taking part in this song including max and kinga who have a wonderful cameo in, in the song and it was just it all literally kind of spilled it wrote really fast the song did yeah it's uh, it, it, in some ways yeah it's kind of the inversion of every monster has a country every country has a monster sorry and um and it is one of those one of my favorite moments from MST is just that kind of palate cleanser vibe where you've been watching movie riffing for 12, 14 minutes, and we all meet again and just do a song and reiterate everything. And it's songs are such great joke de delivery systems. I can't get over it. So thank you. Let's watch it. Sure. You two Jack and apes are going about this thing all cockeyed. Hit it, Joe. What? What? So the word on the street is you got a little movie about time, in particular the day it's gonna end. Well, friends, an ordinary movie man might make an unassuming three-act structure. Conflict here, an act break there, inciting incident, hero's journey, all of that Sid Field flapadoodle flapadoodle. But I say, friends, if you want to get the drop on a modern-day audience of rubes, you gotta bamboozle them. Sweet Jerusalem, here's the news, used twos. Gonna be a doozy. You can't lose when you choose to use a lot of concepts. Concepts? Concepts. Gotta stock them up chock full of concepts, premises, plot points, anything and everything. Throw them all at the wall, y'all. Just pack in the action. Don't care if the events don't make no sense, gents. They're gonna flip their lids, no kidding, when your script's overwritten and veritably dripping with concepts. Okay, mister, we like the cut of your moxie. But can you help us apply this method to our movie? Darn tootin'. Everybody throw on a skimmer hat and a one-piece striped bathing suit. Let's dive right in. <laughs> Octagonal solar powerhouse in the desert with a stable in the back. Not bad for a start, but pals, let me ask you, how's about a pyramid? A pyramid? Great big green going pyramid. It leaps in a boot and it vanishes a pony and it gets so small you can put it in your pocket. It shows up later and glows. Nobody knows what it does. Doesn't matter, heck no, because we're already moving on. To the little elf dancing in the bedroom, naked as a light green jaybird. Has he got a single thing to do with the moving on the plot. Who cares? I know, did I mention? You're gonna need a kettle full of spaceships. Spaceships! Yes. Pretty white lights too still open up her head with a slow boat alien shot back. And when you go for a walk with your wife in the desert, there's a couple whizzing by like a Patterson runabout. Then when you get home later, somebody's turning bugs zapper lights on and off in the kitchen. But I digress. Now we're only 40 minutes into the movie. So that's when we hit him with the old Jack Johnson. With a pretty pair of clay made of monsters, one looks like a Ninja Turtle made of lava with a quintuple deck of mess of memories, and the other one's a big bean kitty cat dug it for with no reason bites on the other one. Yes, siree, take it from me. Are you go bet you're Robert McKee. Indeed, we need to succeed. We'll take heed and follow your lead. Your disc consists of this pile twist upon twist, and we can't miss. Empty out your draft folder. How about a trinary summer robot? Yeah, you see, it's a piece of cake. Ooh, can they also grill some steak? Sure, bring, bring on, on and on and on and on those cons. Yes.
magical. Guys, this is just me. Our these inflatable chickens were good enough to eat. Oh, so succulent. Um, we're not hearing you, Crow. Finally. Oh, Tom, be nice. Uh, Crow, did you connect to your audio? Ooh, ooh, let me be Crow's voice. I'm much easier to listen to. <clears throat> I'm Crow T. Robot. I think I'm better because I'm taller than Tom, and I think that makes me special. I do not sound like that, and I know it makes me special. Gentle bots, gentle bots, please. It's Thanksgiving. Tom, apologize to Crow. I don't wanna. Tom. Fine. Sorry, Crow. You're temporarily forgiven. If it's any consolation, I think we're all struggling from some pretty severe Zoom fatigue lately. Mm -hmm. You're right, GPC. Mm -hmm. Tom, maybe you just need to try some coping mechanisms. Whenever I get Zoom fatigue, I just keep my video off so no one can see me in my pajamas. And in fact, this is probably the first day in a month I'm wearing anything besides my pajamas. And I do yoga. My tubing is so long that I'm actually doing yoga in the other room right now. Oh, I've got a coping mechanism. Show tunes! I assign everyone in the meeting a role, and then we all take turns reenacting Broadway musicals. This usually ends up just becoming the meeting after a while. Oh, sure, that's fine if you like boring stuff. I cope with a game. I tell others in the meeting that I've hidden an explosive in their computer, and that will detonate in five minutes if they don't dismantle their machine and kill the ignition. Bro, that's not very nice. Uh, maybe not, but you should see the look on their faces. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, Emily, you might want to check the hard drive of your laptop. Wait, wait, what did you do? So... Did she just turn off her video, or did you actually put an explosive in her computer? I can't remember. Oh, my pumpkin pie is ready. And speaking of pie and food in general, the next film you voted for on MST3K.org is Experiment 1008, Final Justice, with Joe Don Baker. Okay, everyone. Who's up for a Stephen Sondheim medley? Oh, that pie won't cool itself. <laughs> All right, a solo performance then. <clears throat> and now, my friends from Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street. <laughs> oh, that lovable scamp. There wasn't anything wrong with my computer and, oh, where'd everybody go? Hmm. Must be turkey sign. <sighs> we'll get him next time, Stephen. In the not too distant future, Somewhere in time and space Mike Nelson and his robot pals Are caught in a nasty place They try to survive the wrath of Pearl Just an evil gal who wants to rule the world From her castle below she sets her sights above Just to torture all her captives on the satellite of love Hi everyone, Mike Nelson here on the Satellite of Love. This is Tom Servo, and Tom's got something to say. Thank you, Mike. <clears throat> Mike, folks, 
1984, the techno mega giant band named Yes released a song in which they assured us that the owner of a lonely heart is much better than the owner of a broken heart. Yeah, great song. I remember that. As do we all, Mike. As do we all. But my point is simply this. They introduced a profound topic and then barely scratched the surface. They told me nothing. How does the owner of a lonely heart compare to, say, the owner of a broken gas fireplace? Or for that matter, to the owner of a perfectly functional cheese slicer? Well, as the owner of a lonely heart, how do I stack up against the owner of a pencil? I mean, come on. Yes. I don't think it's up to yes, yes. to come up with every possible permutation well, of brought it up, Mike, and there's so much more to consider. What about the owner of a parcel of land in Montana versus the owner of a pie? We'll uh, be right how back. does the owner of a jar stack up against the owner of a split level? Greetings, gumshoes. Today's caper, someone has stolen the MST3K Turkey J Marathon. Oh, wait, you're, uh, you're watching it. Right now. Never mind. We found it. We found it. Okay, now we've done it. Every time we say owner of a lonely heart, we get a yes orchestra hit. All right, hey, hang on. Test, test. Owner of a lonely heart. Well, for now, let's just avoid owner of a, you yeah, know, a lonely <laughs> heart. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, Pearl. Nelson, thank goodness it's you. I needed to talk to a loser. <laughs> oh, we have fun, don't we, brain guy? Oh, we do. We, we really do. But you know, anyone can. That's oh. right. You see, I realized that with the large staff necessary to taking over the world, I need to keep the workplace loose and fun. <laughs> and studies show that if I do, you morons will be more productive. <laughs> hey, you want some tips on how to have fun? You should see this place on a Friday. <laughs> yeah, it is nuts! <laughs> I'm sure. Well, let's get started. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I think everyone up here is crazy. Yeah, I tell my friends, I'm not sure whether I work on a satellite or at the nut house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try and keep to our schedule. I'll tell you who's funny. Crow. Crow is the cut up oh, around man. Come on. <laughs> Don't drink milk and talk to this fellow, or it will come out your nose. No, <laughs> come on. Look, shut up! Okay, why don't we start with an illustration of how humor can lighten up a stressful situation. Brain guy? Oh, sure. <clears throat> Excuse me, Pearl. Business, business, deadline, merger, merger, stock option, acquisition... I'm sorry, what was that? 
I was busy having eyeballs that will stay in their sockets. <laughs> <laughs> Do you begin to see how creativity can lead to productivity? Well, no, I just kind of depressed. Yeah, mostly I feel sad and achy. <sighs> Well, I'm glad you had fun. Bobo, let's send them their movie, Final Justice, starring the dyspeptic Joe Don Baker. As soon as I'm done wearing big funny goosey teeth! Hey! Get to work! What the hell do you think this is? Law college? You don't make me pay you! Wow, I'm terrified and delighted! <laughs> the <boobies. Hello. laughs> Cowboy music. Let's just turn back, shall no, we? No, we can't sit right there. Heavy rain continuing through the night, clearing tomorrow. And now here's an update on the car bombing in Dallas. Oh, yeah. Building contractor Larry Wayne is in critical condition <gasps> at Parkland Hospital. The Texas Ranger Organized Crime Unit is investigating. Hmm? Good luck, boys. And now back to our music. Ooh, I wish I was illiterate so I didn't have to read that. Please, can I have just one more justice? Mm -mm. He came, he saw, he acted with Bill McKinney. Oh, sounds like they hired Livingston Taylor. Oh. Is he dead? Hey, hey it was on a black seat. Some enchanted evening. <laughs> Dang, this is pouring out there, TJ. How are we doing tonight? Anything happening? No, no, no. Nothing up? Nah, uh, big fat nada. That's me. Listen, TJ, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Yeah. How's the diet coming? What are you, my mother? No, TJ, what I am is your friend. And Jimmy Dean. And you know you got less than three months before your next annual. I'll make it. Well, not unless you get off your get some exercise, mm -hmm. and you stop eating those damn donuts. And quit drinking baby oil. Father Guido Sarducci. <laughs> An editor they scrape from the bottom of the barrel every spring. Road hog! The DP is an Austrian prince. <laughs> oh, Tom Wolf, great. Hey, hombre. <laughs> Executive producer, the Sun King. I'm really sorry. I can't make another claim on my insurance. Raiden Clark, the producer of Hobgoblins, we're doomed! Oh, oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, if you're gonna whack a guy, get a decent battery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get out the manual. If you've killed someone, turn to page 37. There's no way any other board. If we get out of Texas, we're safe, right? Uh, oh, here, boss. If you killed someone and you have our limited edition, turn to page 43. You know you're the most qualified deputy sheriff in the whole damn state. All them years up in Dallas and that training must be worth something. In Dallas wasn't all my fault. I didn't kill all those people all by myself. Most of them. I bagged my limit that day, that's for sure. Killing rules. Of course, you know, TJ, I think I uh, might have kept the senator's brother out of it. Uh, he was doing dirty. Yeah. He pays a price, just like all us ordinary folk. Yeah. So you get booted out of Dallas, and I end up with the best deputy sheriff in Texas. That's her backstory. Somehow just don't seem fair. Yeah, Mama never said life was fair. Uh, pass the sausage. I pay the price. Listen, man. I'm gonna go see the old lady. You take care. If anything happens, give me a call. All right. Get some sleep, all right? Yeah. And put a Glade air freshener in here, okay? No, oh, Bob, wait a minute. Yeah? The photos came back from the drugstore. Oh. There are pictures of my lunch yesterday. Look at that. Look how nude I am. Isn't that nice? Yeah, Trevor's a cute kid, all right. You're a lucky man, Bob. Yeah. Uh oh. Hey, you <laughs> have to mess with our cars on a night like this. Mm -hmm. Hey, hold it right there, you guys. Yep. 
<laughs> hey, that was the same shot. <laughs> exact same. So what goes on in Texas? Opening fire on cops, killing presidents, the whole Bush thing? I mean, what the hell? The brisket is in the... Uh. Oh, my heart's shutting down again. Hang on. It'll be a lot of fun to shoot him now. I mean, he's going to die anyway. He just bleached his hair and shaped it into a hat. It's, it happened one night, only gay. You killed the combo. Listen, you sure had to explain to them what we are doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Come on, the board has got to be somewhere near here. Strange Texas brawl. Mm -hmm. And then it's Europe, kiddo. It's Europe. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> the sun is blotted out as Joe Don Baker approaches. All right, halt or I'll fart. <laughs> Can you prove he's not Hoyt Axton? <laughs> ah, now it all becomes, huh? <laughs> Music from the Policewoman soundtrack. We have to cross the river into Italy. They found a Taco Bell? Big deal. Yeah. First time water has hit his pants in over a year. At least from the outside. <laughs> the guy on the right is from the neck. Right there. Now over four inches. Good. Relax, Tony. It's got all Dorothy here. It's got all Dorothy here? You can do nothing to us. You're American. We are across the border. I ordered him to me. Just to land in the dirt. Quick, distract him with a monster choli. You think you can take me? Go ahead, on. He's sweating palm kernel oil. It's your move. Uh, him or me? His chest hair is on fire. I just want a Lazzaroni. In the time it takes him to fall, the government in Italy changes three times. You son of a... What? 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 He's the son of a preacher man? Son of a son of a sailor, maybe? He absorbed all the water. Donnie! <laughs> Donnie! Donnie! Son of a something. You don't have the right to do this. I got all the right I need. Now get off your knees, you son of a. Same thing you Come said. On, you yellow belly. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I want you to draw. Come on. It's not a shooting people from the dark more your style. You think you can take me? Go ahead on. Here's my meaty flank. It's your move. You'll pay for my brother. I swear you'll pay. Ooh, oh. you. <laughs> you kill my brother, I'd barbecue you. Now get up, go for your gun. You'll save my gun when the time comes. I swear on God, they're gonna pay for this. I'll kill you, but I won't curse you. And then you killed like it was my partner. I ought to kill you on general principle. Said I'm gonna take you to Texas and justice. <laughs> you got the right to remain silent. Oh, he is a real cop. And all that other stuff. Boom.
I'm Tom Servo, and I'm here on behalf of Alterniversal Productions. We're the company that writes and produces and performs MST3K in all its many iterations, from the TV series to our live shows to our own comic book series from Dark Horse Comics. Last October 30th on Halloween Eve, we produced a new event called Hodgson's Puppet Camp, and it was hosted by the cast of MST3K Live and featured some of the most interesting puppetry and variety acts working today, including Puddle's Pity Party, Bear from Bear in the Big Blue House, Toily T. Paper, and Wayne White, the puppet visionary behind Pee Wee's Playhouse, who was on hand for an in-depth conversation about his life and work in puppetry. This has been Tom Servo with your Turkey Day 40 Seconds. Alterniversal. Yeah! Alterniversal. Thomas Jefferson's Geronimo III. It's hmm? God. Apache. It was pronounced Geronimo. An Apache, Texas Sheriff? This is where we'll to. Now, you'll be working with the Italian authorities on this, so just do as you're told. My God, this is going to be a wonderful piece of international PR. It's not my job to extradite. I'm a deputy sheriff, not a border patrol. Mom may be a real cowboy suit. Normally I would, but you're sort of a hero to the Italians. You know, big Texas sheriff and all. I want to personally thank you for catching this guy. What I get out of this? A medal. A medal? I think. Oh, frost there. You son of a... <laughs> you see, Mr. Palermo has been a major source of embarrassment to the Italian government. That's hard to do. He's made contracts in four continents that went off. Been a busy boy, huh? Oh, hi. Hi right around, cowboy. Hey, what makes you think you can handle a guy like me? Uh huh. You don't know anything. You're going to Europe. Do you know how harsh the toilet paper is over there? Parli italiano. Ti parlo francese. Hmm? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah, licking Sie me. If I'd known you was gonna be such a fuss, I'd have dusted your ass back on a border when I had a chance. You son of a. Oh, you get your chance, cowboy. Can make a book on it. It would be called Getting Your Chance. Just turn Mr. Palermo here over to the Italian authorities, get them to sign him off, and you can go back to Texas and enjoy yourself. Hmm. Who knows? You might like Europe. Guests of Final Justice fly TWA. Darling, what is your name? Rod Butch. No place, man. Shut up. John Lovitz refuses a drink. As does Andy Warhol. Let's talk loudly about our SUV. This reminds the pilot he's been a failure in life. I'll announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a failure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking. We're experiencing some technical difficulties. Nothing to be alarmed about. However, we will not be proceeding on to Sicily. We will be landing at the nearest island, Malta. Could I have another meal? What the hell's Malta? It's a beautiful island nearby. So like Galveston? Yes, plenty of room for development in Malta. Malta, makers of fine crosses, knights, and falcons. Please proceed to passport control. Uh, ma'am. Can I have another meal? Please. We're just planning to be ready to go on to Sicily. I'm sorry, sir. It appears not until tomorrow. We've made arrangements for overnight accommodations. You must proceed to customs. So, so no meal. Just great. Here you go. Air Malta, flight 110. Now departing for London. Gate 12. Paging, mm, the rough Kassar, sex got out of hand. Yeah, I don't want to be down here. Yeah. Thanks. Yes, sir. Put those bags in the back, did we, pal? The three-inch taxi cab driver. <laughs> okay, uh, we're two tax. Police headquarters. Police headquarters, are you in some trouble, sir? Just trying to get police headquarters in. Carry this up front with you. We'll do boss. We'll do boss. Yes, Thanks, sir, boss. Man, I can't believe I'm being seen with Joe Down Baker. Where do you come from, Tex? Texas. Oh, Texas. I knew, I knew. Do you know John Wayne? Casey, yes. <laughs> Americans, eh? Hey, Fowl, you're on the wrong side of the road. Get no, it over. no. This I'm is the right. mausoleum We're district. On the left side. In Malta, we drive on the left. There's our new convention Central center. It was built in 1411. You from Sicily? Sicilian. Ah, Siciliano. Hey, hey. Did I tell you not to talk? Hey! I got that, eh? Did I tell you not to talk to him? Tell you what, how about you just shutting up and take me to the police station, huh? Okay, hey, watch this guy. Oh, the Maltese car! 
<laughs> oh, I do that every now and then. Come on, come on, get out of here. Uh, Move it. Yeah, rush hour on the 4.05. Sorry, I'm just trying to pass you. Your luggage hitting a gorilla, that's different. <laughs> Joe Don whizzes it in record time. Cars provided by Matchbox. Please don't shoot. Don't worry. Sounds sympathetic. Give me room on my side, you jerk. No, you bugger. Oh, my butt. The Vatican Bank gets serious. Jodon Baker's famous delayed reaction farts. Revenge is a dish best served with laughter and giggles. And God sends a door chassis from heaven. His boots are from Gateway Computer. Superintendent, just so we'd like to see you. Ah. Oh, God darn. All right. Carl, quit playing toll bridge. Hmm. You know, I'm glad they went with the frescoes instead of the drop ceiling with the acoustical tiles. Man, it'd be great to put a slip and slide in there, huh? Oh, cool. Yes. Excuse me, sir. You wanted to see the American? Oh, yes. I'll get to you later. Menachem Begin transferred to Malta. Sorry to have arrested you, Sheriff Geronimo, but you understand. We had no way of knowing who you were. It's pronounced Geronimo. Oh, yes, yes. You have my personal apologies. Not necessary. Your superior, Mr. Wilson, in Washington, is on my speaker. And uh, he would like to talk to you. Uh, please, do sit down. Um, please, no Texan asses on my desk. Mr. Wilson, are you there? Yes, go ahead. Let me apologize once again for disturbing you at your home at this late hour in America. That's perfectly all right, Superintendent. The suit is Geronimo with you. The big dumpling in the weird suit? Yes, sir. He's right here. You screwed it up, cowboy. What happened? Well, he had a briefcase. As near as we can tell, Palermo's people in some way tampered with the aeroplane and forced it to land before it could get to Sicily. Now, you listen to me, Geronimo. The Maltese and Italian authorities will handle this from now on. I want you to catch the next plane back to the United States and file your report. You understand? <laughs> You saying I set up? That's what the man said, cowboy. I guess you were right. I should have sent one of my boys from immigration instead of a small town Texas sheriff. Superintendent Mifsud, thank you once again for your assistance. And Geronimo, you have your orders. Thank you again, Superintendent. Goodbye. Always a pleasure to help. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Good luck in your continuing fight against Dennis. Mm. Roast stem salad? You must learn to relax, Joseph. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have a new assignment coming up in a few weeks. Where? The Far East. Good. I like Asian cuisine. Besides, I haven't been there in almost a year. Or oh, has it been that long? Who's the hit? The banker. I'm ready. Hey, don't do that with the rope. Yeah. I'll get you off this island in less than a week. A week? A week. Please, don't come on. I'll get crazy without doing anything here. Come on, please. <laughs> Hello, sister. When I was your age, uh, Joseph, I sometimes appreciate <laughs> Okay, hang on. Check this out. Huh? Okay, watch. See? And there. Wow. Same shot used twice. <laughs> Continuity. Uh uh. Hey, Mike, come in here. You got to see this. It's time to complain to Pearl. Hey, Pearl, these movies you send us. Oh, good one, Nell Dork. What do you want? I'm busy. Look at that. Mike's tripping, oh. Pearl. <laughs> yeah, again. What's his problem? You see, sometimes Mike just trips. Uh-huh. Would you get him to stop? This is just one of those times. Oh, I see. 
you're complaining. You're making the point that once in a while these movies leave a little something to be... Oh, can't talk now. Mike's oh. tripping. Ooh. Look, I get it. I'll get back to you. Mike's oh. tripping. Ooh. Okay, fine. Now can I... Sorry, Mike's oh. tripping. Gotta go. Ooh. I get the point. Would you stop and let me... What's that you say? Mike's oh. tripping. Ooh. Okay, I promise I will never send another bad movie with Joe Don Baker in which a dark-haired sheriff in a small role gets shot and slides out a wall twice. Okay? Happy? Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, it was hard, but it was worth it. Mm-hmm. Yep, we'll be right back. Nice job. <laughs> oh, oh, Mike's tripping. Oh, oh. I'll say. Hello world, Cynthia Forrester here, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. And this holiday season, remember that clones are people too. Kind of. The Maltese Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. Ooh. The gun belt theme. I'm sure glad we get to see Joe Don's accessories. Come on in, it's open. Oh no, what's open? It's on our table. Superintendent Geronimo? Huh? Oh, you're not ribs. Oh, I thought it was room service. It's Geronimo, Deputy Sheriff Geronimo. What you want? Superintendent Luxu sent me to see if I can help you with anything. Can you help me up? The uh, only thing I really want here, honey, is Palermo. I don't think you can help me there. Oh, I'm certain we will capture him. He can't possibly get away. Superintendent Luxu will see to that. In the meantime, since you've got the rest of the day with nothing to do and it's carnival time, I thought maybe I can show you around our island. Uh, what did you say after the? Ah, uh, thanks anyway, honey. Oh, she has no idea how lucky she is. Yeah. Carnival? It's a big carnival. Can I get a balloon? That's what that noise is all about. Someone tossed me up a calzone. Hey, go east! Hey, go east! Hey, go east! Oh, it's the Lady Elaine Fairchild float. <laughs> hey, you really think Palermo might still be on this little piece of rock you call Malta? Positive. How big is this place? Well, the main island is only nine miles wide by 17 miles long. Cow pastures big enough in Texas. My people! Yeah. Oink, oink, oink. Might be pretty hard to hide out in a place like this. I think I will take a look around, talk to some people. Not getting anything done in this hotel room. Well, not anything you need to know about. 
Elaine Bennis disapproves. It's double chins on his eyelids. And the Maltese are excited. They think he's bummed Phillips. The kisses softened their act. Hey, it's Guccio, the famous huh. Maltese children's character, Guccio. Guccio. Use anything to tide me over till lunch. Eddie Rabbit's also visiting Malta. <laughs> Clowns, terrifying in any country. Pay $100 for the rest of that gelato. Damn. Not even walking tall? Come on, you must have seen me in that. Tammy Faye Baker. Even the dead enjoy carnival. <laughs> hey, John Major goes club hopping. Man, the embassy in Malta rocks. <laughs> We're out of beef for us, so this is the last bull shot. It's the aerobics competition on ESPN. The audience is facing the other way, Debbie. Both these strippers like me. The one on the right is the Miles Davis of strippers. Well, I guess we better run. Oh, Kermie, take a look at my good stuff. Hey. Bobo, I didn't know he was in this movie. Ooh. There he is. The Statue of Liberty after retirement. Well, happy St. Europe Day, everybody. Ah, did you dose me, Mike? <laughs> Jeez. I wish you were a root beer float. Hey, wait, where are you going? Wait for me. Wait. Let's beat it or my huge Maltese fan base will crush me. Dennis Weaver. <laughs> A float got loose. Oh no, it's Joe Don Baker. Sorry. Yeah, I'm Star of Mitchell, thank you. Yeah, Bit Barton Goldeneye. Yep. Hugo Boss and his bodyguards. Watch out, stand up. You better stand up wind to me. Hold it. Mr. Little to the left. Good. Joseph Palermo. Where is he? Mr. Palermo, paging Mr. Palermo. Hi, goon. Okay, that's close enough. Yeah, yeah. No, come on, no closer, no, no, please. No, 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 no. Enzio, there's a cowboy. Oh, oh, cowboy. This guy's taking too long in the phone booth when I gotta pee. Wow, he's wearing a Chia Pet hat. <laughs> None of them are sponge worthy. Think you can take me to a pizza place? Giuseppe Don Baker. Go ahead on. Could that be Hercules? Hmm? Oh, oh, no. 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 Jackie O. The ugly, the ugly, and the ugly. <laughs> the last thing a sausage sees. Hava on the gate, hava. Oh, please don't fight. <laughs> when fat kills fat. Let me fall and turn so that these delicious Roma tomatoes roll right into my mouth. Give me my jockey back. Hold it. Wait a minute. Don't do anything stupid with that kid. Let's pick up something hot with him. I'm blowing his brains out. Come on, let the kid go, you Give me. Give me. Look here, I'm running away. Come on. Let's talk. We're drifting apart. Come on. 
Don't do anything. Don't juggle or call your aunt. All right. Think you can take me? Go ahead on. It's your move. You saved Napoleon. Oh, Josephine. <laughs> I will fart on your head as my revenge. Superintendent Nixon would like to see you. All right. Uh, All right. My little boats are coming through. How you doing? Come on, shut up, Carl. <laughs> I'm wearing spurs on your Italian marble. You must listen to the story from the beginning, then you will understand what really happened. Excuse Please. me, sir. You want to see the American? Ah, yes. Mm. Yes. Mr. Wilson from Washington would like to speak to you. The accursed menace has struck again. Are you there, Mr. Wilson? Damn it, Geronimo. <laughs> what the hell is going on over there? We've had excellent relations with Malta for over a hundred years. You trying to change all that? Now, what the hell's going on? The situation demanded action. What I did was appropriate. I recognized the fact that the hell Palermo get loose from me, so I mm, tried cheese to it. That is correct, sir. The situation was dictated by the suspects. They were suspects. Don't show me. Now look, cowboy. You do exactly as Superintendent Mifsu says. Do you read me, Geronimo? Exactly. Then get your ass on the next plane back yeah. to Texas. And obey Lieutenant Tiramisu till then. Do you read me? I read you, sir. Superintendent Mifsud, I am little. thank you for your understanding. And once again, let me apologize on behalf of the United States government for the actions of Sheriff Geronimo. Apology accepted. Thank you. And if I can be of any further assistance, please let me know. Yes, I will. Let's hope we have no further need for your assistance. Goodbye. He looks like Rue McClanahan. Where's my gun? Your weapon? Yeah. Your weapon is staying locked in my what? desk until you leave on tomorrow's plan. Understand? It's your country. Please, try and remember that. Really, sir, I must protest. Geronimo did nothing to It's all right, me. honey. Situation's all been settled, hasn't it, Superintendent Bissoud? Look, thanks for speaking up for me in there, honey. But it really wasn't necessary. I didn't do it for you. I did because it was the truth, and it's my job to tell the truth. Oh, great. So what do you think your job is? Yeah, well, party. Well, the way I see it, it's the law officer's job to get the lawbreakers off the street. Make the streets safe for the good people, get rid of the scum. Mm -hmm. What about the law? The police officer must obey that, too. More gravy, please. Hey, pal. You got any mailocks? Mailocks? No, sir. 
And bring me a tall glass of milk, okay? Glass of milk, yes, sir. And a check. Oh, and another veal head. Are you okay? Yeah. Look, Officer Kassar. Officer, hot. Let me set you straight about the law. Now, of course, the lawman must obey the law. But the law must be just. Now, there's lots of bad people out there using the law for their own thing. Well, some of us got to stand up for justice. Seems awful simple to me. It is. Tell the politicians and the lawyers get involved. You know how they are. Your milk, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mmm, barium. These arteries are just looking at each other, shaking their heads. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, sure, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, well, well, I did get shot up a few years ago in Dallas, and sometimes it acts up a bit. Maybe you're not too small to food. Oh, no, food's good. Thank you. It sure is a lot of it, too. <laughs> Fits right in with my plan. Uh, like how much is that in uh, American money? On the Malta Police Department. Oh, well, thank you, little lady. You're welcome, huge man. Iris Mama taught me never to pass up a free meal. Can't you tell? Ah, boy, up with people, it sure changed. I did that before I had kids. <laughs> Brought to you by the Triangle Foundation. What are they, cowboys, pirates, hardware store clerks? Ew, Valerie, one of the guppies is dead. What can I get you? I have some of the rocks. We don't have mixed drinks. Beer, wine, or straight liquor only. We should breathe that. You have Sprite? Sprite bourbon, okay, Faith. Really had his heart set on a Ramos gin fizz. The Indigo Girls' early days. Don Lavana, I'm honored. What can I get you? Nothing, thank you. There's still a million lira cover. I'd like to see you, Brad. Get the worth of that cowboy that I'm in this bar. We'll be waiting for him, okay? What are we the water? Can you come in the dressing room, tell me how these pants fit? You could have me find Palermo or what? My instructions are to show you around our island. Well, I'm not here as a damn tourist. I'm here to get Palermo. <laughs> Where to keep the broads? How do you mean? Hookers, hustlers, prostitutes. I heard well, that. Years ago, when sailors used to come to our island, there was a place called the Gut, but. Uh, That'll be it. Which way is it? We don't accept coupons. I'm gonna put on hot pants and go undercover. You want a pig like Palermo? You go the pig side where you want us. Well, you'd know pigs. <laughs> It is the Buford Puss. Excuse me. Not for any price. I hate to interrupt your business, but look at this Italian guy named Joe Palermo. He's about six feet tall, 180 pounds, real sharp dresser. I wonder if you can help me find him. For where there's. Oh. Take American money? Yeah, all currencies. Now look, I'm not an expense account, so 20 bucks you're gonna have to do, huh? Well, you find him in Smuggler's Tavern. It's two blocks up from here. And then go left again. You know this place? All right, thank you, honey. They better not be lying to me. No. Good luck. Pedal lots of sex. Why am I not getting any business? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Thanks, Cher. Rhea Perlman. He's hanging around looking for some black market Propecia. Hey, Crow, you've got a golden ass. Shut up. <laughs> Boy, they really spelled Sony wrong. He's guarding Malta's only plant. We'll see with your beef ribs, you get a little more meat, whereas your pork ribs offer a higher fat content. Cheap crap, get your cheap crap here. John Riss Davies for sale. Enjoy my fuzzy puckered midriff. Mine too. Mine too. Oh, my tummy hurts. Oh. See you in your nightmares. <laughs> What's the matter? The big set up. There's a guy on a balcony up there. It's an ambush. There's two more. Palermo's men. I will sell no wine. He watched my back. Watch it jiggle as I move. <laughs> My first fat layer. 
<laughs> I'm allergic to vermiculite. My operation game! <laughs> the spinners are getting away. No, now what was that for? I'm telling the mob. Mob, he's shooting at me! Remind me to buy something cute for Mr. Wilson. Stop or we'll surrender. Hold it on there, Sheriff! Maria! Maria! Do you realize you're with Jordan Baker? I want every police officer in Malta to get this order. Arrest Sheriff Geronimo on site. He is armed and dangerous. Use what precaution is necessary. Yes, sir. The streets of San Fran, Malta. Nanu, Nanu. His weight is forcing him down the stairs. That was the gun's fault. Meatloaf, Texas Ranger. Well, I remember every bit of thing. <laughs> Put the babies down for a nap and wake Uncle Steve up from his because you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Seriously, Uncle Steve, you're drooling on the good couch. Goosey, oh, goosey, oh, did you know I'm goosey, oh, friend of Maltese children everywhere, e oh, goosey, oh, goosey, oh, goosey, oh, I bet you know, see, oh, oh, I get it, he's goosey, oh, hmm. adorable, yeah, friend of Maltese children everywhere, e oh, yep, goosey, oh, like in the movie, yep, 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 yep. yep. This must be the awful of the sick and perverted mind of Mike Nelson. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep.
God, I hate cute. Oh, crow, only one thing to do. Yep. Get it! Come here, you pet speak. I'll say this. And then I'll yeah. just juice your cook. It's gonna make some pate out of you. There you go. Walk around now, buddy. There. Ooh. Look at him go. Hey, guys, what's going on? What the happened? Heck? What? Ah, ah. Oh, come on, Nelson. It's your annoying gob of paper mache, which you so ingratiatingly called Guccio. No, yeah. this, this is Guccio, the, the beloved folk hero and TV star of Malta. Uh, uh, hmm. Guccio was sent up here as a goodwill ambassador. He he oh. teaches children lessons about love and sharing and hygiene, and and you killed him. Uh-oh. Wow. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, and uh, sorry, Malta. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we try to destroy only things that are specifically yours. Movie <laughs> feeds by <laughs> Goosey! Sorry, Goosey! <laughs> oh, Just don't tell Malta, okay? <laughs> Poor Goosey! Oh. Mm. Oh, gotta get to my shift as altar boy. <laughs> Get a lot now. I got one shot left. Or the cops. Hey. Check it out. Looks like God's doing all right for himself. Yeah. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to get through this thing called life. Life. <laughs> oh, great. There's announcements. Ooh, our new archbishop's cute. I hear the hosts are delicious here. You see him? No, I don't know where he went. Uh-oh, he ascended into heaven. Take a look around. Uh, you know, go ahead on. Hey, you know, the problem with churches is that they wear their religion on their sleeves. I mean, I go into a church, I don't want to be assaulted with God, God, God all the time. Got to bundle up before I whack that guy. Lord, please make my hair a tangled gray mass. Thank you. I'm just going to read from the Robert James Waller book today. Your homily was directed at me last week, wasn't it? Oh, hi, man. <laughs> uh, Domino's Pizza delivers, I don't know. Please let me kill a lot of people. Wow, apparently the Malta Vikings are playing today. Everybody's going out to those big mega cathedrals in the suburbs now. Father, 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 I want to confess. I can't. But please, Father, I want to confess. Please. God is dead, we're closed. I overcooked my brejols. Yes, yes. Hey, Father, I am a very yes. good woman. Yes, don't worry, don't worry. He needs more also, I can shut us. Grumpy, so I yes, don't and worry, I anything you want, dog. anything you what? say, anything you, you say. What do you think I want? you say? Yes, <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, Whatever. Whatever. please, please, just relax. I'm gonna light a candle to St. Tom Landry. And then I shot him 30 times. Yes. We're gonna look behind these side doors. We need a priest, they locked or what? Look, just stop but sinning, father, all right? Father, I remember something I had more sins to confess. Oh. Hold that, pal. Hey, wait a minute. Guess he's a felonious monk. Oh, <laughs> man. Please have hosts at Walgreens. Please have hosts at Walgreens, please. He's a beef town chunk on a Saturday night. Dun, 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 dun. Bill Carver. And there's the Malta Navy. That's it. All of it. Hello, Major Tom. Hello there, Major Tom. How's it going, Tom? <laughs> oh, I hate running in long dress and heels. I'm going to nail some theses to his head. So sad, the Operation Petticoat set sitting out there rusting. 
You'll have to grease me and push me through here. Good props in this movie. <laughs> I had to chase a monk once, sold me a bunch of moldy bread. I like look, I'm out of bullets. I'm gonna run a blood on him. God, God, there's a guy chasing me! A Franciscan 10K race. Yeah, the winner gets to relinquish more of his worldly goods. Look, they're going by a house of blues. You son of a... You're the son of a... Yes, every exciting angstrom of their chase will be shown. This is papal bow, man. Oh, I gotta quit putting off that bypass surgery. I'm gonna look up his dress. <laughs> yes, asses splashed across the screen. Thank you. I'm scared of heights where there's no food. Where? Do you see him? No, I don't know where he is. Well, keep looking. I'm gonna lay down for a while. Ah, oh, he was down jigging with the losers and steerage. Oh, right in the lunch. Like punching a bag of Irish oatmeal. Battling the ghost of Christmas future. You screwed me on the royalties to that chant album. I'll flagellate myself, thank you. Oh, thank you for saving me, tiny woman. Damn it, I forgot about Vespers. I'm gonna go catch some monkfish. Oh, I remember this episode of Super Monk. Huh? Super Monk went bad for a while, but then he got better. Yeah. Damn boat load limits. I'm always exceeding them. Mm. We're taking on water. Oh, that's just me sweating. <laughs> There's a bunch of armed nuns on jet skis out there waiting for him. My robe does wick away moisture. He's leaving a Frangelico slick. Hi, <laughs> Lost City of the Incas. Ow, 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 this was all to get a shot of the pack, Norse. Yeah. Wow, this movie's really drawing me in to a deep well of despair. <laughs> oh, man. This isn't going to end until they round Cape Horn, is it? Oh, are you looking for me? Why don't men want to join the priesthood anymore? It looks like a blast. Mm. Dangerous for Joe Don to be on the water. Someone's bound to harpoon him. Oh, big gas bubble. <laughs> uh, the Holy See promised air support, but it never came through. <clears throat> this is how the Crusades were fought, too, right? To damn. You know, at any time, Joe Don could lay down a torpedo. You know? <laughs> ah, 
Ah, yes. And now back to the beginning of the chase. Hey. <sighs> Where is the perfect storm when you need it? Wow. That's not a sexual metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal to net monks. <laughs> you know, nets are overrated weapons. Yeah, throw a Danish at them. That would work better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and after all that, our hero is down with one punch. Nice try, Joe Don. I'm off to make Xerox commercials. Hi, everyone. I'm Emily, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Please remember to preheat your TV to 500 degrees. You have failed. No, no, not yet. I get this spot. I swear. These guys, man. We have done many jobs. They're awesome. Many times over the years. You are the best. Falling for you? The best because you had no feeling, no emotion. But now you are trying. He killed Tony. This is special. You've had your chance. Give me 24 hours. I'll kill him. I swear it. I'm afraid not, Joseph. We're going to Euro Disney tomorrow. I ain't gonna need some boys from Rome. This is gonna end in a kiss, isn't it? Don't la mano, please. The heat in the Far East is a gift to you, for the American. Give me 24 hours, that's all I ask you. No, you have one day. Twenty-four hours. Him? Or you? Officer Cassar told me what happened. I guess it could be A Kimbo be vision. But you are a walking disaster area, Sheriff. The last violence we had in Malta was some kids blowing up the toilets at the airport. You come to our country, and there are bodies in this. And furthermore, you, you use our country like, like your own private shooting range. I realize that your name is that of a great American Indian warrior, but this wildness must stop. <laughs> well, I couldn't agree with you more. Palermo's men started shooting at me. I had to defend myself. Yes, yes. I, I cave in. Me. Look, I still think I can help you guys. I mean, I tracked him in Texas. I chased him all over this island of yours. I know him. I know how he thinks. I can get that. Sheriff Geronimo. Geronimo! If there is no. one more yeah, instance, just one more, joke. <laughs> caused by you or not, as God is my judge, I will keep you in custody until your plane leaves tomorrow. Their meal? Your word as an American police officer that you will cause no more problems. 
Is an American police officer? Yes. A giant baby in a hat. You got no word. <laughs> uh, there was no buffet in there. What the hell's the deal? Boss is wrong, Maria. This ain't gonna stop. Look, that fact killed my partner. I killed his brother. There ain't no way this is gonna end up with both of us walking around. But you gave your word to Superintendent McSue. I gave my word as an American police officer. Hell, I'm a Texas lawman. Don't. Please don't do anything else. Superintendent McSue will surely put you away this time. Believe me. I believe you, but that ain't the problem. Now, the problem is I gotta find Palermo before he finds me. Take your pig mask off. The only lead we got is a honky tonky call Smuggler's Tavern where he set me up. I'm gonna go talk to him, good old boys. Smuggler's Tavern. We have strippers and skillet breakfasts. You know, I prefer the Embezzler's Tavern. Yeah. John Baker. Huh. Hmm. A shaved bear. What would it be, Tex? Any Maylocks? Maylock? What the hell is that? Just give me a tall glass of milk. Milk? <laughs> hey, we got a real American cowboy here. Sorry, Tex. No milk. Maybe you help me. Look at this Italian Ooh. guy named Joe Palermo. Oh, uh, that's him dancing. Around six feet tall, 180 pounds. Uh, breasts a little bigger than hers. It's a nice dresser. I just serve drinks. I don't pay attention who drinks them. I wouldn't like it if I found out she was lying to me. Well, you're fat. I know a lot of Italians. I'm talking to this man here. Yeah. He's just minding business and drinking beer. You don't like beer, eh? He likes milk. <laughs> Here, have some of my tea. A bar full of Stuart Margolises. So, Don, what do you do? Oh, it's the beer. It no matter, I had him beer proof. I'll tell you what, the boys. Why don't you just get down there and clean your boots? And we'll talk about Italian. Did I mention he likes milk? Hold it, hold it. Just a minute. Let's go corral horses. I don't want any trouble here. Get the milk lover. Stop this fighting. Well, I do not like him. Well, you don't want Joe Don throwing a stool at you. Uh, okay, I'll wait. All right. Look out, men, he has an inner tube. Fame! He's winning, but these guys are Maltese. How yeah. is that? He's battling a red hot chili pepper. Three! Up, oh, the hall monitors are here. Yeah. Ding ding, bridge up. Stop it, Carl. Oh. Let's watch him Q-tip his ears now. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, it has been a long day, Sheriff. Yes, it has. We in Monta will tell stories of you to our great grandchildren. Wait a minute, I didn't start that ruckus. Ruckus? That's what you call it? I prefer fracas. My superiors feel that you should be locked up for a very long time. How would you feel about that? I wouldn't like it, sir. No, I suppose you wouldn't. Our jails are not as comfortable as yours in America, are they? Well, actually, I wish ours were a lot more like yours. And flattery will not help your situation here, Sheriff. Head animal. Actually, I am to blame. If Officer Maria Casa had been with you, this would not have happened. I guess she was not ready for this assignment. Wait a minute. It wasn't her fault. She didn't have a thing to do with this. Oh, don't trouble yourself. Officer Casa has been relieved of further responsibility regarding she's this She's been reassigned. That is correct. Well, it's your business, but let me tell you, she's one hell of a fine officer. Thank you. Say, how about give me about 10 minutes to that bartender? Now, I can get the information out here. I'm not certain you understand the position here, sir. Yeah. My superiors have instructed me in clear terms. You are no longer involved with this case. I have personally questioned the bartender and has no knowledge of Mr. Palermo. Yeah, well, let me talk to him. I can get the information. Your plane leaves in less than 10 hours. Yeah. May I suggest you stay in your hotel and you will be escorted to the airport tomorrow. I'm under house arrest. You could stay in your cell if you prefer. Hey, cut me some slack. Sheriff General. You have fleshy wrists. The choice is yours. Your hotel or your cell. 
Well, don't tell, but... Hey, pal, come here. I want to talk to you. Wait a minute. Listen. Pal? Day seven of his shirt. Sit down. Tell me something. Tom Malton. Was there really a falcon? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, there was. It's a lot of times. You okay? It's an old Heart attack. That's the only exercise he ever gets. Hey. Hey. Ooh. I got hey. work to do, pal. Mm. I'm sorry about this. Ah, I hate it when you throw a fight and nobody stays to help you clean up. Go away, we're closed. Ooh, we're not closed for you. <laughs> I don't want any more trouble. Well, that's exactly what you're gonna get, unless I get some answers about that tally. Now look at that. You know, my ancestors... Were large, soft rocks. They used to skin their enemies. Just peel the skin right off the bone. Well, the trick was to get it all in one peel, like this. Take a sharp knife and just cut layer after layer of flesh. Real experts. The Apaches. Here are the Apaches, have you? The Cabbage Apaches? Say, maybe you want to tell me where I can find this, uh, Joe Palermo? What? Maybe you prefer I show you more about how to skin somebody. this monk. Well, all right. I know this Italian guy who's been messing with one of my dancers. That's all. Where is she? In there, in the dressing room. Better not be lying to me. Or you won't have an unpeeled orange in the place. I'd better call my mother. She can defend me from this big man. People of Earth, you are watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Resistance is useless. I told you. We're not hiring. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. If I just make you realize that you're better off telling me what I want to know mm. than not telling me what I want to know, then you're going to tell me what I want to know. Where do you go for prime rib in this town? But I don't need this trouble. Why you can't speak of something else, huh? What you don't need is trouble from me. I mean, Natalia's a pussycat compared to me. Our hero, a murderous elf who threatens women with coat hangers. <sighs> Look, but... Thank you, I will. Mm. I am a dead lady. If I'm even seen with you... I'll protect you. You can hide in my hat. I hear you looking for me. Hmm? You're gonna have some fun, cowboy. Well, usually the doctor just jabs my vast white buttocks. <laughs> I think it was juiced vegetables. He just can't handle it. 
Fuck, I won. Fight. <laughs> now let's look at this. Ah, here's where I left my ice cream cone. Guess where this is going, Jordan. <laughs> Now put your hand in this bowl of eyeballs. <laughs> Fire bad. <laughs> Jodan Baker is carried to the set of Final Justice. <laughs> They're going to Grandpa's laboratory, Raymond. See, that's the candle they have to light when Jodan uses the bathroom. Yeah, we'll see what Count Chocula has to say about this. Wait a minute. You're all worth some numbers, cowboy. I'm gonna make your death real slow. Because uh, I've drunk. You're gonna pay for my brother. You're gonna pay for him. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun. This is good expectations, man. Uh, so Jodan, we're not, we're not done with the scene, Jodan. Uh, uh, oh. Well, I'm glad we skipped the cavity search. Dolomana, did you want to see me? Yeah, sit down. Oh, he's been invited to panel. It was not wise to bring the American here. He'll be dead in 24 hours, just like I promised. Then kill him and be done with it. Run him over with your Vespa. Quit that, it's too easy. I want to make it slow for him. Just say to it, Mr. Geronimo is dead by tomorrow. Geronimo! You have my word. There he goes again. <laughs> I'm aware of that, Joseph. What? Drunk again? Well, I got the midnight to eight strip shift, so. When I left a load of triangles in the dryer. Take me away, Penwa. I guess I better study for my stripper's board exams. Why did she wear her prom dress to bed? Well, Christian Slater's gonna fly tomorrow. I better get this back to him. Hmm, I sense cheeseburgers. Lap dance home delivery. You said you protect me. Did you mean it? No, Palermo. I won't underestimate him again. You got my word. Okay. No, I really don't care for this remake of A Lion in Winter. Torch holders are an option on newer homes. I uh, should let you know I ate the mattress in my cell. I don't want to replace that. Change into one of my nightgowns and disguise yourself as me. Upstairs. Usually I have night vision goggles for raiding the fridge, but I forgot to bring them with me. Uh, please don't use the guest towels for toilet paper like you did last time. Uh, thank you. Ah, thank you for coming. I'm ready to present my report on Malta. <clears throat> Malta, a nation and a country. Malta is a small archipelago in the Mediterranean Sea near Sicily. The Knights of St. John founded Malta in the Middle Ages. Industries are shipbuilding, manufacturing, and tourism. <clears throat> well, thank you, Crow. That was yeah. very informative. Well, that's all the hard data. Now on to the good stuff. It's interesting to note that the country's population of 350,000 contains more women than men, <laughs> especially since the men are so womany in the first place. Uh, Crow? Hang on, Mike. 
It's no wonder Malta is one of the most conquered islands in history, what with the Maltese men who consistently wet themselves wow. and surrender at the sight of anyone remotely bigger than them. Now this is interesting. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> this population of so-called men is known throughout the world as a gaggle of flaccid ninnies Ooh. whose delicate fingers can barely hold up their stinky Maltese cigarettes. <laughs> Bro, what are you saying? Wait, it gets what? better. Famous oh for breath so bad it could melt steel, wow. these greasy, goat-loving mama's boys are known in the European community for having the tiniest, most shriveled okay, legs. Okay, girl, right. stop. Oh, please, come on. What, Mike, come on. Don't tell me you're going to defend these witless, tight-shirted clouds of walking B.O. Okay, l listen, stop it, okay? There must be something wrong with you. Let me take a look at you. Well, right. Since when have you had the seeding hatred of Maltese men? Well, ever since I was a little boy, Servo. Some forgotten Maltese horror deeply wounded my tender young psyche. Uh, you were never a little boy, Crow. You were built in space. Well, that's pretty traumatic. Maybe I was built by some sweaty, tiny batch Maltese capitulator. Okay, stop it now. I think I found the problem. I think there's a tiny flaw in the coding substructure yeah. of the risk processor. Sure there it is. Was no there doubt is. put there by a lisping, cheese gorge Maltese eunuch. All right, I'll just uh, swap this out and you should be right as rain, okay? All right, uh, there we go. There, uh, now, uh, Crow, what do you think about Maltese men? Uh, who? Maltese men? Ah. <laughs> I don't know. I never really met one. <laughs> okay. There we go. Back to normal. Uh, we'll be right back. Oh, Maltese men! <laughs> well, let me tell you about those puking hairy neck freaks. Grab him! I just, you know, just, stop. Let me just get back. Uh, don't worry. I'll subdue him by laying on him. If I die, I want to be buried next to the Sizzler. He became a pillow. <laughs> Your personal funk is getting to me. <sighs> I fell on my smuckers. Well, to be fair, he never said he'd protect her neck. Wow, they have a strict early checkout policy. Out here in the fields. Get up, cowboy. You got nowhere to go. Not what you deserve. All this time. I'm going to make it easy on you. That little injection I gave you wasn't so bad now, was it? Maybe you like a little more, eh? Aha! Oh. 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 Geronimo, I mean me! <laughs> <laughs> Finally paid off. There he's dead! Oh, right, like his shins wouldn't be protruding through his stomach after that jump. Send him to the boat! Let's go! Son of a bitch! I'm glad that's a nudie suit in name only. Thank you. Oh, no, I think I'll need a freighter. Right now, the screenwriters are asking themselves, have we had a boat chase yet? Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, should we look back at what we've written just to make sure? I or? think I'd remember if we'd done that. Well, if we haven't done one, we should put one in. People love them. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what the screenwriters are saying. The screenwriters are saying that. Ghost boat! Movie Midway had fewer boats than this. Ah, he finally exploded. Packers! Packers! Yes, I can it! I guess. Don't worry, his heart will go ahead on. There's an elephant seal. Oh, that's him. He lives with the fishes. Although they're actually trying to kick him out. Goodbye, cowboy. Meanwhile, there's tsunamis slamming into Italy. This time I'm sure he's dead. I got him. Where is the body? At the bottom of the Mediterranean. How can you be so certain? 
The Lamana. We were several months at sea. The explosion alone would kill anyone. Let's get out of this jukebox. The American has proven it is just not anyone. Well, let's hope that this is done. You're welcome. Gee. Every shark in the ocean and they still can't finish him. He has been missing four or five days, Mr. Wilson. Uh, we have combed the island for him. If this man Palermo got him, I'm afraid he must be dead. Probably buried somewhere far out at sea. We'll never find his body. I don't think so, sir. What makes you say that? I'm just not convinced that Sheriff Geronimo's dead. But I'm Dick Cavett. Me too, sir. That Indian's still alive. Hey, shut up! I feel it. Two fully dressed silkies. Hey, Malta, get a tree! Sadly, his arm was still in there. Hey, my dry cleaning done yet? Here, it is liquid beef. Could I have my nook? Beautiful. I hope they're hiring triangle butted dancers. Excuse me. No, listen. I've already told you all I know. Just one last time, okay? Are you sure that American didn't come back here after the fight? That's right. And I've got some damages which somebody must pay for. Hey! I'm from Malta. If you see that cowboy, tell him I'm looking for him, too. Excuse me, sir. You wanted my final report on Sheriff Geronimo? Yes, I do. Well, I still can't believe it, but nobody's seen or heard from him on the whole island. We're doing our bridal registry. I can't stay here any longer. I gotta get back to the States. I'll be leaving tomorrow. As far as I'm concerned, Thomas Jefferson Geronimo III is dead. Mmm, sun-dried cans. But you nearly hit it. A little more practice. Pull it back hard. But I'm a Maltese male. Sorry. Let me try. You're saving rocks in case there's a rock shortage. I used to have squirrels and jackrabbits back in Texas. That's how we ate. We stuffed dead raw squirrels into our mouths. Wait, they blocked your hat! Well, they hustled him out of the village pretty quickly. But wait, I'm still sick and wounded. Uh-huh, goodbye! Goodbye! Goodbye, civilian. That's thanks a ton with the exchange rate. Everybody's burping at me. I can't smell a thing they're eating. He makes Randy Quaid look subtle and diminutive. Excuse me, go down, baby. Come here. Appreciate it. Just because you won't be here, it's okay. I want you to know that I'll find him for you. Mmm, Alfredo sauce. <sighs> well, hell, for all we know, he's already off this island. Oh, no, I don't think. Our security and customs are very strict. But what if he takes a boat? We have patrol boats around their island. Well, if you think he's still here, I've got a couple hours before my plane leaves. There's a man I want to talk to. Now, wait a minute. You're under strict orders from Superintendent Mifsud not to cause any trouble. I've personally yeah. guaranteed your behavior. I'm not going to misbehave. I just want to ask this bartender a few little old questions. He's just saying he had nothing to do with Palermo showing up here. I told you. I swear. I just met an Italian guy who's been messing around with my guy. That's all. I'm not convinced. I don't believe Palermo just happened to show up. <laughs> You're getting Vitalis on the turtles. Look, I promised that little girl I'd protect her. I didn't make good on that. Where'd he go, Cook a Cook Ken? I don't know. Take it easy, Sheriff. I understand your frustration. I don't understand how you got a movie role. Sheriff, this is not the Wild West. We have laws here. You will spend the night incarcerated. Oh. And I will personally escort you to the airport tomorrow morning. But my butt doubles as my face. 
sorry, I was just following orders. Yeah, I understand orders. You know, there's an old saying. You know you're right, go ahead on. It's right next night. Now that there knows where Palermo is, and I could have got it out of him. Can you, Maria? You've given me a lot to think about. Like, how can one man be that sweaty? Well, we're stuck in a Mobius strip of a movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, officer. No one told me about it. I have the orders right here in my purse. Now, let me see the prisoner. I'm awful nervous with this thing, so don't do anything foolish. Just open up the cell. Hurry up, quick. Open up. I'm a Maltese man. I surrender. Sorry. Well, get in there. <laughs> we'll work on it. Yeah, Anybody thanks. else around? No, I don't think so. Here, I got your gun. A good girl. That's Lieutenant Girl. All right. I'll put brown in serves on this thing. I hope this works out. Because God knows I've just ruined my career. Ah, girls don't have careers. Let's go. Slow down, Sheriff. If anyone sees us, we must not look suspicious. Young lady, took a lot of guts for you to break me out of here. Well, we have a saying in Malta, like you're saying in America. Only here it goes. Right is might. And I believe that getting Palermo is the right thing to do. Yeah, make me some coffee. And I want to help get him. Let's hope your superintendent Mifsu agrees with you. How could I not love him? I doubt it. Hey everybody, you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. And the best part about a marathon? The leftovers the next day. Mmm, leftover marathon. Hi, I'm Tom Servo from the Satellite of Love, and I'm here on behalf of Alterniversal Productions. We are the company that writes and produces and performs MST3K in all its many iterations, from the TV series to our live shows to our own comic book series from Dark Horse Comics. And this year, like every year, we've teamed up with Shout Factory to bring you Turkey Day 2020. In fact, Alterniversal has written and produced each Turkey Day marathon over the last seven years since they were brought back in 2013 with Joel Hodgson hosting. We've loved being a part of your Thanksgiving celebration over the years, and I've always felt that watching cheesy movies with your family is far more edifying than watching the Detroit Lions play football. I'm Tom Servo for Alterniversal, and happy Turkey Day! Alterniversal, yeah! Alterniversal. All right, stop sleeping with Davy Johnstone. No need to wake the little lady. Let's have ourselves a corrective interview. 
Yes, I will go ahead on and love him. The Lamana Villa. Know where it is? Yeah, sure, why? Do you know where it is? Yes, it's one of the nicest houses on the island, and Don Lamana is a very respected uh, businessman from Rome. A uh, friendly bartender says different. Now, where's this guy live? Well, you'll never get there by yourself. I'll have to take you there. Just tell me where the guy lives. Now, look, I've put my career on the line to help you get Palermo. Now, the least you can do is let me help. All right. Now, there's a pier leading up the back way to the villa. Now, if I only had a boat. A gravy boat. No problem. Man, if she was only a roast. <laughs> Why don't you change into her leather action skirt? Ooh, but I'm fine with it. Do you believe that bartender was telling the truth? Yeah. This is the place, all right. They got all the ham you can eat with choice of sides. All right, let me guess. He fails again, the police chief threatens him, he gets put in jail, and it's funny! <laughs> uh -huh. All right, I'm gonna smuggle you in in one of my neck folds. Stay here. No way. Okay, then stay there. Stay there. 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 Stay somewhere. But I've got to help you. All right. Keep an ear out while I take this door in. No, wait, wait. Let's try this. What? Hairpin. Why would I kick a hairpin? Honey, I am impressed. I've been doing this since I was a kid. This is far as you go. But I've just proved that I can help you. You don't even have a gun. The way to help is get some reinforcements with some weapons. But I won't let you go in there alone. You'll never come out mm. alive. Yay. Well, my best bet to get the job done <laughs> is not having to worry about you. Now go on. Do what I told you. Go on. Be careful. Don't team up with any chubby Texans while I'm in here. Right into the guard dog's kennels. <laughs> Gotta turn down the pressure on that today. Oh. Oh, pistol whipping a suspect feels just like Texas. Man, he makes Porter Wagner look underdressed. <laughs> Finish your coffee, Palermo. Please, it's Coco. Maybe you'd like to join me, cowboy. No thanks. I had mine in jail this evening. So we'll be having yours tomorrow. <laughs> so this is the American who's been causing all the trouble. Would you like a rob? I'm very impressed, uh, Sheriff. You seem to have more lives than a cat. You Americans. You're Leo Sayre. Always think you know the answers. But you are always wrong. Lou Ferrigno looks on. Put down the gun. You see, Mike, that's what happened when I shot you that time. You'd never believe me. I see now. Oh, no, I'm getting aroused. Oh, this copy of Mirabella. So this isn't Il Postino, right? Maybe now would be a good time to call him a set of up. I can't take you sitting on me. I'm gonna off myself. Freeze! Get up! I even buy a styrofoam coffee table. <laughs> it was an accident. I didn't mean it. It was his fault. He's mine. I owe this. You just do what you told. I'll take care of the family role. I'll take your orders to Tony Roma? Feel like a sin cowboy, huh? <laughs> it does look fun, I have to say. <laughs> you sure they have stained with your cows, Sheriff? Should have stained my, my cows? Oh. Hey, someone not hideous. All right. Oh. 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 Get on the boat, cowboy. Freeze! Don't anybody move! I'm Jerry Reed. <laughs> Saw that mess upstairs. What'd you guys eat? Wilson, you take care of the big one. I got the little one. 
Let's not do anything hasty. Lots of people get hurt this way. Palermo ain't gonna start nothing, are you? You got less son of a... <laughs> All Palermo does is ambush people. You're not gonna do anything face to face, are you, Palermo? I have some questions I'd like to have answers. Now that Lamana's dead, who's gonna pay me the rest of my money? <laughs> Your money's completely safe. The family of Rome will take care of that. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this, Geronimo. Nobody was supposed to get hurt. Romano paid me a lot of money to keep Mr. Palermo here out of Italy. So confused and hungry. I thought it would be safe using a dumb Texas sheriff like yourself. You figure wrong. Hold it right there, Mr. Wilson. Dennis? Put your gun down. Me? 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 Opa! <laughs> Horse fly in your nose, sorry. Still confused, still hungry. I guess I should thank you, young lady. <laughs> you just sent me $250,000. <laughs> you watch the cowboy poster. I'll watch the cowboy poster. Huh? <laughs> He's the mobster who gives people a stern talking to. <laughs> My watch is caught in your hair. Sure, you come on. See the difference here? Just let me borrow it. Come on. Yes, the longtime Texas Maltese rivalry comes to a head. No. Yeah, if I could only get my sausage fingers around his gun. Oh, Popeye. I'll pick your nose if you scream. Oh, oh, hot, hot gun. Ooh, he's got all juice all over him. And now, the thick, meaty conclusion of Final Justice. <laughs> Take it easy. Well, the gun gets it. I, I mean, the girl. Do it. Throw the f*** the way. Don't be stupid, cowboy. I'll blow the brains out. All over the board. Just throw the gun away. Wait a minute, let's talk. I miss her little chats. You said something Wilson about 250. $50,000? Okay. I was going to have to pay Wilson anyhow. Just give me the gun. We're going to make a deal, huh? You serious? Yeah. All right. I'm putting it away. I just had a really hard day. <laughs> <laughs> You've been down with it, I thought, cowboy. Tell me about it. You know, I can save a lot of money with one bullet. One. And I can get rid of a scum. You with just one bullet. Yeah, someone salted him so his juices are coming up. Yeah. Think you can take me? Yeah, if I can get my mom's car. Go ahead on. He's going ahead and hunting. Yeah. Sure. Our hero, a big stinky cheater. <laughs> My cheater. That big one's got my badge. Did you get it for me? What? What, what kind of a great last line is that? Yeah. No. Ah, uh, you know this music makes me want to put a triangle on my privates and squirm around. <laughs> oh, yeah, like in the movie. Like what? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> uh, never mind. I'm gonna put a triangle on my privates and squirm around. Okay. Or he'll steal your lunch. Your lunch. You better run. Cause he's got the runs. Cause he won't stop dancing. Get his lunch. Oh, you lunch. Oh, yeah. Woo. Good. Play it. Mm, listen to that guitar solo. I think it's by Eric Clapp. Yeah, Eric Clapp. Hey, Joe Don's personal prostitute made it into the credits. Takes a roast and wrap it in bacon. But there's potatoes on the side. Woo. Yeah! Pass the gravy now. 
Yeah, you know, maybe we should lay off the food jokes, guys. Yeah, it's, I guess it's not really fair to Joe Don Baker. I mean, some people just metabolize just a little slower. Meatballs fried in love! <laughs> all right, servo! Sorry, Mike, all bets are off. Oh, come on. Eat, 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 eat. Okay. Munch, 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 chew, 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 chew. Okay. Gorge, 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 burp. Burp, burp, burp. Stop lots of food in your mean baby face. Oh, now you guys prepared that. Come on, it's an obvious line, Mike. Pork chops, cream puffs, candy bars. Pizzas, Cheetos, Malamars. He won't stop till he eats it all. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's it. I'm going. You good. <laughs> yeah. Do your food joke. Give me seconds, baby. Ooh. Hey, baby, you gonna finish that? <laughs> Anyone gonna eat that last piece of cake? Cause I will. Ah, uh, somebody give me a napkin. <laughs> hey, 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 where'd Mike go? Mike? Mike, Mike. hey, he ditched us, Mike. Where'd he go? What do I do? Ten seconds and counting! What? What's going on up here, Gyps? Seven seconds and... Oh, it's so sad. So sad. What? <laughs> Whoa, Mike. I'm ready, you guys. Boy, I can't wait to see Spooner Wisconsin again. Servo, Crow, Gypsy, so long. I love you guys. Mike, what, what are you doing in there? Well, it's my turn to escape. Joel got to go right after he saw a really bad Joe Don Baker movie, so, you know, oh, I just figured... Oh, Mike. Well, anyway, I left you a plaque there with an inspirational poem on it. It's from my favorite movie, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo. He's in trouble. Though you are small and white, your wheels are silver. Mike, Mike, and they always Mike, inspire Mike, me. Mike, with the way Mike, Mike! They... I'm sorry, buddy, but you're not going anywhere. Nope. But I just suffered through a really bad Joe Don Baker movie. Unrelated, Mike, sorry. You see, Gypsy sent Joel back to Earth in an escape pod. She hid in a box of ham dingers. Yeah. There are no more escape pods, Mike. You do know that you're sitting in the water heater, don't you? Yeah, I know. Come on upstairs, honey. We'll make you some Swiss Miss. Uh, well, how about if we see a really good Joe Don Baker movie? Well, I think I can guarantee you that's never going to happen, Mike. <laughs> Got oh, Pearl's calling. Poor fella. Really? <laughs> See, now that's funny, Nelson. Pretending you're stupid enough to think you could ever escape me. <laughs> and here's something else we recommend to keep those chuckles coming at the office. Funny dress-up day. Workers are more lighthearted because they are wearing whimsical expressions of faux individuality. For instance, I'm wearing wacky mismatched colors. Wee! And Bobo, what do you have on? Well, Lawgiver, I went ahead on and took a cue from Joe Don Baker. Heck, every day is funny dress-up day for him. <laughs> Wahoo! <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. Oh, my. Why, and here comes Brain Guy. <laughs> my, my, you went all out for funny dress-up day. A funny what? Your uh, outfit. Oh, this. No, 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 I, I just have a date tonight. <laughs> Don't wait up. <laughs> Nothing will ever be funny again. Mother. Think you can take me? Go ahead on. It's your move.
It's G to the P to the GPC. You're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Waka, 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 rap sounds. Hey everybody, it's me, Joel. Welcome to Turkey Day 2020. I have Paul and Storm here with me today and hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving. And I had to introduce them because they've done so many great songs for uh, the new iteration of Mystery Science Theater that's on Netflix right now. We're showing a couple of those titles uh, today, in fact. Um, so the next song I want to talk to you guys about was UFO. And I had this idea, I was kind of fascinated by um, to actually produce a song that went within the context of movie riffing because it seemed like it was high time to do that on a more produced level where you guys actually instruments came in and Jonah and the bots picked up guitars and looked like they were performing in the theater. So I just wanted to ask you guys about the, once I said, oh, we got this patch of like two and a half minutes where this woman is simply just walking out of a spaceship and walking somewhere <laughs> and you write a song, so what happened? Well, we decided we'd go with Beach Boys. It seemed like a natural. Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, the, the character of, it's from Star Crash, right? Yes, yeah, Star, Star Crash. Crash. Uh, so she's she's walking along a beach and she's getting into someone's vehicle, which is like 90% of all Beach Boys songs are one or both of those. And then we did a Beach Boys style, which is all these songs about cars and such. I've heard that they didn't actually know a lot about it. They would just write down the jargon from pals and throw it in there. So that's basically what we did. We just looked through every bit about any type of spaceship and tried to just cram it in. And that you did. It is so <laughs> dense with so many, I mean, it's, it's actually, it, it's kind of amazing how many great references to other uh, science fiction movies and TV shows there are. So uh, I love it, and um, I think it worked really good. And here's UFO. You ready, fellas? Let's try one. The Gallifrey cruisers and the dudes of Iraqi. Whoa, whoa, they all whoa. leave us alone, because they know what the facts whoa, whoa, is. Whoa. Or fusion chambers in a tacky on boat. And whoa. a cherry pair of flux sealers keeping it cool. On the Kessel Run, yeah, nobody, nobody can touch her. Let me be the Picard to your Beverly Crusher. The gangway's extended, and, and we're ready, ready to go. go. Won't you come along, baby, in my UFO? Surely no danger getting in a stranger's UFO. She looks like a kitty, can't but runs like an ace. Looks so vanity and slave one, can't keep the pace. Whitley Stryber and Ranieri gonna join in the race. Yeah, my UFO's the coolest GTO in space. From Altair 4 to New San Francisco. Whitley catching gamma rays. In my flying disco. Bring your pointy gun thingy. And Tom and Crow. Yeah, would you come along, baby, in my UFO? But to Barada, Nanu, Nanu, make it so. And climb into the side of a complete stranger's UFO. Don't do it. Don't do it. What a mistake. If you love MST3K, then you'll love the new MST3K channel. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year of nonstop MST3K fun. Classic MST3K episodes, MST3K shorts, but wait, there's more. DVD bonus features, classic turkey day segments, <laughs> new interactive programs featuring special guests. But that's not all. There's Cinematic Titanic, the film crew, and there's even more. Turkey Day Marathon, and of course, the Yule Log. So just how fun are these? these quote unquote toys. These may be playthings, but we're not playing around. Here's another Turkey Day memory from MST3K.org. It comes from Andrew, and he writes, We didn't have cable when I was growing up, so I didn't have the opportunity to watch a marathon until Joel et al. rebooted them a few years ago. 
Since then, I have made a point of forcing my family to tune in with me throughout the day. My memories of the marathon are almost all tied up with cooking in the kitchen, listening and watching the episodes, and enjoying chuckling along with Joel and Mike and the bots. And Jonah, too. I don't think I actually got to sit down and watch an entire episode until the latest season was released on Thanksgiving, so not technically a marathon. And my whole family, my folks, siblings, in-laws, even an aunt and uncle, sat on the couch and laughed out loud to the absurdity that is Atlantic Rim. Keep those marathons coming. Hey, I say if we keep those marathons coming, and I say, okay. Where could she be? Emily! Uh, yes, your Meganess. Emily, I wanted to see just how broken your psyche has become thanks to this marathon, but when I logged in, you were nowhere to be found. Where were you? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, my parents and I were playing Find the Fool. I know I'm going to regret this, but what is Find the Fool? Oh, it's an old family tradition. When I was growing up, the whole family would go to my grandpa's house for Thanksgiving and he would hide this little porcelain figure of a foal. A foal is a baby horse. Someone's getting better at livestock terminology. I've been studying. Continue. Oh, uh, well, he would hide the foal somewhere in the house and the kid who found it got the first piece of pie. And even though I'm the only kid in the house at the moment, I still want my piece of pie, so don't get in my way. Okay, yeesh. Sounds fun. It is. Don't you have any traditions? I'm the clone of a clone of a mad scientist. I don't even have memories. Well, traditions are important. Just take this comment we got on mst3k.org from Nathan, Emma, and Cheyenne. Oh, Camba. Attached is a picture of the first turkey day I had with my daughters. Oh, Camba, can you put that up? This picture was taken in November after my wife and I adopted them, eight and ten respectively in this picture. We're Canadian, but still absolutely get on board for American Thanksgiving, just for the Turkey Day Marathon. See, Mega Cynthia, if Canadians can take our traditions, you can too. That's what Thanksgiving is all about. Or you could always start your own. Yes. Yes, I could. Mm -hmm. Starting this year, I will play Find the Fold. Oh, so you're just going to take my thing. Fun. It is fun. Can you hide it? In your house? Yes. Right now? Yes. Um... Sure? Close your eyes. Okay, it's hidden. Great, thanks. I'm gonna get me the first piece of pie. <laughs> all right, that ought to keep her busy for a while. And to keep us all busy, here's another experiment you all voted for on mst3k.org. Experiment 422, the day the earth froze. Sampo, it's what's for dinner. I can't find it. Oh, it's there. Keep looking. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute. Another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. We'll send the cheesy movies, the worst we can find. We'll have to sit and watch them all, and we'll monitor his mind. Now keep in mind, Joe can't control where the movies begin or he used those special parts to make his robot friends. Robot, Robot Go Call Cabot, Gypsy, Tom Servo, Cool. You're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts. Then repeat to yourself, it's just the show. I should really just relax. More mystery science. All right, 
F stop at 5.6 for maximum depth of field. Okay, that looks good. Okay, 5.6 at, uh, let's see here, 8 feet. That comes to roughly uh, ASA of 200. Okay, adjust lighting to full lumens in a cone focus. That looks good. Okay, bring around the backdrop. Stay cheery, everybody. Okay. Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite Up. I'm Joel Robinson, and I just thought it would be nice to get a nice picture of the boys to have around the house, so I'm taking their portrait, and uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, could we just go, please? Bugger! Bugger. Stop it, you two! What? They were like this all the way over. You guys, listen. <gasps> Cut it out, Fembot! We are yeah, going yeah, to get a nice yeah. picture of this family. If it kills us, <laughs> Crow. Hey. What? Crow. Where are those nice pants I bought you? I don't know. You can't walk around wearing a sport coat without your nice pants. Well, can we just go? Commercial sign in 10, 10 seconds. seconds. Say cheese. Okay, now, now come on, you guys. Shape up. Face cam bot. Come on, Gypsy, get in here. Oh, my hair! Oh. Hold it. Hey, the light meter, Jewel! Oh. 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 I'm Tom Servo, and I'm here on behalf of Alterniversal Productions. We're the company that writes and produces and performs MST3K in all its many iterations, from the TV series to our live shows to our own comic book series from Dark Horse Comics. Also, since COVID, we're the folks that wrote and produced the MST3K Riff Along, the first movie riffing event that celebrated first responders during the worldwide pandemic. We also started the official MST3K fan engagement site last summer, MST3K.org, for the latest news about the cast and crew and new projects for MST3K. This has been your Turkey Day Update, Tom Servo announcing. Alterniversal, yeah! Alterniversal. Oh, Snickersnack. <laughs> hey, chocolate milk curb. You guys, would you please get back into position? Come on, knock it off. <laughs> Gypsy, come on, Speed and Chim Chim are calling. Stop it. Okay, thanks a lot. Sorry about the tip. I left the money in my other uh, pocket. Oh, hi, Joel. How you doing? We'll be with you in one second. Clayton, here, boy. Come here, Clayton. Here, boy. Here, Clayton. Give me one good ah. reason why I shouldn't kill you, Frank. Well, the stuff is here. <laughs> the ah. stuff that we ordered. The... Just in time for the invention exchange. <laughs> uh, you go first, pumpkin pants. 
Well, your ample ones, my invention exchange this week dynamically blends martial arts with snacking. It's called Snaction, and it makes snacking fun. Here's a Snaction favorite, the wax knuckles, all right? And here's one, it's called a pixie staff. Oh, oh. <laughs> it, uh, it's a pixie stick filled with delicious uh, straight sugar, see? Okay, and uh, hey, uh, Crow, hey, Crow, what are these, uh, what are these here? What, what, what are these? which ones? What are these? Oh, them are the five lady fingers of death. Gee. Girl, five lady fingers of death, you get it? And this is based on a Chuck Norris movie. It's called The Everlasting Octagon Stomper. You get it? Oh, and these are ninja throwing cookies. Oh, hey, those are delicious. Yeah. You see, everybody doesn't like some things, but nobody doesn't like Bruce Lee. Ouch. Uh-oh. I broke him. Oh, well, that's really great, Joel, but uh, we've got something going down here that's really special. Tell him, Frank. Well, <laughs> Dr. Forrester has taken the money from my 401k and sunk it into these fast food novelty items, which he's just sold to a major, major buyer who shall remain nameless. Well, actually, that fell through, but I'm sure they're going to sell. You see, Joel, they're called unhappy meals. You, you uh, took my money and you haven't sold them yet? Oh, quit whining, Frank. Uh, as an example, Joel, this one comes uh, from the restaurant with a uh, cold hamburger sandwich with a bite taken out of it. <laughs> uh, the, uh, some floor sweeping compound, <laughs> a couple of dead silverfish, and a uh, rusty suture needle. <laughs> you took all my money, you son of a... Watch it, Frank. Uh, now, there are many different styles, Joel. Uh, for instance, uh, this one comes with a maze, and you try to get the motorcade past the book depository. <laughs> and then uh, this one comes with a uh, used Q-tip. Ooh, that is unhappy, isn't it? And then there's one with a roach motel, and well, you get the idea. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think it's evil and it'll never sell. Yeah, and give Frank his money back. Yeah. Oh, blow it out. Your experiment today is a Swedish fantasy called The Day the Earth Froze. Uh, but first, a short, aptly titled Here Comes the Circus, and I hope it goes down hard. Push the button, Frank. No, I want my money back. Forceps, Frank. Pain. I don't care. I want my money. Electroshock, Frank. No! Push the button. No! The box, Frank. Push the button. Put you Oh, oh, we got oh, movie star! Oh, 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 there's excitement everywhere. The circus is here. Everyone is headed for the big top to thrill to and cheer the fun makers, daredevils, freaks, and ferocious performing animals. And here come the freaks now. Look at them all. <laughs> it's a dime for soap candy and maybe a tummy ache tomorrow. <laughs> chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Chug it. Chug it. Chug for the elephants. Now, folks, step right this way to the bigger, better, more exciting sideshow. Now, here's the deal. Just four years. Christmas present coming. Plenty of time to see it all. Get your red Go hot mom. To the lovely little lady on my Ooh. right. She performs her In own tracheotomy. <laughs> and she's cute, too. Mm. Now, <laughs> the snake charmer extraordinary. Right. On the inside. Now the for the hell? big show, the event that the kids and the grown-ups have been waiting for for months. Nobody's going to tell a Navy man when he's had enough Old to drink. Brother Circus <laughs> proudly presents the magnificent and gorgeous inaugural pageant in Kaleidoscopic... Oh, it's Thomas Edison Thunder with his electric child. Mm. Support is drummed up for the Spanish-American War. Hey, uh, wait a minute, aren't the horses supposed to go behind the band? Oops. <laughs> Now make way for the Ku Klux Clowns! Woo! Yes, children of all ages are confronted by forces they can't begin to understand. Cigar? Okay, hey, guys, Cigar? you're too dark. Would what? you lighten up? How about this? Hey, look, it's Rue McClanahan. Okay, there, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's Ezekiel, the Amish clown. <laughs> no buttons. Oh, look, it's Ice Princess Zebra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Hey, it's Emma Kelly. Oh, that's good. No, it <laughs> really, really is. Oh. Yeah, whatever, Joel. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Sweet!
Empress of Clowns, Champion Fun Man. No! It's Liza. Splitting Dido. No! 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 See, Emmett changed management soon after this. Oh, we love it when he eats! Introducing Miss <laughs> Betty Rich, queen of the air, in a sensational display of breathtaking aerial feats without a net below. The first time in America, Miss Betty Rich. Would someone give me a hand here? Ooh, Betty got back. I'll say. <laughs> It's a living <laughs> Mother, please come home. <laughs> yes, our Betty swings both oh, ways. Stop it. Huh? She tell us what. Listen, you hit the floor a couple of times, you make sure you get it right. There. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> This takes care of unwanted hair in the bikini area. They take a licking and keep on ticking. Women who love too much and the feet that use them. This one's on the rebound. Oh. <laughs> and now the only girls do a complete somersault too high to the feet of the balancer. This act was outlawed on several continents. Yes, it's the man who mistook his wife for a hat. <laughs> Hi, Rick. Sarah. Flipped her off. Sorry, Wayne, this is for the ladies only. The celebrated Rifenop troop, bareback riding marvels whose equals do not exist. Grace and beauty of equestrianism. Turn your head if you're squeamish. Yes, this act embodies the sadness that is circus. That is too dark. No, stop. Wait, sorry. Stop. What? What? Is all he does is eat? It's funny. It's good. What? The beautiful bareback riding ballerina, Miss Lucy. Could not be with us tonight, so we have this act. You're next up there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present the boys <laughs> group in a nice <laughs> <event. laughs> <laughs> 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 I thought there was another bar! Whoa! Here come the comics of the uh -oh. air in dexterous and hilarious feet <sighs> high above the tan bar. Store this image away for a later nightmare. I invented that move. Yeah, right. Levi's loose fitting clown jeans. No, 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 they're doing it clown style. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, and Madonna thinks she's oh, innovative. Please tell me this isn't happening. <laughs> oh, no. no, 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 no. More, more, I'm a bad clown. <laughs> yes, children's windows of perception are open for only a second, only to take in the horror that is the circus. High above the crowd, Dag Hammerskull takes to the trapeze. Yes, it's Albert Spear, nude, donning a dance belt. Thank you, Albert. Whoa. In the center ring, the only group of Familino Liberty horses in the world, trained and presented by Adolf Del Bos. We won't linger on this one, folks. There's not much to it, really. Mm. Oh. I remember to punch in, Ed. Nay. <laughs> oh, that is Siegfried. Over here, Roy. Hello, Siegfried. Hello, Roy. Oh, yeah. This is a Freudian dream. Hmm. Hank Kimball's brought in. Hey, Mr. Douglas, I see you got a horse. Well, it's not really a horse, it's more of a... Uh, fellas, this is just wrong. On the Hippodrome track, high-jumping horses. Woo! <laughs> and Emmett Kelly's still eating. And it's still funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> the most daring rider Ooh. in all the world, Miss Dorothy Herbert, blindfolded over a barrier of fire. Ah, it's Black and Beauty, the Cajun horse. Hey, see Everett Kook. <laughs> Presenting Otto and Freddy for the funniest prize fight in circus history. Bing Crosby's relationship with his son Gary is reenacted. <laughs> Let the nightmare begin. <laughs> This is the strangest debate format I have ever seen. 
You know, don't laugh, but in a way, this is this town's passion play. Oh, it's a full contact who's afraid of Virginia Woolf. Don't talk about our clown, Martha. Kitties! No. And now, Clyde Beatty, the most fearless man in all the world, alone in a cage with a herd of man-eating African lions, <laughs> the greatest wild animal trainer of all time. He is not here. He's with the most ferocious of all jungle-bred animals. John Turturro? <laughs> hmm? Stella! <laughs> the six flying thrillers daring midair marbles high over the center ring. Hmm. A troop of absolutely fearless and unrivaled. Looks like an ant farm. <laughs> who fly through the air performing spectacular and hazardous feats. I know you're not going to complete fifth grade gym without doing this, right? Come on, let me hit you on the butt. No. How about just a light tap? Uh-uh, not now. Oh, come on, please, later. right now. Well, later, it'll be much more fun. Uh, You're ruining it. it for me. Stop it. What? What? Sorry. Pass the word. Ed's been hitting the bottle today. <gasps> oh, like that's a big improvement over what we've been doing. Party in Susan's dressing room. Party in Susan's dressing room. Pass it Uh-oh. Miss Jean Allen with a herd of ponderous pachyderms, their trunks full of new tricks. A rogue elephant snaps its tether and kills a coolie. Now who's getting dark? <laughs> I like it. I'm taking this elephant for a test ride. <laughs> Three elephants and a little lady. The circus, with its thrills, fun, sawdust, and spangles, brings joy and merriment to everyone. But me. Here comes the circus is always a memorable event. A truly great and carefree day for all from 6 to 60. Do you think she's working for Peanuts, too? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she enjoys this a little too much. Don't blow any water right now. <laughs> ah, my favorite ah. part of the circuit. <laughs> Hey everybody, Jonah Heston here, and you're watching the MST3K Turkey Day Marathon. Now with twice the flavor and half the calories. Mmm, that's good marathon. Oh, wait a minute, how can something be American and international? Well, let's watch and find out. Oh. Mm. oh, cripes, I remember oh, that day. Oh, yeah, you gotta dress oh. for it. 
Oh, oh yeah. yahi, the temperature, that got all the way down to about 14 below oh, zero there. Yeah. You Earl. don't know the half of it. Oh, mm -hmm. Earl had to jump start the Chevy that day. Oh, oh yahi, the mm -hmm. snow was yay high and he come up the back way mm -hmm. he had to, you know. Yep. Of course, I don't know nothing about no, that. No. <clears throat> no. Then we seen where all the schools was closed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, the kids enjoyed that part. Uh -huh. That was real mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was just like the winter of 75 when it got down to 30 below. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But when you consider the wind chill, you know, it's oh, when it's about chill. 100 below yep. that Oh, time. yeah. And you yeah. know, it was a good thing I had the snowmobile suit for yeah. the run over yeah. by yeah. Evelyn's house Oh, there. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was just so ding-dang cold, I go outside, the stuff in my nose just freeze right up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, the Scandahovian sketch. Oh, yeah, square head. Throughout history, people have listened to the storyteller. Against their will. who could fashion myths and fairy tales and make them live for his listeners. Sid and Marty Such Croft? Such were the Brothers Grimm in Germany oh. and Hans Christian Andersen in Denmark. And such a man was Elias Lenroth in Finland. Here he is on vacation. The story you are about to see. Ah! Long ago, They're in Gola. a faraway place called Kalevala, there was a village of fisher people. The land they lived in was large and beautiful. As were the women. It was blessed with great <laughs> rivers filled with fish. Wonderful forests with tall trees. And pollution from the nearby paper processing plant. And the people toiled very hard. Hey, this is hard. Promised that if they worked the earth and the Bye, sea, Grandma. One day they would be given as their reward. The is this a documentary? I'm here for the Neil Prince Valiant Everest. auditions. Marvelous machine. One, two, three. I can't fall asleep counting those guys. Goats. Oh. And salt. Such was the magic of the Sambo. Now it so happened that the Ilmarinen had a beautiful sister named Anaki. Anaki in the UK? And spent her days happily wandering. Your mother is long dead. All the people of the village loved her dearly and watched Hey, there's her. Bird Lancaster. <laughs> Walter <was> Pigeon. <laughs> Robin Gibbons. Chick Corea. Oh, good one. And that would be the sign that the time had come. For democracy. was to be forged. Escape to Wisconsin. But ever since Anaki had become a young woman, she remained by herself and refused the attention of any young man who brazenly thought he might Look at that. Support. Looks like Penny Marshall. It's one man she had never met. Gary Bigner. He lived deeper in the forest. His name was Lemminkainen. Blind Lemminkainen. He was a woodsman. He was young and simple. And practiced slash and burn agriculture. He worked hard. Oh! But was never noticed at all. But there was something about him that would someday, sooner oh, than there goes the last spot at all. Save the village from the most horrible, cruel misfortune it would ever know. The Reagan Bush For administration. these good people did not realize that all the time they were... Has anyone seen Timmy? <gasps> oh, no! ...plotted against them. Hey, check it out. It's Sting and David Lee Roth and Peter Noon and Sammy Hager and David Carradine and... Santa? I wanted to use an axe on your hair, you hippie. For three days, your mother has not seen you, Lamentine. Go home and take a rest. And take out the garbage and help your mother clean the garage for crying out loud. From the land of sky blue water. Water. Hey, check out my log. I got it for graduation. <laughs> it's my cigar boat. <laughs> <laughs> and the river runs through it. Through this. Hey, get me a making a Mountain Dew ad. Let's go surfing now. Even Sven's learning how. If everybody had a spruce tree across Finlandia. I wish they all could be Norwegian girls. Hey, anybody call a cab? Uh, the adventures of Fjord Fairlane. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, rush hour. Now, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Abba's going to pay me to surf? John Houston's the African log. White Hunter, Blackheart. Damn crazy Swede! Ancient Swedish secret, huh? Hi, baby. It takes... Huh? Wow, look at that laundry. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go play mini-golf at Cross Lake. You wanna go? 
She's washing her crystal. Mm -hmm. Don't walk on my laundry, Steve. Yes, may I help you? Whose gold is that? Mine. Can this be the daughter of the rosy Agent dawn? One, he's just pulled up in a log. Or Over. the radiance of the moon? It's not the moon, nor is it the sun. I'm just a simple neighbor. You can say that again. Aniki is my name. Poker's my game. Aniki. I went to school with your brother. Hey, my other log's a redwood. <laughs> She's got a gun! Ah! Oh. If you don't like the way I'm driving, call 1-800-BITE-ME. <laughs> well, it was nice meeting you. Lemon Kaiman, was it? <laughs> that was weird. Do you want to be Finnish? Sure, we all do. <laughs> Poppies will make us sleep. They're tulips. Ah, yes, my little chickadee. <laughs> hey, what's the pecking order here? <laughs> She's got an amazingly dull life, doesn't she? Ah, dinner. Oh, no, after you. No, after you, I insist. No, I insist. Age before beauty. Oh, no. Hey, hello, boo-boo. Mm -hmm. John Irving wrote the screenplay. <laughs> You're not reading. I'm busy. Aniki. Sister of mine. You shaved your beard. What's the matter? Hmm? Oh, my dearest hmm. brother. His eyes sparkle like the sunlight glimmering on the sea foam. Whoa, oh. whoa. <laughs> yes! Great. And then we swing back and forth on the high wire yeah, while yeah. furiously spanking each other. Great! I love it! It sings! Uh, it's it's got magnificent. It's got it's 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 Listen, you guys, please. Uh, remember I said I'd type in your ideas mm -hmm. for a clown act, all right? I find what we're talking about here just a little bit derivative from what we saw the clowns do in the short. Mm -hmm. I think you should think of your own ideas. Okay? Well, we're not paying you to think. Just take all this down as we dictated, Peggy. Okay. Okay. Where were we? Uh, Wait. Uh, I've got it. We're on the trapeze, yep. Yep. and you hang from my tongue. <laughs> While I drive sheet metal screws into your eyes. I love it. It's <laughs> good. I yeah. admit that, but maybe we got to work more butt in the act. Wait. I've got it. Yeah. I grab you and yeah. squeeze you till you hemorrhage. No. How about I come out dressed like a suture? You come out dressed as an appendix. A <sighs> European appendix. Oh, you know, very uh, good. fellas, can I oh. remind you, you're going to be clowns in a circus. There's going to be kids watching. Can I just remind you to bite me? Now, get back to work, Della. Wait. Uh, I've got a brilliant idea. Okay. This routine starts out normal. You uh -huh. and me beating the crap out of each yeah, other. Yeah, then I snap. Yeah. I run into the audience on a homicidal rampage. Yes. Ah. Then I appear playing the part of death. Yeah. A funny death. Of course. Uh, uh, hey, you know what would be yeah. really funny routine? What would be really funny? If we could somehow make the audience members... Question their love for their spouses. Yes, and here's the topper. We yeah. convince all the kids in the audience that they were adopted. Ah, um, hi guys, ah. listen, I knew you would take something like the circus and turn it into some dark carnival of the soul. Listen, Joel, for your information... The hey, hell? you didn't take down a word we said. You had Cambot program a typing effect. You were just toying with us, weren't you? That's right, and you know why? Why? Because there's a little bit of the clown in all of us. Good night, and may God bless. Oh, ah.
Oh, come on, I couldn't resist. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. This was before unions. Let it be a lesson to you. Hey, Tom, could you punch out for me? <laughs> I'm not going into early retirement. Round wood on any given morning. Come from the fire. Come on, a tour's coming through here. Get to work. How much longer do you expect me to put up with your absurd show? Can't you make the sample you call yourselves withered? We've done the best we're able to. Cast him into the viper's pit. Uh, be clean, ma'am. Let the snakes devour him. Can't you just dock me? No, mistress, I beg of you. I know someone who will be able to help you build your sample. Oh. Murray on no third one shift. Who blacksmith Ilmarin in the land of Kalevala? Hmm? He is the only one who knows the right way. You hmm? have long boasted of your power over the secrets of nature. Yeah. I demand that you show me now the face of this Ilmarin. Hmm, let's go check yeah. the files, honey. <laughs> Don't know what I'd do without my right hand troll. Gesundheit, Gesundheit, Gesundheit. Ilmarinen, come before us. Ilmarinen, stand before us. Oh, they're stand Pentecostal. Ilmarinen, come before us. Ilmarinen, stand before us. Stand before us. He's leaking. Ilmarinen, stand before us. Ilmarinen, appear. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. Hey, don't sit so close to the set. You'll ruin your eyes. I have fashioned a bracelet for you. It's a padlock. Aniki? No, precious moments. And she is Ilmarinen's sister. <laughs> oh, no way. I thought she was Joni Koslak's brother. Who will he pay for his pretty sister? I wonder what kind of name Lemminkainen is. Italian, Irish, Lemminkainen, very pretty. <laughs> I made a joke. Go on swift wings to the land of Kalevala. Oh, one hour martinizing. To the golden Aniki. When you find her alone, bring her quickly <laughs> back. So that she may become my prisoner! Oh, she's one sheet to the wind. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot something, go! Grandma's been talking to the bedding again. <laughs> you really get a lot of use out of a good wool cape. We'll be cruising today at an altitude of about 60 feet or so. Well, let's see now, what did she say? Go to something and get something, uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, please remain seated until the cape has come to a complete stop. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, don't tell me Hercules is in this movie. Hercules is in this movie. Do it, this. You not to oh, the that. cabin boy, the cabin boy, the dirty little new furry. Hmm? Hey, uh, how'd I do that? Why? <laughs> Kidnapping was real easy back then. Oh, Popeye! He's large. Dun, 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 dun. Huh? The hell? There's a roast in the oven. I don't know when I'll be back. Oh, boy. The Secret Storm. The Vader started getting rough. The Very tiny, tiny ship was tossed. <laughs> There's a flash flood warning affecting Stonehenge region. By the pricking of my thumb, something goofy this way comes. <laughs> Come on, Dom. Jeez, thanks for the lift. Call the front desk if you need anything. I got one. Hey, get me. I'm Swedish and I've got rhythm. <laughs> sing whenever I sing whenever I sing. You, Marine. It's three in the morning. The evil witch Loki has stolen your sister. Yeah, and? Aniki. Yes. Here, wait a minute. Let me put my sword out. There. Give me the sword. I will go to Pokiola. Uh, let me just finish up here. So there. Say hi to my sister. I will go with you to Poyola, Lemminkainen. Wait, I'll drive. Let me get my keys. Yep, there we go. Feinemainen, 
My sister has been stolen. Well, was she insured? The evil witch, Loki. It looks kind of like a Bible Tell story. Us, Spider -Man. Yeah. Tell us how we can find our way to the misty shores of Pokyola. Go down to the third Far stoplight and... The edge of the world. Hmm? And if you want to go there... Take the Santa Monica go. Freeway. Which will carry you over the waves like a white swan. Hmm? Tell us, Spider Man. How can we build a boat such as that? I'm glad you asked. I'm having a boat building seminar. In this ancient oak tree you will find your boat. You have but hmm? to take it out. And it will carry you across the sea to the shores of Pokyora. Okay, how much is this going to set me back? Oh, I'm uh, chafing like me! Oh, 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 oops, I did it again. Get it. You're kidding me, a boat in here? It's a chip away game. Is there another wise man we could talk to? Eight years later. <laughs> so anyway... That's what really got me interested in stamp collecting. Of course, I've always loved the theater. Just shut up. Hey, no boat! That's my scratching tree, you jerks. Uh, not that tree. <clears throat> uh, Fred, did I mention that I have a boat? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh, now they're just showing off. Oh, now what did they chop the sail out of? Oh, well, they cut the wood real oh, thin. Yeah, really. Uh huh. May the sun light the way to bring you safely home again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can the balloon juice, Gramps? We're out of here. Hey, shouldn't we patch the bottom first? I just pray there aren't no portages. Oh boy. The Stave Puff Marshmallow Man in chains. Kinky. It's giant sweetbreads. It's body wars. Someone has come to visit us! Quick, pick up the place. Make yourself presentable. Uh, over here, near me. What, it's a bag of Homer Simpson? Are you me? Wait, one at a time, please. Come on. Yes, I am the South Wind. Do you provide a service of some sort? And I, I have the east wind. Put your teeth in, I can't understand you! Are you the north wind? No, I am the mist. <laughs> now, I'm relative humidity. It's not so much the heat as it is me. I'm the summer wind come blowing in. And you! <laughs> Which one are you? Oh, me. <laughs> I'm just the laundry. I am the north wind. Call me Sandy. I was born among the ice. Oh, that's I fine. Thank you. <laughs> Please let me Yeah, out. I didn't ask for a biography. Very well. I will let you out. So this is where I find you, my little Um, pet. we weren't kissing. We were just talking. This is something to amuse you. Just <laughs> come with me. I'll find something. I've got one of those little pool tables I bought at Brookstone. You'll oh, love it. Prisoner in shape. All right, some orders we like to get. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on yeah.
If you love MST3K, then you'll love the new MST3K channel. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year of nonstop MST3K fun. Classic MST3K episodes, MST3K shorts, but wait, there's more. DVD bonus features, classic Turkey Day segments, <laughs> new interactive programs featuring special guests. But that's not all. There's Cinematic Titanic, the film crew, and there's even more. Turkey Day Marathon, and of course, the Yule Log. So just how fun are these quote-unquote toys? These may be playthings, but we're not playing around. <laughs>Still hot. <laughs> Hello, I'm from the temp agency. I'm your horse for the day. Oh, speed the plow. 
Hey, good timing. Boy, we work good together. Now, could you rub some solar cane on me, please? A horse? We didn't plan on that. Would someone please turn the Wagner off? Hey, I think he just invented the mobile logo. Mm -hmm. Oh, neat. Yuck. Kind of a goofy Scandinavian double dare. <laughs> oh man, it's a puppet. Look. It's being attacked by a woozle. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all yelling fake. <laughs> and now I'd like to do my Nastasia Kinski impression. I'll just take off my clothes. <laughs> I knew they'd worm their way into the film. <laughs> We're uh. You know, I wonder if that horse comes in any other colors. Uh, he's the enemy, but you gotta admire him. Yep, yep, tip your cap. Uh, hey, pretty much. Get a look at this, huh? Well, let's go in and see if Mom's got dinner ready. Oh, great, we can plant more snakes now. <laughs> All right, I've finished plowing your field. Planted now with care. Mm. And may the grain grow as high as my shoulder. Now, where is she? We want to take her back. I'll give you your anarchy, but it won't do you much good. There isn't very much left of your boat. <laughs> hey, that's below the belt. Yeah, I don't really get witch's humor. Mm -mm. Come along. Let me show you. Brother, she's got issues, mm. huh? Mm. It's the Swedish Dells. Mm. The Dukes. Ride the Dukes. Hey, you wrecked our boat, you freaked out maniac. A great fish was swimming near the shore. Uh -huh. It flipped its tail once and smashed your boat. Well, I suppose those kind of things happen. What? And I will make a new boat, an iron one, and tell your fish if he tries to smash this one, it'll break his teeth off. Well, you don't have to yell. Huh? What? Oh. Boats, They're roasting the bullwinkle. Oh, oh. Arise from the fire. <laughs> Come forth. Save me, Rocky! Help me! Again? Oh, nobody ever helps this guy. Nope. Uh-oh. Out of control. What could you become of us now? Oh, everything's about you, isn't it? When log flume rides go horribly wrong, you may get burnt on this ride. Oh, uh, there's a flaming moose blocking traffic on I-35W northbound. Would somebody please put me out? I seem to be on fire! Protect us! Have mercy, dear mistress! Do something! Away. Do something! And there's something you don't see every day, Chauncey. Uh, what's that, Edgar? Kiss going bass fishing. Uh, mm -hmm. Quite a boat, wouldn't you say? Now that it's finished, we'll be on our way. The minute you give us on it. I demand that you make your boat stop! When you release my sister. Your only excuse before was because your fish wrecked our other boat. Uh, point well taken. You act like I'm the bad guy. I don't know if your sister is ready for that. She's still upstairs I dressing. Want you, lady of Poeola. You better give us anarchy. Only he has performed well what I gave him to do. And you, what did you do? Yeah. I've heard you make magic too. Hell, I made the horse. What are you talking about? What magic? I mean, a sample. Dun, dun, dun. Hold your sample. Or you'll never see the face of your pretty sister again. Can we see the other parts? Ugh, crime, and you better look up sample quick. I think she's serious. Uh, wait, I'll do anything you Only a sample.
No, Tom, you're thinking of a sample, S-A-M-P-L-E. We're talking about sample with an O. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. So if a sample isn't a small taste of no-fat cheese at the grocery store, then what, I implore you, is it? Well, I was thinking that maybe a sample is really good can opener. No, I think it's a strapless evening gown. You think everything is a strapless evening gown. I just think they're neat is all. What do you think, Joel? Uh, I think a sample is like a hand-hammered conch belt with turquoise inlays used to accentuate an oversized blouse. I think it's that dent between the nose and lip. Right well, there. whatever it is, that witch wants it more than anything, so it must be some sort of wrinkle cream. Oh, no, I got a Sampo, a progressive new corporation with an eye towards the future. <laughs> Sampo is a corporation for people by people. I think it increases corn yields. I think it's a nasty little rubber novelty item, you know what I mean? Well, maybe it's not tangible. I mean, maybe Sampo is found in the laughter of children, or in the roar of the tide, or in the capacity to love and be loved. <laughs> no, I know. I think Sampo is a new high-energy prop comic, you know, like Ladies and gentlemen, the Funny Bone is proud to present Funny Man Sampo. Well, one thing's for sure, gentlemen. The U.S. of A. still makes the best damn samples on the market, and I mean nobody is going to change that. I've I got it. I it's fresh, it's sassy, it's free, it's me. It's an exciting new fragrance by Prince Machiavelli. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, to be honest, everybody, we don't know what a sample is. Not a clue. If you know what a sample is, write it on a piece of paper, throw it away, and then try not to think about it. You'll be glad you did. Sample! sample. Oh, oh, no, we we sample, we sample, sample. Sample. Let's go, Sampo! Ding, Sampo up. Oh, jeez, what a day. Oh. You know, I really admire how you stood firm on the Sampo issue, your witchiness. You didn't give an inch. I really admire that quality. We'd like to show you uh, how we maximize a warehouse uh, to increase Sampo shipments. <laughs> oh, it's, it's really exciting. I think you yeah, should come along and take a look at what we're doing. I must have a wisp of lamb's wool, a feather from a swan, and a barley corn. You hear this guy? <laughs> Get him the smallest of the flock, and a swan, and a whole bushel of barley. And some mini donuts. Um, can we get married? We're in love. Nobody asked for a goose. You take that right away. Hmm? Oh, no, somebody's sweater's gonna have a big flaw. You put your feather in before the wool? Hmm. With this wool will I clothe you. With these teeth will you bite me? With this barley will I nourish you? Oh, he's making checks party mix. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the magic of Ulysses S. Grant. I desire to sampo. Sampo. Go ahead. Sampo. Uh -huh. sampo means flavor. Now give me the fire that burned in the clouds. Huh? How dare you? Don't mention that. It's dirty. You want the sample? That is the only fire I can forge it in. It has to be the heavenly flame. Is it hot in here? I wonder if this is some trick to deprive thee of the heavenly fire. <laughs> but we won't have much use for that if he makes the mill. Give him the fire. We'll be able to have as much flour as we want without grain. And we'll be able to have salt. And he will be able to make silver and gold. Oh, <laughs> let him have it, oh, please. My spin doctors. <laughs> Go and fetch the heavenly flame for him, then. <laughs> but someone stay here to answer the phones. Well, she's really broken through the glass ceiling, huh? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yesterday's soup. We're trying to get rid of it. Mm, it looks like Caligula in here. How would you know that? The soup has a escort? <laughs> Good soup. Uh, uh, uh. Here, ditch this flaming skull for me. I don't know how that got in there. Nice weight. Mm hmm Real good flame. Mm-hmm. Nice. Put all your idle people to work. I'll need their help. Tell them to work the bellows. Hmm? You heard what he said. Saul Bellows, get to work. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Is it sample yet? Uh, now be careful. This plate is very hot.
So how does this work? Hey, let me know when you need a break. Mark 7. Uh, Mark 7. Uh, Mark 7, damn it. Oh, Mark 7. Riam Trolls, working for you. Where's a friggin' Sampo in the crit of witch crit crap? Uh, Steve, honey, why don't you go get Daddy a beer? You said you'd make the mill. Where is it? Your men can't make the fire hot enough. Sure, blame my department. Get working, you sluggards! Ooh. Pump the bellows, make the flames leap up! We're doing our best to miss. He's got a cocktail dress on. Oh, it's not done. Must have been frozen in the middle. He's got delusions of grandeur. Oh. Yeah, it's like urban cowboy. <laughs> uh. oh, boy, how's that beer coming, Stevie? Work harder! Get the heat off! Get off, Todd. Come on, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, they think I'm working. That's the beauty part. <laughs> oh, I hate this infernal routine. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Disco inferno. Oh, the guy on top must be the shop steward. Huh? Will someone please get the yeah. phone? Kids come running for the rich taste of Sampo. <laughs> oh! Oh! Be careful, that's nitric acid. We don't have very much. Oh! Oh, I hate the school lunch program. Water's considered a vegetable. Ugh, this is why I don't make Sampos except on holidays. Yeah. Hey, can we help? Oh, you can help by setting the table. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Sampo's off. Ask for it by name. Tom. Ask for it by name. Yeah, that's a sample, huh? You know. Ray Nitschke? You get wafers with it. No, you I don't get bleeding wafers with it. I said I would. It's very impressive. But how do I know it works? Well, you just plug it into the wall outlet and turn it on. Let there be gold and flour and salt. Of course, I recommend the service contract. Still, I think it would look better by the couch. Sorry, I doubted your sample. Mm. Mm. Boy, I thought there'd be more people around the gold part of this thing, but the line's really not that long, you know? This is what it would have been like if Perot would have won. <laughs> Oh, great, Raxaw will never slip on the driveway again. Makes you think, don't it, honey? Mm, nice to see him so happy. Yep. Uh, the manual's in the box, and uh, first you upgrade's free. Now give us back Onyx. Oh, she's home All already. Right. <laughs> I will give your pretty sister back to you now. I must warn you, she's aged, so... Wait, that's the wrong sister. Have yourself a heap and help us, sweet anarchy. <laughs> anarchy. Do I know you? Clementine. You're not as cute as I remember. On a clear day. Anarchy, my little sister. <laughs> Take that curse from away from my palace! Oh, Killjoy. I'm done with all those nasty flowers. Come on. <laughs> Don't worry, lady. We're out of here. God. Well, hey, missus, the sample stopped working and we didn't get the service contract. And I want them all inventoried, too. Man, I wonder what a Myers-Briggs test was like. How were you ever able to rescue me from that wicked creature? Well, I had to make this boat all by myself. And... Hey, leave my sister alone. Your brother, Ilmarinen, made a sample and left it with the wicked witch in place of you. A sample? You mean one of those big things that makes gold and salt and stuff? N yeah. You mean the new 92 sample with the then leather interior? 
He deprived our people of their rightful treasure. I am returning to Pohiola, and I shall recover the shampoo. No, Wilmarine. I am going back for it. Now. No, well, I think a better plan would be to go back and get some... Hey! Hey, he's got pure wool on. He's going to shrink right up. Try the cleaning power of new lemon kainen in your rinse cycle. This is it, isn't it? Uh, no, I think so. Hmm. Oh, really love the new sample. No buyer's remorse here, witchy poo. Who's hungry for salt? Oh, jeez, I better plan this. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, I gotta take the sample. It's my dad's. No, no, damn. Sample repair. No, no. <clears throat> Might I just pop in and grab my sample? No, turn. Oh, no, they really like it. I was hoping they wouldn't be getting into the sample. No such luck. Oh, Mmm, a good heft. I caught you, you filthy wretch, trying to steal my gold! Catch him! Don't let him get away! Find him and throw him into the sea! Hey, Tony, come on, it's me, your roommate! Monkey pile. Ooh. Phew! Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, that was the chilly rain o wind. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. Who let the mist out? It blinds me so I cannot see. Back into thy bag, mist, I come to thee. Back into thy bag. Why did thee even have the mist if it bugs thee so much? Kind of like a giant neosinephrine bag, isn't it? <laughs> Ma'am? Where is the many colored dome of the Sampo? Ma'am, the dome is an option that you did not order? After him and bring him back here! I can never just sit back and enjoy my Sampo! <laughs> Hey, it's nice out here. Ah, there he is. Miss America! Destroy them and kind and folk, release them! Let the wind rush forth to destroy this thief! Fly, monkeys, fly! <laughs> oh, now why does this always happen at 4.30 on a Friday? Yeah. Lemon kind and bold, exciting and new. Aguirre, the wrath of God. I'm gonna get a bigger boat, right? Yeah, we're gonna get a bigger boat, definitely. Mm. Make the witch a sample. What the heck was I thinking, anyway? Wind, with Matthew Modine and Jennifer Gray. Now on video. Hey, it looks just like the statue of Emo Jimo. If you cross oh. your eyes and get the poles yeah. with the, those guys, it's yeah. Hold on, Buck! Hold on to the boat, Bucky! Anybody got any drab of no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Swedish Moses of Seoul. There's got to be a morning after. Don't get short with me, though. Yeah, right. Madonna and her dancers get along <laughs> really good. You still can't let go of the sample, can you? Let it go, Sven. Um, Dad said I could use the car. You have got the keys? He will be coming home soon. And I promise you I will dance with you at your wedding feast. Oh, give me the good news now. Our father, who oh. are... Oh. Oh, oh, your brave son, Lemon Kynan, has met his death. Oh. Hmm? That can't be true. My son lives. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Oh, she is off the beam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see a kidney. Oh. I do, yeah. Hmm. Heathcliff! Tell Catherine! Me. Have pity on a mother's prayer. Friend of the poor winds of heaven. Uh, Can you tell have we me met? What's become of my brave son? Oh, I have troubles enough of my own, mm. old woman. Mm. The men strip my bark for making baskets. The children break my branches for brooms. How should I know anything about you? Gee, sorry I asked. Birch, birch, birch. Mm -hmm. mm. Now get out of my office. Miss Jenkins, I pay you to screen these people. 
I see a past president who shall remain nameless. Oh, you mean? Chester Rose. Hey, uh, lady, I'm a nice big pine that you could pray to, maybe. Maybe. Hmm? Tell me, old oh, wandering rose, hmm? have pity on a poor mother's sorrow. Do you know what happened to my son? Uh, I'll put the word out on the street. Oh, I am the street. Excuse me, I'm kind of stuck in a rut. <laughs> Mother Teresa, in a role that will inspire you. You should have pity on me. I am the rogue. Uh, I didn't appreciate you what Kerouac said me. about me. Find your wandering son. Oh, poor Rhode. You have everything. I have nothing. I have enough troubles of my own. Now I know what they mean when they say the road goes on forever. You don't know forever. how many times men have trampled on me. She's praying to County Road D2. What does she want? How they make the hooves of their horses kick me. What is it with the inanimate objects today? Have you thought about praying to me, God, the big G-meister? Dear almighty refrigerator door, oh. Oh, glorious son, you who look over all. Well, I do my best. Answer a mother's prayer. Tell me where I can find my son, my pray for. Look for your son. He's praying to a mill's brother. Far in the north, in the cold and craggy land of Okiola. You should do voiceovers. <laughs> of the evil which go At least he was as of last Wednesday. That's a Richard Diebenkorn painting. I think. Oh, great north deciduous forest. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ever eat a pine tree? Many parts are edible. Mm. Somebody took my minnows. Oh, I think I'll just skip some rocks. Oh, dead bloated carp floating in the shallow... Ugh. Hey, it looks like one of those ham's beer clocks. It's seaweed. It's... I hate Mondays. Now wipe your feet before you come into Finland. Uh. Uh. Morning.
this small mound is alive with the sound of... When Lemon Kaiman met Anarchy. I pick myself up, I dust myself off, I start the deal over again. I can't believe it. I'm David McCullum. Lemon Kynan! No, I didn't get your flippin' sampo. Lemon Kynan! Oh, my son. Way to wreck the scene, Mom. Forgive me, dearest mother. Okay. And you should forget me. Okay. I have no right to be happy, for I have destroyed the sampo. Jerk. Hey! Hey, the hey. sample? Where's the sample? Going? I got the sample. Are you excited it's about the sample? Mm -hmm. the, uh, oh. Uh, I just wanted to hear how what with the sample is all. How's the sample? An ashtray? Give me my sister back. Here I got one of these already. Sample is no more. Well, I did bring the sample home game. Be of good cheer, brave knight. Hey, you're peace. the road, aren't you? And you, my people, take heart. The We've hit bottom. Come, as you will see, when even this. The fragment of the Sampo will bring much joy and happiness to the people of Kalevala. No, oh, a lot of good that does them now. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Kalevala, come before us. Kalevala, stand before us. Stand before us. Kalevala, come before us. Kalevala, stand. This is my favorite bit he does. Watch this, it's good. <laughs> good mistress. Come quickly. Something's coming in on the urine scope, sir. Evil Lemonkainen lives yet. Oh, you got some on my robe. Now let my cloak bear me far, Kalevala, to destroy the people who live there. It's the Von Traps. Yeah, out for their <laughs> morning run. Huzzah, everyone. Did you hear there is no Sampo? Yeah, it's really too bad. No Sampo, eh? Bummer. Let us be gay, for he is a dickweed. I'm so glad it's a dry celebration. It's so much more fun than the kegger would have been. He failed to bring back the Sampo. Sampo. We shall die of starvation. Sampo. What is this? Starlight 17, the musical? I think it's the Black Oak, Arkansas. Failure, 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 it well, looks like Rutherford B. Hayes just got out of the sauna. Ah, uh, hand over the bride. I can't wait all day. Well, here's the keys. Uh, she's a little slow to start in the winter. Just give her some gas. Wait, my dears. Just wait till you see the gift I brought for you. Well, I guess they shouldn't have registered in hell. Still think he's a failure. What? She's marrying the Yale crew team? Bad news. They want a water ski. <laughs> Our own slave ship you shouldn't have. <laughs> Hurry up, they're gonna consummate. <laughs> All right, hit it. <laughs> hey, the kids look ripe, about ready to drop. Well, it's a nice day for a wet wedding. <laughs> oh, little... and you know, the kids plan the wedding all by themselves, oh, yeah. and I think they've done such a nice job. We were yeah. just so lucky that the rain held out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I thought we were gonna get a limo. Sure beats fooling around in a nice hotel, eh, honey? Come on, kiss him. Here comes the fair. You know, this is considered a riot in Scandinavia. <laughs> Wild. He's a failure, la, la, la. What the loser, la, la, la. Total failure, total failure, total failure, la, la, la. 
You know, this is the kind of music that up with people rejected. Yeah. Oh, they're going to honeymoon at a rest stop? Yep. Okay, that's fine. Please disperse. He's a loser and a chum. Failure, failure, total failure. What a loser. Okay, oh, that's for fun. Huh? Uh, are you with the bride or the failure? <laughs> Check out this guy. He looks like something you'd buy in a gift shop up north. <laughs> now, why is he wearing a Hershey's kiss on his head? Brando's here. Brando. Brando. All right, Santa is entering the lodge. What the hell is going on in here? This is my room. <laughs> uh, just throw this on the gift table, would you? Didn't have time to wrap it. Here you go. They never invite me to anything. Happiness be with you all the days oh, of your no. life. He's drunk. Oh, no. habitation. Health be with you, Vina Mine, and you are kind to pay a visit to our humble little cottage. Oh, thanks. I see this coming in real handy. <laughs> what am I? I'm a moose. <laughs> Grandpa, that's Aunt Tessie's urn. <laughs> <laughs> your beer is almost too strong for an old man like me. Uh, coronary. <laughs> It's the Jolly Troll. Hmm? Oh, she's calling the Batman. Hmm. Maybe she's mad because she used to date Lemon Guy. Yeah, she's lots laughs, but not the kind you'd settle down with. She's fine for junior year, but yeah. she got to move on, you know. Ooh. That was the night that the lights went out in Finland. Oh, looks like she's uh, dragging a muffler there. Ooh. Evil times have fallen on happy Kalevala. Come on, it's just a circuit Wicked breaker, Grandpa. Has come. She's stolen the sun. Golly's really calm in a crisis. Mm -hmm. Right. Sorry about the failure. Farewell, good friend. Very well, kind mistress. Very well. Thank you. Uh, I had the cut crystal bowl that the come dip on. was in. Oh, well, we'll come back. <laughs> Great wedding. Get half a buzz on it and send home with a torch. There can be no happiness without the sun. Oh, come on, Kirsten. I'm a night person. I love it. Keep for me my country. Take a hit if you want to. Now it can only remain silent. I must not play on it unless the sun is up. Oh, Mr. Particular, everything's got to be just right. Yeah, looks like we're trying to take back the night over No, I think there. it's a Melanie concert. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting in her one-woman show, Gypsy. Here we go. Oh, sorry. There's a big frontier out there called life. I ain't nobody's daughter, I ain't nobody's wife. I'm gonna state my very own claim of land, and you're gonna wanna know who I am. I'm Gypsy! Gypsy rules me! Gypsy rules, not you! Not you! Yeah, 
Oh, you're bad. Good. You know, I've seen her before. Hey! Is my aunt interfering with your conversation, buddy? <laughs> you gave three guys together, huh? Oh, what, oh. some sort of love connection screw up? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh. What a night, everybody. But before I go, I want to tell you a little story. A story about a gal who ran the higher functions of a little satellite in a synchronous orbit. A gal that everyone thought was perhaps a little slow, a little naive, a little... Simple. But let me tell you something about that gal. She had spirit. She had guts. And most of all, she had a huge heart. That gal was on her journey, and when her luggage ended up on another planet, that gal picked herself up, dusted herself off, and wore the same outfit two days in a row. That plucky little gal is me. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. We've got commercial sign. I'll be right back. I'm down to meet you. I'll be here all week. Thank you. Look at Skylab! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mommy's back and I've got presents. <laughs> now open the bag and release the blizzard. May the north wind bring snow to blanket the land of Kalevala forever! And may you stay forever, young! <laughs> Meanwhile, in Frostbite Falls, Minnesota, we have some school closings today, including Stockholm Public and Private, Oslo Public and Parochial, Helsinki Votex, Suomi Junior High. Boy, that looks cold. Mm-hmm. dum ba dum doo doo scooby doo doo da dum ba doo zee boo Pamplona, Spain, the annual running of the goats. <laughs> the Christmas that almost wasn't. It's not a fit night out for men or bees. The day the Earth became unseasonably cool. I guess everybody's going to blame me for this, too. Yeah. What? Oh, I thought I cocked that thing. Uh... Huh. Looks like they moved in with the Ingalls. Yeah, a little house on the tundra. <laughs> Shh. Has to have half and half of their coffee. Okay, dear, I'll wade through the blizzard to get your half and half in. The Shining. Actually, it looks kind of inviting. 
moonlight in Vermont. I'm gonna bury Gary in a pile of snow. Yeah, one little cup of coffee and she's gotta have her friggin' half and half. That's it. Walking in my winter underwear. <laughs> hey, a penny! Watch out where the huskies go and don't you eat that yellow snow. Uh, uh hey, Aunt Rhody, the old gray goose is dead. Rosebud. <laughs> Rip Taylor's outside. Come on, I want to come in. It, cause it's cold outside. Ha, I got a big prop I want to show you. Ha, it's funny. It's true. First day of marriage is the hardest. Hey, here's your damn dinner. Hmm. And I suppose you want me to clean that now. I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucker comes. I know, dear. I know. Um, not on the good bench. Honey, it's a swan sun frozen dinner. <laughs> We we'll call her Trudy. Wait, she's wearing an embroidery hoop on her head. One word, annulment. I'm afraid the poor thing is dead. Oh, the sample could have saved it. Shut up with that sample. Mm. Soon we will all be like this poor bird. Mm. She's turning into a steak on legs. Mm. I can't even see your eyes, Anakin. Without thinking olives. <laughs> That's the worst thing about this twilight. You're in the house. Take your bike helmet off. I can't even remember what color they are. Let me look in your eyes again. Look, she's Swedish. I'm guessing they're blue. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Honey, we got any orange sauce in the house? Duck with orange, duck with cherry, a duck surprise. <laughs> duck without orange or cherry. Hey, what's the deal with your sister, man? Oh, hamburgers. Oh, sorry. Dozed off in the old anvil. <laughs> this sucks. Cannot go on much longer. You must make a new son for us. I'll use the sample to make one. Oh, wait, we don't have one. That's right. <laughs> I will do what I can. Not as I do. Huh. Grandpa rioted and got a week in the hole. Mm. The Great Escape, 30 years later. <laughs> well, I'm turning in. Big day. Why are they so bummed out? Oh, they just saw Captain Ron. Personally, I like Kurt Russell. I love the computer wore tennis shoes, but that's just me. No, no, the, the sun's bigger. Yes, Big. we recall it being quite large. And it's really? Got, it's got spots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. What are you doing? He is forging a new sun for us. This is futile. No, it's fusion. Try to forge the sun anew. The one thing left is to release it from prison. Well, then you come up with your own ideas, man. Take up your swords, your swords and spears. Minaminen will lead us to Pokyola. Yes. And we shall fight a battle to release the sun. Hmm. Not so, Lemminkainen. Have a seat, Lem. Against the wizards of Loki, you cannot prevail with a sword. Of what use are your swords against their spells? Hmm. I will take all of you to Pokeola. A class trap? And each one of you must hold... A herring! ...in place of a spear oh. or a blade. You're making this up, aren't you? A sweetly sounding... It's... Antony. I don't know, a just a nod. Yeah. And if each of us carry one of them, that's a thousand contalys. More than that. Twelve hundred at and least. we have them uh... here in these ancient pine trees. We'll cut them down, make the harps ourselves. 
Great, we spend the winter making harps. What are you looking Come at? Once. Take all the boats down to the shores of the frozen sea. <laughs> Whatever. And you women. Back me up on this take one. All your jewelry of silver and gold. All your earrings, all your bracelets. All your naughty and things. Pass them <laughs> into the crucible of Ilmarinen. We must have clear sounding strings for our cantilies. Yeah, first he has us making boats, then we gotta do the horse, now it's the cantilies. Oh, this is the old guy's neck. This is his head. This is his ribcage. Oh, he's got the Farrah Fawcett exercise stick over there. Okay, who wants a hot dog? Still gonna be a couple of minutes on the brats. Just keep this burnt one for me to nibble on. <laughs> Money, why don't you go get those marinated steaks ready? Al, come on, don't be too careful. We just gotta knock out these contalies. Ow! Carved my own leg into a contalie. Hey, uh, anybody care if I turn on the radio? Huh. Can you believe it? Two weeks ago we were in shorts out here. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir and Mountain Boys. Uh, Crow, you are out there, man. Thank you. <laughs> but German potato salad takes a little longer. <laughs> it's a boy! <laughs> Oh, well, the ice seems safe. We should have brought the pickup. Oh, golly. Cigars, cigars, cigars cigarettes, cigarettes, cigars, cigarettes. We come bearing honey baked hams. Tell me, my dear, the wizards. Okay, you're ugly and you smell bad. What have we here? Uh, it's an army of warriors from Kalalala. Kalalala? coming this way. And there's too many of them to count. The year my voice broke. We, we want, want the sun. sun. We, we want, want the sun. sun. Uh, when kings go senile, I thought it was a costume ball. They're gonna launch him from a catapult? What weapons do they carry? Harps. Harps. I wonder, do they think they're coming to a wedding feast? Ha, <laughs> good one here, hideousness. <laughs> liked it, liked it. Let's see. <clears throat> Love, love, 
soft as an easy chair. <clears throat> Take up your spear, the ones pointed with sharp's teeth. Ah, uh, sure, as soon Bandage as this tune sword. is over. Steeped in serpent's venom and kill every one of them. Uh, uh, did you uh, hear that, sir? <laughs> kill them all! You know, the music kind of adds to the drama, actually. It does. It's all skate. Everybody on the ice, all skate. Stalingrad, the standoff dragged on. Don't listen to that music. Wake up, cover your ears, cover them up with your hands. That terrible music will kill us all. Yeah, well, we put up with your Kenny G, you cow. Welcome to the Moody Bible Institute Prayer Hour. Uh, Grandpa, try another chord. He's doing self-indulgent jam. Stop them! Get your swords out! Here's your knife! Mm, for once I'm on her side. Use your arrows! Unsheathe your broadswords! Attack them! Attack them! Uh, but I love a Prairie Home Companion. Anytime I can sit and listen, I love it. And that's the news from Lake Wobegon, where the men are strong, the women are good-looking, and the children are above average. Oh, Butch Thompson's gonna come out with the band, gonna do a medley of songs about cats. And then Jim Ed Poole will do some cat sounds, and then another episode of Watching Paint Dry. Then Claudia Schmidt will come out and try to fill the gap in her teeth. Oh, and Pat Donahue and Peter Ostrushko are gonna favor us with the story of the Swede who didn't like meatballs. Then, uh... Ah! It's so hard to get good trolls these days. Oh, it's a Maplethorpe photo. Go forth, North Wind, go forth. Freeze the people of Kalevala. Shroud them in the mantle of death. Don't look at it, Marion. Don't look. I said, hop faster. Let's kick into our grand funk medley! Uh, um, um, sir, uh, maybe it's time to break out the bagpipes. Ooh. I say, uh, I hear they call it Mariah. Well, uh, whatever it is, it's flippin' freezing. Yep. <laughs> okay, uh, do you have a plan B? All right, new tune, everybody. A one, a two, a one. Oh, forget it. It's Pat. You do not belong in this place of honor. <laughs> Twas a rock and roll creation. Your cream of wheat stays with you all day, and that's nice. <laughs> it's kind of lilting, isn't it? Go forth, my cloak, to uh -huh. the army of Kalevala. Kalevala, right. And strangle those yep. warriors who still remain on their feet. And feet, right. Okay, bye. Soundtrack by Spike Jones. Boing. Hey, throw me the cake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anybody want to throw in here? This has got to be embarrassing. Yeah, on top of the whole sample episode. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, folk took advantage of me. We thought the cloak might try something like this. Mm -hmm. We were prepared. Yep. Oh, it's ruined because it said hand wash only in cold water, so... Stupid cloak, stupid double jerk cloak, just snap, stupid. Oh, here, sir, sorry about that. Oh, Lemon Kylan, you see, now you may go in and set the sun free. Oh, may I? Uh, this thing here? Yes. I am going to release the sun. Oh, just do it and don't screw it up. Remember the sample, buddy. No, what do you want? Keep away, keep away. Oh, the pain, the pain. Oh, well, that makes it a lot easier. Well, hey, Mrs. Witch, can your son come out and play? <laughs> <laughs> Great. 
Hey, you know, you don't like the weather in Sweden, just wait a minute, you know? <laughs> Swede blanket bingo. <laughs> I'll take Sweden, wow. So they headed for central Minnesota, you know, to build Crystal and Blaine and Fridley, and they made bars and sought out ch church basements for refuge. And, <laughs> oh, let's see if the Torgelsons want to have a luau tonight, yeah, eh? Yeah, that's a good idea. Welcome, Greg Ullman. Hi. And welcome, Roger McQuinn. Howdy. This is the most emotion ever expressed in Sweden, you realize? I that? did the sun thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Leatherhead. <laughs> it's you! You brought the birds! You're evil! It's the end of the world. Uh, okay. Lemon Kaiman and Anarchy will be back in the forests of secrets and lies. <laughs> Lemon Kynan was played.